I woke up at 5 a.m. Mmm. Ah, that's not what I wanted. No, Siri. I did not fucking want that, Sam. I am. I did not want it. Green eggs and ham. I will. I will. Oh. But. But, 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 but. Alas. It is what it is. Um, but. We're alive, kind of, maybe, ish, sort of. Huh? Who knows? I'm knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not me, that's for fucking sure. I'm cooked today. And that's something I know for sure. But, uh, oh, well, you'll right, eat your little rat bag. How you going? Let me quickly just triple check what something is, because I'm cooked. Uh. That's just how it is, yeah. But let me, 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 Ah, there we go. But, how you going, and how you going, Mint, as well? Hope you're both well. Um, yeah, so today's gonna be a little funky. I was like, oh, you know, after a week of not doing as much streaming, because I was sick, oh, be well. I mean, I'm well mentally, but, my body was just like, no, 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 5 a.m., that's when you should wake up. So since then, I've been trying to be human, trying to be alive, and it is, in fact, not working. Um, <laughs> so we're on, we're on as if I'd already been streaming hours of energy, yeah? But I just, I wanted to get back into Blender. I wanted to do it, you know? I wanted to get the vibes going. But I think, first, let me just... Do a cheeky little bing bang bong, yeah. As long as you're taking care of yourself, yeah, I appreciate it. We're vibing. I've got a blanket. I'm nice and cozy. What do you mean? <laughs> Gee. We're comf and coz. Um, but actually, random thing, bro. This is why you've got your new setup, yeah. Well, let me know when it's actually set up, because then you should be able to join for seven days to die. That'd be sick. Cause that game's cheap as fuck, and it's good. But for the first time in a while, I actually remembered to do a schedule, um, which is good. I may switch out one blender day with like seven days to die or do, you know, seven days to die is sort of a, a nice like fill in if I have to pause or stop from something else that's planned. But let me find it for y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, did I save it or did I just screenshot it? I just screenshotted it, didn't I? Give me two seconds. But how are you going today, man? Seven days to die. Also add. Yeah, how about you add these nuts? Yeah. That's what I fucking thought. Boom. Now, let me. I'm going to find my thingy, my mic post on Twitter. Because I wanted to be like, I remember the schedule. Yippee, look at me. Yee-hoo. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Let me, let me whip out this, the schedule thing so y'all can see. Should I have saved it? Maybe. Was I gonna? Nah. That's effort. So, let me just quickly do a nice little, nice little window cap. Uh, Twitter. Mm-hmm. But yeah, how are you going, Mint, as well? Hope you, hope you're well. Might be very good old, I don't know, weekend so far for y'all. But let me. Um, let's do that. Let me. Uh, filter crop these. Yeah, yeah, Twitter. And it should be. If I did that, because it's only going to show that pop out, isn't it? That's so weird. Top 10 things that are weird, chat. I just want this to show the thing. Because I don't have to go all the way out of my way. Oh, yeah. I'm going to, I don't know. Yeah, it's not going to show the thing, is it? Bollocks. 
Um, uh, yeah, whatever. Y'all can just trust. Uh, I'll just yap about it, to be fair. Pretty much, uh, today I was gonna do some Blender. And then tomorrow, we're doing some more of the... Pokemon Nuzlocke? The Grey Dolzy Fuse Lock. Yeah, just check Twitter out, to be fair, that's where it is. Um, and then... We got more Blender. And then Children of Mortar with, uh, Viridian. And then if I'm well by Friday, which is your Thursday, then we're vibing. We're doing some more stuff. But, hey, uh, we can't always be assuming we're good. And, yeah, seven days to die, right? That was what I was talking about. Because if your PC's better, you should be able to vibe with it now. Because your PC is easily better than mine now. Mine's still, like, ass. It's just, like, not dying ass. Now, let me just quickly give me back a stretch. Ah. Oh, because honestly, that shit's a little crackly dackly do. Just is what it is, I guess. Now, I'm thinking. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, can do all that things. All that things. Yes. There you go, chat. I have some bubble wrap that I found. So I thought I would share the experience of bubble wrap with you. How nice is that? Oh. More. 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 Yes. Yes. And we're out. It wasn't much bubble wrap, but I thought I'd share it. So as I get back, I know, right? Same thing. How you going, Mags? What are you up to today, man? Are you still, like, gymming and then vibing? Because if that's the plan, you could do some seven days to die when you're back from gym or something. Mm-hmm. But, let's get into some Blender. Also, remember, yes, I do have the fish up. You fuckers. It's up. It just disappears. It's not always, like, in someone's view. Don't worry. It's up most of the time. But I'm thinking it is probably in that tasty little time period where, let me just check, yeah, should we do some watching of the t Blender tutorial today um, and just chill for a bit, or do we balls to the wallet and instead, yeah, just do the cheeky old wham, bam, boom, and tinker with things by side again and struggle for a few hours. Because both are fun. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you just feel like doing one over the other. Though to be fair, my HDR, I don't know, tutorials I just sit there and go, meow, meow, yes, yes, yes. Um, I think... What I need to do is I need to fix those arms as per usual. We started doing arms last time we did Blender, which was a while ago, actually. Fucking hell. Um, and then we did, like, three different, like, levels of arm. And then we went, yep. And that's where we stopped. My mum! How dare. Mac. How fucking dare. And also, I get the feeling that if you're a streamer mint, the name's ringing a bell. But I am cooked. So I'm not too sure. So I'm going to do the thing. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to do this and see if something pops up. That's always a good gander, a good bet. <laughs> I win. Of our right, though. Exactly. Bing, bang, bong. I found the jackpot. I knew it. That's one of the things. This song is pretty much that. Yep, I fucking knew it. That's one of those things where I'm like, hmm, I'm not too sure. Let me suss it out. Public sussing. Good. Let's get into the old blender, at least, so we're there. Um, so y'all can at least see where I'm at. Weird clip, but thank you. <laughs> no problem. I mean, it's a random ass clip. It's a, it's always a risk and reward for those things. Let me. Would this work still? Ah. Ah. 
Yeah, it work good. It work good, yes. Ah, <sighs> there we go. I am a artist, artiste today. You know what, hate? I need to adjust my hotkeys a bit better. Uh, or at least like my VTuber toggles, so they're not as bad, you know? Because their toggles are not... They're a bit too janky aligned with Blender toggles, I think. Uh, but that's okay. It happens. Let's get uh, that. Yeah. I'm actually a sibling in the womb. I figured. That's what I thought I recognized. I'm like, this seems... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw that you followed on, I think, Twitter, actually. Oh, here. Then on Twitter. And then I'm like... Something about this seems familiar. Um, and then, but I'm, it's just, I, I couldn't be, I just couldn't put my finger on it. Uh, and then I saw, when I looked at Twitter, when I saw you followed, it said Salem was following you, but that's the only connection I knew that was following. And I'm like, why, well, if Salem's following you, then that's probably the case, but I'm not too sure. Because then, like, maybe some of the other siblings would have. So I was like, my tired ass was like, oh, I'm not too sure. So I was sort of sitting in that state, that like stasis zone where I'm like, I'm, I'll hear about it. I'll find out. Um, shut up, car. But that's sick. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hope the progress on that's going alright. Going vibing, cooking. Salem always does some goaded work. Gotta love him. Now, sniff, sniff, sniff. Is Leaf a new person I can bully? I mean, you bully everyone whether you think you can or can't, to be fair. You're like the equivalent of a hedgehog. With like... No, you're more you're like... More of a like... I don't know. You're a honey badger. Is the way I see you, Magma. You just like biting at people's ankles. And there's no like... Ulterior motive except you just like biting ankles. You just like fucking having a little little nibble at them, you know. But it is what it is. Let me just quickly make sure everything is good in Adahood. It's all smoothing and grooving. I think it is. I think we're good to start chipping away at stuff. I'm hoping. I'm Mick fucking hoping that we can do some good progress on the model today. But alas, um, that's one of the things when you learn in Blender. You have no real guarantee whether the progress you're going to make is going to be good or you're going to be there for eight hours just learning. I mean, either way is good, technically speaking. But like, uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm hoping that we get out of today's Blender stream more progress than... Just conceptual progress. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. And it is what it is. I'm, tr I'm debating whether I get myself a tea or a coffee, yeah? Because then I'm more alive. But is that really what happens? Or will I fall asleep? Because sometimes, I don't know, it's the same for a few people I know. But coffees do not wake me up, man. Caffeine puts me the fuck to sleep. And it's just weird. Tea just makes me warm. And coffee just makes me... I don't know. Faster at being tired. <laughs> Which technically, I mean, it makes sense. Caffeine doesn't actually make you less tired. It just makes you... just blocks the tired receptors in your brain. So you're just, you're just gaslighting yourself, really. Um, but hey. Is what it is, I guess. Is bullet bullet. Get fucked. Yeah. I mean, Magma's just a professionally likes bullying people, I guess. But. I oh mean, give me a thick old second. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just waiting for the old. Had a piece of fruit. Yeah. Gotta love fruit. Fruit is great. But I'm waiting for that to kick in. Because uh, <laughs> being awake since. So, for reference, it's 10 a.m. here. So, I've been awake for five hours already. Um, because my body just wouldn't get back to sleep. I woke up, yeah, and my body's like, nah, you ain't sleeping anymore. So I just turned on the heater, because obviously it's coming winter here. And I just sort of just sort of was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. just sort of like sat there. 
and just pulled up, got a sleeping bag, and just effectively just camped out, and was just like, like a grumpy old man. <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is. Also, I, I need to get a new, I think one of the next things I need, the three main things I need next, when it comes to actual practical stuff, is I need a new desk. Because the height of mine's not good for my chair height. Uh, I need new monitors. So they actually they're a bit better. Along with some like, um, you know those monitor holder things. Um, we like the effectively monitor clamps. I don't remember the word. You can fight me. But it's uh, those would be great. Just so the setups a bit, you know, more desk space and just like more or, like better for health. Uh, because then I'm not like, you know. Make, I'm just making sure I'm not, like, sitting in some weird, funky-ass way. Um, but then I just need a new PC case so that I can actually have a fucking, like, um, front ports. Because if you don't know, when I got my PC fixed and slightly upgraded, that doesn't change the fact that I didn't get a new case. Um, and when, when we went to try and install Windows 11 on, on the new PC, we still had, like, the old case. And one of the USB ports literally blew up when we were trying to do that in the front. So the front, we, I've duct taped the front I.O. because I ain't touching that shit. Um, you got a passion fruit vine and it tastes 10 times better than the shop. Oh, passion fruit's hard at the shops, yeah? And how do you know? What happened to my face? Yeah, we are, we're, we're Googling, yeah? Hello. Um, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> eh. Yeah, it is one of those days. It's one of those days. I woke up at like 5 a.m. and I'm cooked, mate. Let me shout you out, though. How is the... When's the tournament? Because I know you... It's either like you've just had it or your finals. Uh, like, I pay attention uh, to the server, like, announcements for those sort of things. But because I don't play Valor, I'm like half aware of them. I'm like, oh, yeah, shit's happening. Gotta love chilling there. I know, I said, where was, was yesterday? You? Yeah, and you was like either two over the weekend or soon. How'd it go though? Who won? <laughs> Wait, Who huh? fucking won, mate? No, what the fuck? How'd it go? <gasps> Morris team won? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even surprised. That that, that checks. Mara Doobie, a competitive egg. It went good? Hell yeah. No issues or anything. We had to redo stuff, eh? And caffeine only helps sometimes, 100%. It's it's weird. It's nice. I like caffeine. It doesn't wake me up, but it helps on on a, on an emotional level, <laughs> not an actual level. I'm yapping a bit, though. So y'all can... But luckily, when I yap, this is one of the benefits of having the fish thing, because I can just yap and just go up, 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 up. And y'all can just fish. I do wish the service uh, do stuff other than Valor, so I can, in theory, join. It is... It is the curse of Valorant, that's for sure. Um, but it's good that's going well. I mean, technically there was Boba's pixel art stuff, Magma, which I did see you join briefly. You can play Valorant now. No one's t that dame's fucking gross, and I'm not installing Vanguard. Vanguard is not even like ironically, it is a virus. It can, in theory, take screenshots of your conversations in Discord. You know that, right? Vanguard can just literally go in and do anything on your PC, yeah? Yeah, and I, have you seen me play League since, Jaina? Yeah? Have you seen me play League since then? Uh, <laughs> that, that's why I played it a bunch before, because I'm like, why would they bring that cursed thing over? Vanguard causes heaps of problems, and it's like... The, uh, it's not worth the problems. Like, literally, Vanguard is the reason that the thing that broke the camel's back on my poor old PC, it caused the blue screens that it could never recover from from an update loot. It was the thing that killed my PC, so I will permanently have petty spite towards it. Because it legitimately killed my PC. Um, like, hey, my PC was old and awful. I know that very much so. But I also know that it triggered the downfall. It triggered the spiral from it. fucking no return, eh? So, I don't know. I'm going to be a grumpy old man when I can. And this is when I can. And this is when I shall. <laughs> you shall not take that from me. 
I shall be fucking grumpy. Aye, aye, aye. But. I Ooh, I don't know. But, what are you up to this week, Jane? Are you up to much? Bing chillin'? Chill bingin'? Living la vida loca? And understandable, 100%. I'm just curious, uh, in how you play it once, Valid, but then that's just like, that's one day you have to have Valorant, which, uh, Vanguard and Valorant, and Vanguard, like, even in one day can fuck you up, I ain't touch it, because you said you'll no longer make fun of me for it, <laughs> hey, I mean, I, you can do it if you want, I just don't think it's, it's like, Vanguard, it's like, people are like, hey, it feels like more people are addicted to it because they like the pretty guns and then they like, and they feel toxic to each other. And I'm like, I don't know, champ. You say you had fun and then I see people going, oh, every two seconds. Which some people do that in League, but some people also don't. That's why some people like customs in League. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm not com highly competitive by nature. And so the one drive that could convince me to play Valorant being competitive isn't there. I prefer more, like, I don't know, customizing... T I like more that customizing and team sort of stuff, and that's why, I'd like, a lot more things I'd vibe with, because it's more like, if I'm going against people, it's, like, goofy fun, and that's... I don't know where it sort of sticks, or it's, like, completely, like, sort of teamwork, and it's not reliant on someone's, you know, reaction time, which, as someone who is quite cooked i'd have my reaction time is not there i have australian ping and ping in my brain yeah i wish that uh seven days to die had better um, server hosting so there wouldn't be as much lag but uh, it is what it is now back to blender yeah because i've been yapping for a hard minute crack it's true we don't play Val <laughs> in OC, true. I know, we, like, we have a lot of competitive shooter players in Oz, but then they just go over, like, even, like, uh, like, Moist's team from, for Apex, a good portion were Australian, and then they had that whole immigration thing where US immigration's corrupt and awful. Just need to grind more and go to the range? Damn. I'm sorry, Jaina, but in Australia, we don't have, um, you know, our, our, Australia isn't like a, I don't know, Fortnite lobby, like, we don't have shootings and stuff in the same way, so, grinding and going to range ain't a thing, but, to be fair, the, uh, to be fair, Magma's competitively playing the old Kench again, aren't you? Which is both horrendous and good. But, let me give you all the obligatory. Um, but, we do need to fix a bit of that. I've been yapping too much. But we're getting, we got to get into it. we got to, we got to, whoo. Um, so, what I like doing when we start these off here, is I like trying to figure out where we need to clearly get some info down. Or, we could do also. We've got the concept arms, yeah. We've got... That sort of hip to uh, waist is a bit better. I think this needs to be, if we're looking at it from here, I think this needs to be further back. Um, so this needs to be out a bit more, and this needs to be sort of back a bit more due to, if we think about it, the bones here, and then it comes in here. So I think this actually, but I'm trying to figure out how I indicate that. But then you've also got the body weight, so this bit needs to come out a bit more, I think. Um, and so this impacts this upper region. We need to fix it up, which is good. This is why sometimes I stop doing Blender for a few days, because then when I come back to it, I can spot a bit better some of the issues. Um, we can also see around here that this area is probably a bit wide for when it's coming in, but I'm not, I don't know, I'm not versed enough for how that connects in, so we may just have to, like, I don't know, look at some examples. So, in here, it probably needs a little bit more detailing, but I think that's probably later in the project, because obviously right now we're still dealing with, like, a first subdivision level of, like, 
polys, like very low poly. Um, now, honestly, the legs are all right. It may be like, oh, those legs are short, but that's because they will continue down. So I think we can't really tell. The backs are a bit awful. I will be honest, like that calf's wonky McFucking donk. We need to trim that out, move that out here. Fix up that calf muff mu muffle? Muffle? Fix up the calf muscle a bit. Um, and move back that sort of hip to back bit a tiny bit. And what I'll think we should do is then maybe we just see, watch some tutorials to do the next up, like part of the body. Because, um, simply put, it'll just mean I won't get like, caught up and bored and like trying to fix things every fucking five minutes, yeah? Um, not RL, lol, yeah, yeah. Invalid, top 11% of OC players? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're grinding out. You don't enjoy the game, I don't need to play it? Valid. You should have played it with NSC if you're going to try it once? True. But if I shouted you out again, Jaina, the chance of it being that one Valor clip where I was dying inside... Because I'm sure you're better now, to be fair. But as someone who loves, like, tactical positioning and stuff like that, placing traps and everything, and then being like, don't walk through this, and then what would happen? You would walk through it every fucking time, and <laughs> it would just break my brain. It, it, that, in that is something where it's like, literally the opinion, that, if I was to say... Um, that that moment needed one emote, that emote would literally be my de seven depressed meme. Uh, that emote is literally just, I, I swear, like, this is the physical embodiment. I, like, cause I, cause I'm not someone who'd get, like, at, at that sort of stuff. That is funny depressed in the sense where it killed me. I died inside. But I'm having fun talking about it. It's not like, oh, I'm actually angry, and then I'm just like, you know what I mean? But it's like, I was just, I was a broken man. <laughs> I was having fun with it, but, ooh. You got Battlefield 2042? Hell yeah. Because now you got a PC to play it, eh? Love the Savcoms. Well, I mean, when you don't know shoot as well, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. Let's see another one. And also, Minty Leaf. Um, if you're still here at the moment, bring me a message in Discord or something or other, just so I remember. Because I want to make sure I can, like, properly, like... Um, I need to remember the spelling, but also just, like, remember so that... If you ever want to hang, let me know. But also, if you need help with anything, setting stuff up, or anything, just let me know. Always happy to help out friends and Salem fam or fam, so you let me know. But, yeah. Because, yeah, so, Jano, because you popped in a little bit after Minty Leaf's uh, new Salem fib Salem Fibbling. Motherfucker! Salem Sibling that's in the womb. They're a family member. So, they're vibing at the moment. You're down for Lethal Lobby again this week? I haven't touched that since the update. I mean, maybe, yeah. That could be fun. I made my schedule yesterday for the first time in months. So, I actually have a schedule. But, what day are you thinking? Because I could do it. Because I'd be down. Just got to think what day so I can, like, slot it in. And then i got to think on... I need to check to see if any mods are stable in the new update. And probably just make a new mod pack, to be fair. Don't have a schedule, so you let me know when you're free. Alright. Um. Hot tot. Totally tot tot. Let me... Let me have a little squiz at a second. Do I still have the screenshot? No, I need to get it. I'm gonna get me schedule up. Um, so I can window shift S. And don't worry, I made this in CDT. I switched over to CDD to make it easier for people, to be fair. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Paint! I'll probably have a paint capture ready, to be fair.
paint. Its name's already in use. Your ass is already in use. Get out of here. Maybe it's a window capture instead. Let me check briefly. Uh, it should be. Hmm. Boom boom Where the fuck is the paint? Why ain't you showing your rat bag? Look, you can see this chat. Look at this. Ah it like my computer isn't frozen, but this capture is acting like it is frozen. I can draw a penis. Cause that's my cursor, yeah? So it's freezing that capture for paint because it's confused. Hold on, hold on. He he he. Cock. No, it's okay. That's a weird OBS capture thing. I can fix that. Now I'm presuming. If I go seven and up, as an older type or Windows 10, I changed the capture type. There we go. See, I can fix this shit. So this is today for you, uh, for you fucking Americans, yeah? Um, yeah, because for you Americans, that's... This is today, yeah? Or tonight, to be fair. This is now. Um, tomorrow I've got my few, my parts of my Infinite Fusion thing, so I can't, I can't second do that. So it's either, like, second, like, late sort of insomniac hours for here, because I'm probably only doing four hours with Viridian, because then they've got, like, title work. Or Thursday. Or I, like, trim down some of uh, the next Blender stream, which I don't mind. Because my weekends I leave free to be a human being. Yeah. Five days a week being an elf, two days being a human. We can do Thursday. Oh, yeah, yeah, easy. Because of daylight savings at the moment, the hours are a little bit more muffed. They're a little bit more fucked, which is annoying because I hate daylight savings time uh, when it's in America because when they... When we both have daylight savings time, um, my hours are a lot more... Like, a lot further apart, a lot more fucking annoying, so it's harder to hang out with my friends uh, in North America. And so that's why normally when my streams used to be 5 p.m. your time, it's 7 p.m. because I li I just can't do a stream at 8 a.m. I ain't doing that shit. So that's why mine like 7 p.m. probably. You can try and wrangle me earlier than that, but knowing uh, 7 p.m. probably is ideal. So I'm gonna say, um, I'll link in. Remind myself with lethal here. Like, I won't remember this, but I'm sure just like, fling me a message or something. And then bing bang bong, Bob's your, I don't know, your best friend. Yeah. There we go. Maybe your Friday, my Thursday. Yeah, yeah, so that would be, so more like my Friday, yeah, which is here. So this is your Thursday, yeah. Because this is American Day, so don't worry. Your Wednesday is... Uh, yeah, so think of this as... This is American Days. Right here, because it's just easier. Most of the people I hang out with are North American. So this is... Uh, what I'm showing here is assumedly 7pm CST. CDT, sorry. So that's why this is for you guys. This is Sunday. So right now it's... What, like 7.30pm... Sunday, CDT. As for me, it's actually Monday. So this did me head in doing this, but yeah. So your my so your Thursday, my Friday is where it would be. I'll see if um if you want, I'll I'll ping the lethal like there's a uh 
lethal, a few lethal sort of chats, so I know I can probably ping and just see who's free for then. And I'll try and get tonight or today, like later. I'll try and just get some small basic mod pack going with the new updates, and uh, so anyone can really join in. So I can tr try and before I sleep, um, fling it out to people that are curious, and you can just you just like fling and ask around, I guess as well too, eh? Make it NA friendly, <laughs> no problem. It is a lot easier. It's a lot easier if I go through the hassle than trying to make everyone else go through the hassle. Um, you probably noticed I haven't, like, organized more lethal or hangouts for a while, but that's, I think, also with my health, I, and needing to do Blender, those were two main things I'm like, okay, I've backburned it. But also, when lethal had its big update, and people were on content warning, which, to be fair, I preferred lethal, um, because for content warning to be good, you need to have a lot more energy for roleplay, effectively. Um, because it relies heavily on your own back and forth interaction which i am tired i don't have that uh, <laughs> i like the goofy to come to me um but also i felt i was getting it there was a subtle feeling of like i didn't want to bother people because i was feeling like i was always the one inviting people to things and not the other way around so i wanted to sort of like back off just to make sure i wasn't like being like bombarding people with stuff because you know wanted wanted to not bombard people and just vibe Oh, how are you? another person actually prefers lethal. Good. I know a few people that do. But I don't know. Content create. I understand, like, some people. Like, some parts of it I like. I like the aesthetic of content warning a lot. And I love some of the things you can get. Some of the dumb things you can do. But it is very. And you can see the talk about it's died down a lot quicker. And this is what I predicted the second it came out. It's died down a lot quicker. Why? Because it's not in a state that's a lot. E that's easy to mod. Due to raglong stuff, and I thought, and I was saying, like, lethal's a lot, survives a lot longer because it has a strong modding compatibility. Modding, I think, is very important for games. Indie games, especially, uh, mainly. Um, and otherwise, it's like modding, or simply, if not modding, it's also just the fact that it is more it's it's broad it, it's more broad and like who can join in at other energy levels or social levels because cancelment warning you really have to be tuned in because otherwise it just it can get really dull because like otherwise it's like oh i walked into something that's moving oh i fell oh it's a creature it, it feels forced and when it feels forced you're putting effort into doing something and so it's not as genuine um and so naturally as that takes energy, I'm someone that that sort of stuff takes energy naturally. It's like, pfft, nah. Like, I like it. But it's one where it's very much like... I, I should get this schedule off screen. It's, <laughs> I'm an idiot. But it is one that I feel like it works best when you're playing it with a group only a little bit in one session, in one sitting. And then you're switching. You're like, you don't play the same group two days in a row. It, so it definitely, um, works better in a social butterfly or like just a quick little event thing. It works better, I think, for YouTube in a weird way because it is more like a, you can better build it around stuff like that. But when you're someone like me, who's naturally cooked, um, and medically cooked, I'm not someone who's going to be given those hyperbolic reactions outside of I was caught off guard in those rare moments. And because there's more of those naturally happening in Lethal, it's a lot easier to embrace and have that chaotic energy naturally and feel more genuine and more fun for me. Uh, and thus it's more enjoyable for everyone else. Whereas, say in Content Warning, I felt I have to like sort of force or put in, like more like sort of fake energy to try and compensate for that what's missing. I think it was definitely our uh, first few times I played it great and i think it's still a good game it just needs to be uh you need to have a group where you can guarantee at least like two of the players um that's something they're naturally good at instigating because 
uh, with me being on the spectrum and autoimmune being very tired, my personality is very, like, I, I fit into the neck of uh, echo personality, where, where things are like, if there's a certain energy, I can merge that energy really easily and naturally, because for me, I can gain, like, when there's a comforting environment, hell, I can easily get into an energy of chaotic or chill, because the vibe is with the friends, and my energy sort of replicates it naturally, whether I like it or not. So, but if it's like, you feel like you're the one who has to instigate that, which I feel like I do sometimes, in what well, I did in content warning, it's like, I oh know, it's like, that's not naturally a thing for me. I'm not naturally scared of things. Like, I'm not uh, very, I don't know. Because I think that meant I sort of had to try and be extra weird or dumb to get something to happen. I don't know. Maybe I'm just yapping. But that's how I felt. That's just like the vibes. But yapping aside, good game. Total warning how it was less scary too. I think, yeah. Um, in some ways, in some ways it's scarier. Um, but in some ways it's not. The reason why, overall, it's less scary is due to that very concept, which is it's relying on you turning it into something goofy and acting scared. It is a act, it is role-playing, and because of that, because of that disingenuous um, back and forth, and the clips are... The clips internally, amazing concept, but what that does is it puts it in this awkward place of... Um, it's not strong in its scaring because some of its eggs, some of its, like, um, strong points are in the goofy factor that is, like, a content were factor. And so it makes you, I don't know, I don't know how to better word it. Did you play much of it, Mint? And also, if you ever, if you prefer being called Leaf, Mint, Plant, I don't know, let me know. Um, but yeah, purpose for fronting the old world, like capturing certain monsters on film or something. Yeah, I think I really like a lot of it, and I think it's a good take, but I wish, if it was my own thing, uh, and I had the skills, I wish I would just grab some of those cool concepts and just lob them into lethal. Um, is my sort of generalized thoughts on it, I think. And have more mini goals. Yeah, so lethal's continuous cycle works well. Because its core concept is established. Um, so, difference between the two. Lethal has the core concept established. If you're working for a company and it is a monotonous, dretching job of you're working for some, and that's like, it's almost like a, a play on, you know, like Amazon working or something like that. So, you can see it works. And so, you're already in that place. Whereas, say, something like content warning. It doesn't have an established anything except, golly, we're making content. It's like, maybe it's just the autistic in me that needs a little bit more than that. Uh, <laughs> so, I don't know. It needs, yeah, it needs more content and less warning. Um, it And Lethal, obviously, it needed more, but this is why modding is so crucial to indie. I think modding is the biggest one of the biggest things you need if you're playing a game that rel relies on a group experience. Because the group experience being fun, people are going to love that, but they eat that up faster than you can make things. So you have to make it in a spot where modding fills in those gaps while you're making more content. You're making more stuff. Um, yeah, so like, yeah, with on pump purpose for entering the old world, definitely that sort of, you need that drive or like, why are you going there? Or it's, it's like, it feels like the game's in this awkward spot of like, is it going to develop into, hey, it's actually got a story and it ends? Or is this going to be, hey, we're going to make this a monotonous sort of a cycle simulator roguelike, like lethal or played up. It feels like it's in an, un it doesn't know what it wants to be yet, but it just wanted to do, it felt like they wanted to do a niche concept or a twist on something that worked, which is cool. 
but it feels like they now need to think on, okay, now we've got to make this more than just a cool concept, but an actual game. Um, but yeah, e either or, I got bored after a week. Yeah, it feels like it needs more answers, more maps. Yeah, ah, same, same, same. Whereas Lethal, I've played so much of. Like, because you're definitely a bit newer uh, here, man. I, if you don't understand, I've played Lethal for 250 hours. I, <laughs> I've played it for 250 hours. I adore Lethal. I can also, like any, anything anyone should be able to do, if there's something they adore, they should also be able to point out the flaws in it. Flaws being um, the performance for its modded is shoddy, and its maps need a bit more. It needs better performance and map generative support so that it's better for modding and better to be stable at modding, but also won't have as many issues with map generation because a lot of the issues that killed uh, Lethal were either mods um, lagged it out due to Unity being like, it wasn't like best, uh, it wasn't performance wise smooth in Unity or as someone who's made too many mod packs and had to figure out the issues, it was generally Unity lag issues, dissonance lag issues, um, which are effectively, Lethal uses that unique lighting but because of that lighting with mods made that go, uh, and thus it lagged itself out. Or just generally after those two, just map issues and stuff because of the way map generation works. So it just needs a little bit more of that, but hey, it's one person. Um, but if you just mix those two up, if you, if you got better smoothness and ability for it to customize and generate, hell, the game will survive quite a while with the I think just adding that the modding community will flourish more and so when you want to create more in-depth things like more monsters and stuff it'll be a better framework to do so uh it's a lot of hours yeah it's a lot of hours it's a good game um what other game perfectly gives you scooby-doo with friends um, what other game could mean you could just fuck around and you're talking with a few friends and then you hear someone go, Whoa! and you're like, oh, there they fucking go. You know what I mean? And it was a game that I thought, I figured it was definitely a good game for bringing a lot of my, like, individual sort of, like, friends into one area so that they could meet other friends. Um, which is good. Uh, I, I imagine D&D is a good Scooby-Doo with friends. Yeah, um, D&D is also a good Scooby-Doo with friends. It is also, but it's, uh, it's very much a Scooby-Doo with the same friends. Or, um, one shot D&D with friends. It's very much like a, it's got more of a time investment, whereas Lethal is, hey, if you don't want to have that car, if you want that goofy, uh, uh, Looney Tunes shit went wrong and it's funny, it's good. But also, if you're on the spectrum, like myself, one thing I um, subconsciously was aware of and tr planned around is with a good thing, a good thing about Lethal is that if you have a low social battery or you're a bit anxious or shy amongst people, you can just still go in, you know exactly what's happening and what can be fun, and the group splits up anyway, so you're not as overwhelmed by everyone unless they're on the ship. And if you want the chaos, you hang out with more people. If you need more space, you separate a bit and hang out with one or two people. It It is literally like a musical chairs of getting to just vibe with people in a dumb way and letting dumb, just chaos happening, like lighthearted dumb stuff happening. And so I figured that's very good because one of my favorite genres of games or like things in general is um, chaos with friends, um, or roguelikes, or, um, customize, uh, like, a custom, or sort of, like, customizable, sort of, like, uh, survival games sometimes. It's a bit iffy. So, like, I'm a bit more, I'm a bit more, like, specific on the entrance of those. Like, 
I love a seven days to die because it adds that dumb like chaos while it also has a lot of like versatility and replayability. Terraria, a lot of dumb stuff there. Um, it's just memes and it's just fun. Um, I love Terraria. That shit. Magma, we need to, now that we've got better PCs, should we get back into master mode? I mean, legendary mode for Terraria? Did you want to do that at some point? And see if our PCs surviving a bit or better will mean we can get more of it shipped through? But yeah, no, nah, Jenna, there's just a little bit of a lag or delay in the fishing app, that's all. What the heck is that filter? That filter is life. Uh, and it is a mood. This is who I am. This is how I feel when I wake up at 5 a.m. unintentionally. Little, little creature getting up to mischief. This, this is, is no good. good. Oh, the, oh, the beast, beast is demonic, demonic in, in nature. nature. Very, Very icky, no, no good. good. I love that meme so fucking much. You down for it? Hell yeah. Well, I mean, we'll do a little bit of Blender. So that we're doing what we said we're doing. And then, you had no idea what that was. It is, it's a vibe. It's one of my favorites. But, yeah, let me shout you out, um, Saf. And hope you're going well. We've been rambling about why I prefer Lethal Ever content warning. And, like, the reasons why or why not it's not as good. How we felt about it. What could improve it. What works in it. And just generally, just, like, vibes, I guess. I don't know. But people, please do check out Seth. They're a legend. Another Seth. Check him out. Why not? That's the spirit. But, up behind us and also, steampunky time cogs. Peak. Peak design. Anything punk is p is a, a fucking peak design. Steampunk, mage punk, chem punk. Mmm, good stuff. Um, but. Are you refused to check them out? That's just because you're a, a grumbly, sumbly, wumbly, Magma. You're just an old honey badger. But let's at least look a little bit into... Um, and actually... Yeah, Mint, what sort of games do you play? Because it'll be, I don't know, cool to see what sort of stuff you like, what you do. You always, whenever you're down to vibe, if you ever want to, just let me know. Uh, just in general, my vibes tend to be art or just goofing and vibing with people. So you're always welcome. Um, now, let's see if I'm too tired to even, like, wiggle on these things. But we got the arms. What do you think, chat, so far on these arms? Obviously, I think this one, the middle one's the best one. Um, this one here is a little off. Um... But what I was trying to figure out is we were trying to keep the same amount of loot cuts as up here. But I do like that one, and I'm not too sure enough about the progress. This one was a little off. Um, it's like, I was trying to get that to come out, but I was doing it the wrong way. I think I was just tired. But that's a mood. But what I think we're going to do, even if it's just briefly... I know we needed to, or at least wanted to move this back a tad. So that this bad boy. It's a little bit more like this, yeah. And then we grab these two, move them back a bit, I think. Um, and then we can move you back a tad like that and that. Now this hopefully is a little bit better. It still has that hip sort of vibe, but it's going a little bit further. But I do think we still need it to come down and back a bit. Let me do that, maybe. How's this, chat? That, I think, is a bit nicer. Because that still has a bit more of that shape there. I do think here we probably need to Alt-S we can make more of a kabumbus, more of a caboose. I don't know. I think that needs a little bit more in like this, maybe. Make this move out a bit more. Out a bit more. Uh, 
bring this in some more, but I do think that some of, like, this spot here, maybe. Maybe bring it out a tad. Uh, this one... Maybe a little bit of this. No, they need... This part tends to always need to be, like, as close as it can be. I remember with, like, when they were showing in the tutorial. Yeah. Ooh. A little bit of that one. And maybe a little bit up a bit. And I think this bad boy here, with that angle... I need to come in a bit more. More like that. Come back. And then... Come up. Now we need to remember that spine that comes down. Comes out and then comes out again. But does it come out that much? Is it more likely that we need to do this? Yeah. And then it has like that... This should probably be in a bit more, I think. And then it comes out to this tailbone around here. This is where that tailbone would be. And then it comes in. Uh, you, uh, I play a lot of horror multiplayer, not DBD. MOBAs, pretty much anything. Hell yeah. Back into V Rising. Oh, there's a 1.0 release is now. Woo! Hell yeah. V Rising was... Has, I don't know why not enough people knew about it. V Rising was sick. Um, I liked it. For me, my PC was just too dog water for a little bit. So for a while now, for reference, man, up until like the past month, my PC was 12 years old, like DDR3. For reference, Xbox 360, DDR4. So I, my PC was worse than an Xbox 360 for like 12 odd years. Um... So I've upgraded things a little bit, so they're a bit better, and it actually functions now, and it's not dead and crashing every two seconds. So yippee! Uh, <laughs> so I on I stopped because I was just my PC was too laggy for V Rising, but it's a fun game. I like it. Uh, DVD I've played a little bit of. That's how I met a bunch of my friends like Pixie, and Flame, and Alexia. I uh, love those three. They're great. Um. And that's actually how I met the NSC too. So like Jano and Tudi and Boba, because I met, well, I met Boba separately. So Oren raided Boba and I met Boba. I don't know what the fuck they were doing, but then they were probably doing DBD at the time. And then I ended up joining for them for DBD and it was a vibe. And that was like, I don't know, a while ago, like a little over a year now. Uh, so I'm hard at DBD, but it's a vibe. Um, MOBAs. Yeah, I could see from your clip. That was Smite, was it? Or was it Dota? I don't know. Um, League, I like. Um, but with it, having Vanguard now is just so disheartening. Like, honestly, I don't want it. I don't know. So that's that's a ooh, and it's not like league's issue. Uh, league's issue was some of its toxicity. Not its um, it it wasn't as heavily influenced by like some of the um, I don't know, uh, bots as like a shooter or some. Uh, let me quickly check a message. Booty bad I better do. Boom, 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 boom. Let me check, because there's some family down that want to hang out with us before they're back. So I'm just quickly checking it. Uh, do, 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 All right, we're good. I don't know. Uh, I have 500 hours in DVD. Ooh, you hate that shit? Okay, okay. That's fair. I love it how it's like, you get two types of people that hate a game. They either hate a game and they played it for one hour, or you, they hate a game and they played it for so many hours. Um, 
I, I'm curious why you hate DVD because I'm someone who has not played it for much. I just played it with friends and thought, that's fun. I didn't like Solo Queue because it's just filled with um, people who would just, uh, killers who would just knock people down and leave them. Uh, like, I don't know, it or Hackers. DVD did seem rife with those, but Customs with Friends, it was okay. I'm just shit at it. I'm going to be honest. I wish it was a better system for, like, keeping track of all the, like, little abilities and stuff so when you build a character, or that you could save presets and not have to rebuild them every two seconds whenever you reboot into the game, because fuck that. Um, play a lot of League, but not as much anymore. Yeah, uh, like, I go through phases of League. Um... I liked the Mega Strikers, but I just couldn't get good at it. I was just shit. I'm not a good gamer. Um, and so I I like the Mega Strikers. I just don't know. I don't know. I need someone who's good at the game to play with me at one stage because I learn better through tutoring than research. And so if someone is there pointing out where I'm being an idiot. That tends to help me. Uh, I don't know. That's just me, though. Is there anything you'd recommend at the moment, Mint? Because, I don't know, I'm still seeing what's available in the game space at the moment. Um, and, obviously, everyone knows the old Helldivers kerfuffle that's going on at the moment. That shit's wild. And also, what do y'all think of the model so far? I'm really happy how we're progressing on the form so far. The arms give me immense depression. Um, <laughs> like, that shit is not there yet. I'm going to be real. But, I, I don't know. I'm enjoying the process. Now what we got to consider is, say if we're in here, this might need to come up some more. And this might need to come down a bit more. And maybe this comes this way, but this goes that way. That's what I'm thinking maybe, and that might fix it out a bit from the side. Um, maybe? I think that's okay. There's like no real detail here yet because I don't know what or how we're meant to do that, so I'm sort of leaving that, because I'm still on my, my, my L plates, my learners for Blender, but honestly, like, if we're looking like here, yeah, um, it's just really how, uh, because we got to remember, that comes in, like, a, the muscle for your, uh, your pectorals come in here, and then you got your armpit. And so i got to consider if this is, like, my armpit, yeah? Or is it not? And this is where it's, like, what points are they using to represent the pectoral? Because I don't want to be, like, use this as the armpit. And it turns out they're, like, well, this goes here because if you do it like that, it'll kill you. Like, you know what I mean? Because um, there have been a few moments where, you know, uh, I'm definitely still way too new at Blender to know exactly when I'm fucking something up. Which is alright, it's part of that process. What I'm thinking here also is... I probably need to go here. Shift E. If I lower down that pinch a little bit... Um... I need to... Because I forgot exactly... I don't know. There's something that still feels a little off, but it's like, is it off enough that I can be bothered to fix it? Um, and if it isn't, like, maybe I need to do that and that a bit. That's not too bad. Um, that still makes that feel a little bit too schmuffed. Now, that's not a real word, but I don't want to hear that from any of you. Uh, so shush. <laughs> I don't know. We're vibing. Now in here, that bad boy can maybe go in there. and can come up and out. 
Ah, it just feels too much. Maybe it's just simply because of where we're at in the process and we can't add other subdivisions yet. Or we could if we knew what we were doing, but because I'm too inexperienced, I'm not adding more stuff yet. Now here we might be like, oh Sav, what's this? And I'll be like, oh fucking no lads or lasses or thems ins betweens. I don't know. S. Uh, that might not hurt no one. Ay, 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 ay. How about that one? A little bit of this bad boy here, I think. You can come up as well. Because I think there's probably some wonkies. Oh, but then that's a little off, innit? Oh, whoa, is me. I don't know. We'll figure this bad boy out later. That's enough for now. He's a little off. Ah, ah, schmaft. Pedro, I do love that raccoon. He's so cute. I'd teach, but Vanguard is ass. Exactly. So how much is Vanguard affecting League? Because I haven't touched it since Vanguard. Um, League, I'm okay at. Like, Magma can attest to it. I just, I'm not competitive enough to, or stick to one character enough. That's my biggest issue. Or CS. They're my three, I think, biggest issues. Um, otherwise, League, I'm alright at. I'm still, like, low elo, but I'm, like, vibing low. I'm super clean. I see what you mean about the arms. Yeah, arms are whack, eh? I'm I excited for the killer. Oh, there's a killer clowns game coming out. Okay. Pewter is strong enough for Vanguard, so it doesn't affect me. It's not about the strength of Vanguard, I think. It's more just like, I think it fucks around with. It's League of Spaghetti coding in general. I heard recently what yes was Wind Wall coding used to be, and it I just chuckled because apparently. Um, I think it was Augustus who said it. Um, apparently, yes, was Winwall used to just be a effectively just like pretty much unlimited amount of missiles, just invisible missiles on the entire map, and whenever they would collide with another missile, they would then just check if it was where the Winwall was to like negate it or not, which is just hilarious. Um. But Killer Clowns game could be interesting. I'll see. Is it on Steam yet? Because I could wishlist it. I heard Vanguard had bricks on people's PCs. Yeah. Um. I knew it did for Valorant, so that's why I've been like, eh. and also just because it's Kernel, it literally like, <laughs> it can do anything. Um. It wants on your PC, but who knows. Is it, what's the new Killer Clowns game? Is it like the Outer Space one or? No, it wouldn't be because that's the uh, price is already there. Or maybe it is. No user reviews yet. Okay, 5th of June 2024. Oh yeah, so it would be that one. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. 5th of June 2024. Online PvP and co-op. Um, yeah, that looks like it could be that one. Okay, I'm going to follow and keep an eye on that one, because that's going to be some goofy fun. Oh yeah, hopefully that'll be a, a decent DVD. Battlefield is on sale. Okay, okay. Let's see how much it is, because if my Helldivers refund comes through, <laughs> then maybe, because of the fucking... Everyone knows what happened with Helldivers. Uh... Oh, fucking 11 bucks. Ooh. 11 bucks for something that's used to be, what, on the 80s sort of level. That's pretty fucking good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's 11 bucks for me. So for Americans, that'd be like, what, like 7 bucks or something? Something like that, 750 or something. Okay. I'll add that to my thingy. And I'll get that if the refund comes through. 89. Ooh, since I do not play Helldivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's turn off this goofy RR briefly. Um, because why not? 
do 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 where where art thou vtube studio and uh switch to which bed i need to make some more presets on vtube studio but i i don't know let's make another one right now why because i feel like it get fucked um i also i still need to fix my jaw for the head but we'll come back to that eventually because i don't know it's good enough for now and then once we're at a spot where the two were actually caught up in the tutorial and if we're still unsure then we can just tinker with it i think because for the f for my first ever project in blender i don't know i'm proud of myself for it i i still have my johnny bravo one i've got made where it's like that where the chest is like ooh, but i'm a lot smaller with it i need to adjust it what effects are actually let's just do that briefly yeah because let's see what we got yeah because there's lighting ones which I love. Because for my like lava and fire, that'll be good. There's Elden film, yeah, where it's like yeah, I'm dancing blue baby That's kind of cool. I'm gonna be honest. But the issue I have with this one is um the flashing because I don't want to like affect anyone with like that stuff. Backlight and outline is just like. That's one of the ones I use for my fire thingy. Custom puddle effects. Let's see if they've got any new ones added. I don't think they do though. Uh, not really, no. Um, so let's have a look. Short up VTube. Background and foreground shifts. The fuck are they? These was transparent overlay thingy my bubbles. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, so you can like. Like morph something with a image or something. Okay, let's do uh, this for. I don't fucking know. Let's do this for reference and see. Oh, okay. So it like turns you into a PNG. That's dumb. Okay. Now, shout out VTube Studio thing. Now that's the. Then you got the vignettes. If you want to be like. Fancy. The force link up with Helldivers? Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people... Have, it's gone from probably game of the year to being mainly negative reviews now. Uh, which makes sense. It's like... It's been boycotted for a good reason, I think. It's a shame that it's the Sony, the publisher's fault. But it is what it is. Uh, it's the old film effect we looked at. Fake encoding errors. Your mom's a fake encoding error. Damn. Cinematic letterbox? The what now? Oh, the little whoop, whoop. That's dumb. I never understood that. Like, it probably makes sense because it forces, like, a certain, you know, visual effect or whatever, but I'm also like, eh. Is it this one? Yeah. Oh, yes. This is the, if you want to be part of the fucking Borderlands. <laughs> yeah, if you put a part of Borderlands, that's what this one is. Borderlands art style vibe here. That's what this one is. Um, I also need to like resize myself up. Because I feel like it. No. Yeah, so that's the this is a Borderlandsy one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, wow. I wonder what other colors would be interesting, because probably none. That's hard. I don't know why anyone would want it, but I mean, go off, I guess. I don't know. There's a few things that could probably be figured out. Now, what's the posturize like? Bro, does it just fix my posture? Oh no, that's just gamma! <laughs> boring. Alright. There's probably some other things, but boring for now. Let's go back to our main one. I might even just like change some of the stuff here. Uh, 
Uh, where is it? The bloom and lighting effects? That's the one. Bloom intensity. Bloom, 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 bloom. Is that thresholds? Quality? I don't care about that. Color grading, backlight, and outline. That's probably it, isn't it? Model color darken, backlight strength. What the hell? That's a softness. I do like that. Now that's all right. I think uh, it's uh, oh, a different angle could be interesting every now and again. Now I think because the eighty twenty roll, it might be better to do that, and then we did that, and then the backlight strings. I can put it at a different side for now, just out of sheer interest. Good enough. Eh, 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 why not? Boom, boom, boom. Um, but, alas, aside from me just being like ADHD ass distracted, as usual. I'm thinking, yeah. We come along and we like go. The ass is okay for now. Um, ah, stop! I gotta drop my croissant. Appreciate that. Night. Hope you're well. We just on our blender learning journey, but to be fair, we've been doing a lot of yapping this stream because I'm tired. Now, we have a little geese around here, yeah? And then what we can see probably is eh, spin Pedro spin is that we likely need to uh, let's go to would it be material preview don't care too much about oh yeah the lighting's hard on that but at least it gives us an idea because we can see Maybe that's a bit too strong. Like it feels too. Feels like we probably just need to do another stage in the process, and we'll figure it out. Now, what we could do is figure out and fix this arm stuff with one of these examples here. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How do we fix this bad boy? I this is the area that I'm mixed struggling. Cause this shit's just I don't know. I need maybe like a bird's eye view of a T opposing thing, or I need to look at some examples. So I might come back to We could look at that now, but if it doesn't look like we get an immediate easy answer, we'll look at it another time. And we might do some other bits. So Let's have a squeeze here. Um, 3D model T pose uh, ref. Let's have a geese, a squeeze, a little squidge here. So if I can see a nice reference T posing, I want to see. I don't care about your uber fucking Warhammer over rendered too much. But what I want to have a look at. But at the very least, the hyper rendering of a of it with like the muscles and stuff is good for um, understanding some things. I think because obviously it look the your neck and uh, shoulder muscles are fucking weird for people who don't know. They are they're just weird, like whether you like it or not. Now I think what we're having an issue with here. That's where that height should be. How high up should, in theory, 
the shoulder blades B. Um, and if they are correct, where do they join? I think in here is a bit off. Uh, now if I was to do an example, let's just go, sure, do that, I don't really care. So say, get rid of stabilizer, get out of here for now. In here, technically, I'm, this should be coming into like here a bit more, a bit clearer. And then that should be in around there a bit more. Yeah. You feeling, you feeling, chat? And when this comes to being here, this is like that. That's fine. But it's around this first part around here that this actually is more like this. And probably, like, it has that slight, like, where it goes in and then continues to go that way. Um. And that needs to be represented from the sides a little bit better. Do I know how? Oh, no. What you also need to do is, if that's considering, like, you know, if we're like this, that's like that. This is actually probably more, like, around here. And comes in like that. And then we got to consider the muscle that's around here. Like this bit. That then like is here. Maybe like is the one that wraps under and then around here. So that way. We have this bad boy from here. Able to do their thing. Like there. And sort of. Actually be a shoulder. So that when you have like the rest of the arm or whatever. And that's right. This bear boy comes in there. I think that's a little bit too too wonky. Um McFucking Donkey. Now this is gonna be real jank in here, and I fear my life uh for looking at it. But what we need to do is so we need to consider this. We need to cry. Boo hoo. Then we need to go back to here, lower the visibility quite a bit further down and thickness down. Uh, cause we really just try and remember that. And, hmm. It is a thought worth thinking and I think worth thoughting. Yeah. So one thought I've got right now is probably need to move him back to around here. So that'll likely help. And then if we're around here. Uh, maybe that'll be a bit better, because when it moves, it might make more sense of said area. Who knows? We might be very wrong. Now here. I think, like, it's probably okay, but we need to consider that this bad boy needs to go back out. And he actually probably needs to come in a bit. Uh, you can go back in. Uh, more like here, I think. Maybe a bit of these bad boys here. A little bit of this. Now, I'm thinking here, we need to bring this bad boy back up. Maybe you can do the same and then come back up again. It's hard to say, like, maybe we do this a bit. That'll give it that strength. That'll give that there. Maybe you need to come... A little bit of this. It's in here that we need to consider maybe this needs to go in a bit more. A little bit up like that, and out. But maybe not. Because it's this bad boy here as a connector that has one, two, three, four, five connecting points. So it's already fucking weird. In theory. Uh, in here. Let's just turn this back on. See what we lost. We lost a bit of definition. Which makes sense. But maybe we had too much definition for this early stage. 
Like, it could have been that. Let's say if we went back to before we toyed with things. I know, it's crazy. But it might give me a rough idea of this is where we're at. Like, it's hard to say. But one thing I do know for sure is that this bad boy, I think, needs to come further. Uh, GZ need to indicate itself a bit further down. Uh, GZ, same with this one. Uh, GY, because it needs more of that, like, oomph that comes out so that once we maybe come back to here. Uh, GG. So if I said GY, let's just see what happens when we did that. If we did this, yeah. What would that do? That would give us that impression, maybe. But then it removes a lot of the other detail that we've been forming, and this still needs to be probably a bit further out. But I do think if we did this, that'll give it a steeper, like, sort of lump. A bit of a steeper lump. Yeah. From there, this bad boy here, there's a little bit of bad boy here. That's okay, you've got that lump. That starts hooking, maybe not where we want it yet, but hey. Arctify now, mate. Still new enough that I'm mick confused. So we have the bit that would be coming in from like, GZ, around that halfway point. So say if we went like this. Uh, GG, you're coming down. Yeah. Let's just cook and give it an idea. And then, need to go out a bit more. If we went shift E here, which way would that bend? The, not the way I was hoping. That's okay. This is obviously going to create these weird flaps, which is not entirely what we want. But it gives me an idea of where maybe some things overall might need to go. Because we can probably go R. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're cooking. Because if we went up like that, that's further... Uh, nips up, that's further down. So I think it is still like that. And we go R, Y, is it? And we go R on the Z. Yeah, because we still need more of this, like... Um, going in a bit more. I think, at least. Uh, and also, chat, if you've said anything, give me two seconds. I am mixed struggling. <laughs> so I'll see it in a second. Uh, this is the common, I guess, situation for when I'm doing something like Blender. I'm a little bit slower to chat. Because there's some thick old concentrating going on. Because I am. Uh, not very smart. Uh, shift E, maybe. Lower that back down. If you went further back down, yeah, 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 yeah. Bring you back across to here. So maybe, um, uh, where are these body parts that I added? Uh, I need to actually move this stuff. And I need to name this uh, arms idea. Uh, so I can just lower them down for the moment. Come back here. Um, saving. Oh, thank you. Actually, that is a good idea. <laughs> Go with the source. Save as uh, six five twenty twenty four. Um, and uh, I'd say P 
pectoral armpit fix start. Just so I know roughly where it is. Save. I appreciate that. I'm just kind of getting caught up in this mumbo mcjumbo. Now, what is this model for? Uh, well, funnily enough, I wanted to learn Blender a while ago, but I was just like, I don't know. It's definitely a daunting thing, and I don't blame anyone else for feeling daunted by it, because I did too. Um, but I wanted... The idea of having a 3D model was... I liked the idea, but what really pushed that was when I saw what spurred it was Lethal Company, when someone made the Lethal VRM mods so that people could add their own, like, v roy models in. Uh, I used a Shrek one for a while because it was hilarious, like a free Shrek model. Um, but I thought, maybe I'll learn v -Rod. And that lasted a day before I decided I would never touch that shithole again. Um, I hated v -Rod. I wanted proper customization. Uh, I like sculpting. Not good at it, but I like it. Haven't done it properly in years. So I ended up just deciding I'll learn Blender. I knew if I tried to learn it like the normal route of just like a donut and repetitive tasks um, would mean I'd burn out and not enjoy it as much because, you know, that's a trap for ADHD where learning like a uh, neurotypical when monotonous tasks are actually boring, just, you know, it's counterproductive. Uh, so I want to be able to use this 3D model of myself for really just anything for VTubing and to be able to 3D model. Uh, for example, one limitation in Live 2D, can't really show lava very well in the same way. Um, and it's a good skill to learn. And it's also, at the end of the day, if I never use it again, which I will use it again, but if I never did, it's helped me really hone in on focusing, fixing anatomy a bit better. Because it's helped me notice, hey, if it looks okay here and I rotate it, it doesn't look right there and it's helped me understand a bit more why in certain areas because I was getting quite rusty on anatomy I would say um and so it's been good for like you know trying to get me to uh, uh oh this yes, let's just shrink that down a bit like touching up in those areas where I'm definitely was like nowhere near as versed but like and like for example random ideas is like I want to be able to imagine if I could even if I didn't know the gaming but one of the cool concepts is imagine I could just make dumb models for like a VTuber equivalent of Mario Kart. I love that idea I've got. I don't have the skills to be able to do it, but the idea of a VTuber Mario Kart, and you can just like model and make any uh, any and all your VTuber friends, I think it's just really cool. Um, maybe one day we'll do that. Um, who knows? Um... But, I mean, like, it's one of those things where I'm like... It's a good skill to learn, and to be able to learn to 3D model is really cool. Um, it's fun, but then, I don't know, in the future if I'm able to model, make just dumb models or things for my friends, awesome, but otherwise I can customize it a lot better. I can also get a better understanding of what I want from my model as a ref sheet. I can better evaluate and adjust things so I can convey it better to any artist, like for Salem, again, if I do a 2.0, to be able to be like, here are the areas that I through properly, like, sculpting it myself, feel I would like change to be able to do so I can convey it a bit better. Because the clearer you can convey to an artist, the better, and the more they'll appreciate it. 100%. And I always loved character design and character creation and stuff, and just understanding what makes a character sort of stand out, what makes them... Um, or at least, like, what makes them interesting, or, like, dichotomies. Just anything to do with character, I love. Just any and all things character-related. And this is, I don't know, I like, I want to be able to do, because I do some digital art. Um, generally, I'm more known, notorious, as you can see, for, like, my cursed emotes. They were me. I'm more notoriously known for my Tim Burton mixed with Meat Canyon, mixed with Monty Python scuff art. Um, but I want to be able to do, like, concept art and stuff, because I find that's really fun. So just in general, this is really good for... The art knowledge I'm finding. But there's a lot that can... Uh, I think this can strengthen. Um, just in general. And it's a good project. And it gives me something to sort of like... Slowly work on and work towards. It's taking a lot longer than... Maybe if I was following it... Half-heartedly. Which... 
you know, it makes sense. I started this uh, beginning <coughs> beginning of February, roughly. Um, and I'm on tutorial 2 of 24. And for reference, the tutorials are two hour, uh, one hour each. So I'm technically like an almost like two hours into the tutorials. Two out of 24 hours into the tutorials. And yet it's almost halfway through the year. Not a big fan of V-Rot. It's hard. Like I was like, okay, cool. Let's make some proportions to shoulders. And they're like, on a scale of one to five for your shoulder. I'm like, bitch, what if I'm not a human? Hey, what if I'm a fucking volcanic sea elf? Yeah, proportions might be a little bit different. I want to be able to choose that shit a bit better. And the lack of customization ticked me off greatly. Um, and I also, because one of the puns being, uh, there's a lot of my health and just who I am hidden amongst my character. One of the things being, um, like there's like autoimmune stuff hidden in there. There's heaps of stuff there. But one thing is like a good pun is I want the character to be able to be both femme and mask. So unintentionally I ended up realizing afterwards if I've made them volcanic then they really are gender fluid because <laughs> I want to be able to switch between and I think that's the funniest shit I'm like hold on a second I've literally made a fluid um which I think is quite funny now here we went out. How are we coming along? If I went back like this, um, I think that's definitely maybe it's coming out to be a bit too big because technically the height of your head. Okay, so from masculine form, you go from chin to the top of your head sideways twice for shoulder width of a masculine form on average. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So on average, for masculine for this masculine form, if the shoulders were down, they would end here. Uh, I think one, two, three, four, five, six. No, here. That's yeah. I always fuck that up. It's here. Uh, cause I one, two, three, four, five, six. So they would end around here. Um, you know what I mean? That's sort of where they would end up. Um, in this sort of area here. Uh, a feminine form, it is the width of your head twice. So, which is equivalent to the hips. Oh, I don't know. It's different. My head's... A, I need to adjust the head now. I've made the rest of the body a bit better. But, hey, that, that's a while ago. We've learned a lot more since then. So, that would be four. So... One, two, three, four. Uh, if it was a feminine form, the shoulder width would be more to around here. Uh, not height, but width, you know what I mean? Slay, go off. Yeah, I love the girl boss Shrek. That shit's... It's a draft. Like, if you, like, expanded the image and looked at it, I didn't even finish that drawing. My signature is still, like, floating there because I just, like... Like most of my art, I forget to finish it. Uh, well, I don't forget to. I get distracted or I move to another task... Uh, cause I am still new enough to digital art. I have enough, like, my art skills are all over the place. I have enough, like, weird, haphazard parts of art that I'm decent at, I think. But I don't, I'm not very strong at, um, simplifying or grasping how to do less detail better. And so I burn myself out putting too much detail in areas that don't need detail. And thus, I burn my energy out before I finish the task. And that's, I think, experience at knowing how to be less is more. But, like, yeah, so you can see those cursed sort of, like, unintentionally the mascot became the taco because that was, like, one of the first emotes I did for my channel. And then every time I think I felt my art got better, I made, I redid it. Oh, we should do the taco in Blender, too. Oh, I love that. And then just make a 3D model so I can actually turn into a taco. Oh! Hold up, we're cooking. Um, but I like imagine if I could just do some like being able to help do like a three D art of like the Salem fam or something. You know what I mean? That'd be sick. Um, I don't know. 
but yeah, so shoulder around here if masculine. And then you're like, what would happen if it rotated? Then I'd be like, I don't know. Maybe it would be like a thing and bent up and probably be out to here instead. I don't know. <laughs> Arm up is not a thing I'm very, you know, very knowledged on. So I'm thinking it's like that. That is my thought process right now. Is it a good one? Fuck if I know. Now, if we were looking from like up this angle, I think this bit in here is a little off. Um, it needs to be more like that. If I went from the side here, if I did that, maybe that from this angle I think that's a bit better we've really we're forming this area quite nicely actually now if I went up like that it's around that halfway line I think maybe but that's like normal and in there maybe it comes back a bit do I know nope will I ever know nope and then you might be like how don't you know, Seven? I'm like, I'm not good at this, matey. I don't know none that shit, no. I don't know it at all. Stop that. There we go. Now, if I... GG. Like, if I was to do that, yeah. And that. Maybe that's okay, but then we're like, what's happening here, fucko? I'd be like, I don't know. I do think that comes down. This part here probably needs to go back up again. Like this. I probably need to re like bump that bad boy up. Then that part needs to come back down, so this part can come back up. Further down there. There's going to be some like wacky problems we'll run into because it's our first model in Blender and there'll be so much that I can just. I'm already like dreading the amount of issues we'll come across, but I'm also ex like excited. Um, but I think that's because I'm still in this stage. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I know there's probably something later that's going to break me but this is also like one of the things i like about doing streaming is aside from chaotic things where i just get to hang out with friends uh or make friends i also just get to like i don't know i get to force myself to do the creative projects i enjoy um it gives that social incentive i don't know i'm just autistically extroverted Sounds weird, but it makes sense. Uh, I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> it's like, I get energy from social situations, but due to my health and being on the spectrum, I 100% like also get burnt out. And it's like, make up your mind, body, bitch. And it's like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm yapping. But that's expected, I think, here these days. Um, I will lift this bad boy up. Maybe do that. Um, this bad boy. Maybe that. Or th and that. Uh, I'm going to do that. A little bit of that. Give a better sort of shouldery sort of vibe. Oh, fucking no, chaps. A little bit of that bad boy here. This guy, I think he's still part of it up to around, like, in here. Because that's probably when it's, like, he's not. And so then that would leave... If he's around here, and he's, like, here now. Uh, GZ. He's, like, schlumped in here or something. Or something. Fuck the I know. <laughs> Um, it's like, I don't know, man. Makes sense? Hell yeah! Let's have a look. These arms, 
are starting to feel like arms. Like, not enough, but they're definitely getting there. That still needs to be a bit further down, though, I think. Same with that one. Well, with that one. Uh, that bad boy there. And what's that gonna be like? It's still. Oh no, I'm not too confident on it. But maybe that's okay. Maybe I'm not meant to be confident on the shape of it yet. So now this is where the reason we haven't had the other arms yet is this would be the arm we would in theory be adding. You can you do that, lad? Thank you. So in theory, because of the amount of loops this has, we'd be adding this one. If we wanted to do that yet, which we didn't even finish. We were like, eh, and then I got tired. We could add that one, but I don't know enough about loop stuff to know how to do it properly. So I'm just leaving it for now. Um. Maybe, I don't know, we could always just like chop it off. We could just copy it as a reference to add to this one. I think for now, at the very least, I'm going to save. And then, immediately chat, what are we thinking is just bad? Aside from maybe we need to go back to the head? I don't know yet. Do we think we need to go back to the head yet for anything? Uh, we didn't even finish some of the horns and stuff yet, but that's because, like, I don't know. Say no prior knowledge better before this? No, and that's why I'm hoping doing this encourages people to feel like they can do it. Uh, so that they can join along the journey. Because they can, I think. I'm not your father. Say that again and I'll find the milk. How you going, bud? I uh, hope you're well. But, yeah, so technically, um, um, I, I knew about Blender. I've done digital art. I've done some sculpting in high school. That's it. Never touched Blender before it, and that's why I'm hoping this, like, I, this is, I'm new to it. And so you can achieve this if you're find a way to not be discouraged but if you have some friends that you can just bounce back and check on hey what would you change in this um if you're if you're able to find a way to if you had an issue like me just start with doing the model and following on with a tutorial you never feel bad about like taking a break or just readjusting and doing things starting was the hardest part um for sure but I think by the time the head was done, I was able to be comfortable in the process of Blender. And so what I mean by that is learning to be able to enjoy learning Blender was is was a skill in itself. Like, because it's very overwhelming all at once. But um, there's a... A lot of what I follow on Twitter, aside from just my friends, is just, like, either artists, Twitter, or artists who, like, just, or just, like, or on YouTube shorts, just, like, random Blender tips these days. I don't remember most of them, but it's just, like, seeing that, it's like, oh, yeah. Um, don't start off with a monotonous task if that's something that you find difficult. Um, don't be afraid to just keep tinkering with something. But, like, if I get tired and, like, confused with some just search up like model planes of like a t 2d thing get a reference cross reference it get some ideas um i would say and you can sort of just like speak to your friends about it. i don't know it's it's definitely i don't know i so far i'm enjoying it and would like for any like hoping people like feel like they can join along i can give the tutorial as well uh for anyone that feels like they want to uh, join along in learning Blender. Because I definitely feel like if people want to, they can. 
Uh, let me just quickly go G on the X, Y. G, X, G, Y. Because in there, it's like that. There's something about this that feels off, yo. So I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, you know I man, I'm trying to try figure this bad boy out, yeah. Now that's horrid. Don't do that one ever a fucking again. <laughs> um, I mean, that's okay, maybe. I don't know, uh, but to be fair, I am remembering that what I mean by, like, being able to find and enjoy it. I am... Almost two hours into tutorials, and it's been February, January, uh, February, March, April. We're getting into May now. It's a long process. Kind of learning to draw up, but just going into it. Brango Bird, when trying to watch tutorials, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it awesome. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I would say, I don't know. It's if it's something that you'd want to do, um, always just feel free to vibe along with it uh the meme when i was thinking of these things was originally the reason why i called this blender series cock and bull torture i mean cbt was i just joked about being called that and just said like what if it's creative blender tutorials uh so it's just or community blender tutorials so just cock and bull torture and i just thought that was funny but yeah it's it still breaks my brain and generally um fries me a lot of the times <laughs> i definitely am not like uh fully like wow everything doesn't hurt my brain it is chill no i'm still like i don't know how to do shit and my brain hurts but i may i like found a way to be able to at least enjoy it being confusing and hurting my brain it's like i don't know healthy gaslighting <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. But what are you up to, uh, Bard? You vibing? And also, here you go. But hold on, there you go. Look, if you want caboose, there's your caboose. Mandatory caboose check. Mandatory sniff. Um, if that's like that, I do think maybe this needs to be, uh, if I did that, tab. Now, one thing I will dread later, uh, that I am 100% dreading is one thing that I know is that once we get to some of the other parts of this, Shit's just going to be wild, yo. It's going to be like, oh, if you don't have a circle in this point, it's going to fucking not work. And then I'll be like, no, please, mercy upon thee. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Now, this is starting to seem okay, I think. Um, uh, oh, S... This needs to be a bit more out, but it's a little off as well. So I'm thinking if we rotate this bad boy along the on the Y axis, is it maybe? Yeah. So he's I like the rotating on the faces is very useful. Just knowing it doesn't have to be a complete moving piece by piece. Professionals would have done this and like already. To be fair, like this is I'm definitely not quick. I'm just very, um, methodical, I guess, to a fault and to a benefit. Uh, which means, I'll S, if I did that one, GG, forward, wham, bam, boom. If I, I'll S that bad boy. Um, and then I just sort of grabbed you again. 
that's okay enough right now for me to just not look at it again for a while. Healthy gaslighting, exactly, exactly. Like, some things are healthy gaslighting. Most of the time, no, and I'm not a psychologist. Don't, just don't take my words for it. Don't do it. But I mean, technically, relearning and teaching your brain like how to react to things is, you know, healthy gaslighting because you're teaching and adjusting your brain how it should react to something. As someone who has to, uh, like, <laughs> for example, um, the other CBT, which is um something behavioral therapy um cognitive behavioral therapy is effectively i don't know oversimplified but it is pretty much just healthy gaslighting cuz you're retraining your brain how to have a reasonable response to certain things and stuff you know here that's you know what that's fine for now maybe kind of now it just looks like lumpy bumpies. But honestly, that's not the end of the day. Um, shoulder up. I preach. I preach. I have the, the artist's shoulder. Ugh. And that happens sometimes. I need to reset my stream deck ever since I fixed up the PC. Now, tutorial-wise, we would be... Adding on the extra bits for the hands or legs, so we could. I'm thinking today. Chat. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. What we do is we get the basic forms of those just made up. We get the tutorial up. We get those basic forms done. Um, and then we sort of just like. I don't know. From there. It doesn't matter how shit they look. We just get those basic bits done, so we can say we've got them done. Uh, and then from there we just sort of, you know, we vibe. Look, here it is. And then, I don't know, we'll decide what y'all want to watch. Or do, or whatever. Whatever it is you're feeling. But I need to figure out where we're at. So this is the tutorial by Vow Clarity. Um, slash pin series by Vow Clarity. So people know. So their their models. The one issue I was finding with their models is some of their explanations. Also, I'm trying to do something with a different style of model. It's not, uh, and also, they talk quite quickly. Um, and also, it's not like they've got a masculine model example, and so I have to had to readjust a few things. Or like. For preference as well. But let's just skim briefly. Yeah. See where we're at. Uh, just lower this tad for y'all. Is that the moment? So they... What are they doing? They got those knees done. They... Added... Oh, they added a belly... So here's a new thing they've added. Because we'll have to relook over this properly to see where else they add stuff. Um, like, I'm just going to go without volume for the moment and just play back two times it just to see what else they've got. But obviously, yeah, they got the bunch of the arm stuff. But that's where, so adding elbows after they added knees, it's good to know. Mm. So up here, one, two, three, what's this? Bing, bang, bong, one, two. Ooh, there should be two to the right of it. Which means we're allowed to... Because this is also why we're not adding those other arms yet. Because I don't know how many loop cuts are going to end on that area before they do something else. That's why another issue. I'm not going to wait, watch all 24 videos, and then start watching them. Um, but I'm also... I don't know. I'm not following it step by step the entire time. Because I'm... I don't know. A little cheeky. A little cheeky like that, I think. Up here, obviously they've got, like, main one. Their subdivision's off, and theirs looks clean as fuck. And mine looks like a monster movie that scares the fuck out of me. Uh, because that's probably not good, to be fair. Uh, and I'm terrified of it. 
and we will not mention it until we have to. But alas, that's okay. Uh, loop tools, if I circle, and they go rotate along the Y, and no, rotate along the Z. Yep. Uh, loop tools, circle, GG. Because the elbow region is around the same as your elbow region lines up with around your navely belly button ish area. It's in here. Where what? It's like uh, six, one, two. That's the six. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six for here for your armpit. So we're probably going to lower these. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's that belly button. This is also where the elbow reaches roughly the bottom of the elbow to the top. So it's like, how do we then make that go up there? I don't fucking know, man. So that's like around here to maybe here. And it's like six to five. And then you're like, well, where does that actually start in this spot? Retrospectively? I don't know. How do they know when and where? You don't. You just cry a bit. That's how I see it. You know? That's how I see it. So I'm thinking if that's around here, uh, we can just say for now, uh, GG, we'll just go with wherever it sort of feels okay. I'm going to say for now it's like there, and we go R on the Z. SZ, zero. No! Uh, S R uh, S X zero, S Y zero, yeah. Now, because it's around here, maybe. Because like, where does it actually start? For them, it's like there. It'd be like maybe around here. So if they're around that halfway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. I don't know, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, if I'm thinking it's around here, yeah. Maybe it isn't, but who knows? The answer is not me. We're like here, yeah. This guy, I don't know, he's like here for now. Doesn't matter too much. If we're thinking here, what we'll about all that shit? Because the angle and the whatnot. Let's just see what they're doing. Because this is from the top. And yeah, from the top angle, they've got it slightly going out to the out to the east, northeast. Um, you stop that, you fool. Yes, yeah, so it feels sort of like that. You know what I mean? Uh, that. S Z zero. No. S. S X zero. No. S. Y zero. Yeah, and then R Z. Yeah, it feels more like it. Let me come back here. S X uh, S Y zero R on the Z because that might be like that and then like that a bit that something like that you know and then you're like what about all this and I'll be like Phew. I don't know <laughs> I don't know. We see their shit and we're like, ooh, lovely, no. And then R on the X. Uh, R on the Y. Yeah, that's fine for now. Because technically there's also the rotation of everything. That makes me go, what the hell? So, I appreciate the look. Right, 
I hope everything goes all good. Appreciate you popping by. Now, here, what we're thinking, yeah, 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 is we're giving this a little, little bit of a squidge, yeah? Like that. Uh, here, let's just see what they do. They grab two. And then they did a hotkey that I need to pay attention to because I can't remember. Let's go playback speed normal. Let's see what they do. Normal, rotate. Rotate. Oh, yeah. G. Control B for butthole. Or something. Uh, control B maybe. Ah, for maybe bisect. I don't know. Now, we're also thinking, after the old control B, they add another one. Ooh. And they push that in for the old, the old blondin, which makes sense. Control R. We can do that for now. That's fine. Because we want to make sure we keep an eye out on uh, how many loop cuts and stuff they're doing for the things that they are saying they're doing, yeah? I don't know. Now here. Don't worry about it. Let's see. I'm going to move this back to the old playback times two. Why are they checking in here? Oh, yeah, they're rotating it because... Oh, yeah. Oh, then they add an oopity doop. So they got the four from the back. Gotta make sure we grab those, the right ones, I guess. Oh, yeah. Now we gotta make sure everything's linked up. Okay, okay. If I do that, you'll still see the same thing, yeah? Ah, oh, you'll be fine. Uh, now, back at the old blender house. Why over here, it's probably these four, if I'm honest. Do I know, though? No, is the answer. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to look at it again, to see exactly if we can catch that moment when they start doing that. Because I don't really pause properly to, you know, indicate anything at all. So we got top of the shoulder in. Yeah, because we got armpit is definitely the bottom. Then we got one, two, three. And if we look at it carefully, if it's one, two, three, it's bottom of the, there's the bottom of the armpit. So it's like. Hey, 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 stop going that quickly. Right now, stop it. Bam. So bottom of the arm, it goes armpit. I'm thinking armpit and then towards us is up. So armpit. Then the diagonal of what, because it's a two diagonal from the looks of it, the diagonal that's going towards the back is one of the bottom two. Is how they're doing it. So we'll see, we'll see. So if we're here, where we gotta realize the error of everything we've just we've done earlier, because I, um, things are a little, little scary in here. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This is, <laughs> I don't know exactly. Exactly how we're going to fix everything up here, and if we are meant to. Because I don't know exactly how to tell when something's wrong and when something's different. Yeah? Because we've got armpit. Because the armpit bit's the middle one. 
Then we've got that middle bit. This part here being the armpit needs to lie around one, two, three, four, five. Technically around here, I think. Um, or at least like in this area. So around here makes sense. Um, from there, we got to consider this out a bit is where things start coming out. Um, which means like this is the bit that comes out here. We've got a lot of additional loop cuts that maybe we need to get rid of. They were there additionally because, well, that's just simply how I felt. I wanted to indicate a little bit more definition on some of the chest stuff. Um, that secondary bit there seems to be in line with um, the middle of that area. Now we have where this comes in, seems almost, almost out this way a bit more. Who knows? Uh, not me. I hate that the blender disappears when I do that, because it's like, I want you all to still be able to see it even if I click off of it. Hi, uh, I probably need to change some of the capture settings to be fair. But, looking at the back here, I don't need this anymore, get out of there. Here though, we've got to consider that goes almost like that upper middle. Uh, you can come back across here with you. And that's what's creating this area here, yeah? And a bit more out like that. Which makes sense, I think. It's fair to say that being out more like that probably makes some sense. Um, we can even do that. Come back here. But it's also like how are we adjusting or changing proportions based off other things as well, so I'm like, I don't know, keep an eye on it. Um, here, maybe that's like that, and that comes in. It's hard to say. From this angle, it probably goes up a bit more like that. Is what I'm thinking. That's like generally the rough area I'm thinking. And then like the upper to shoulder is that next bit. Because it goes, there's the diagonal. Which is like, we want to go out. Just to like around here maybe. Then this one. The next one along. So it goes there. And then it goes, we've like misplaced where they want this one being used I suspect. Or... Um, 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 that's what they want, because they've got, we probably need to, like, fix this shit, to be fair. Because the geometry of that got real muffed. Whoop, let's just fix that for now. And... So we'll just fix that so that we can adjust that. Because we probably have some bunch of geometry spots that we'll have to deal with later that will make me sad. Womp womp. That's okay. Here, thinking about it, we have that shouldery blump, whatever you want to call it. we got to consider at the very least, though, is, I guess, where some of these things are and where they aren't. For example, here we can sort of tell that 
along this route here. Let's just flip that around. Wait. Dip doop, dip doop, dip doop. Aha. Nah. Wrong. Wrong. No, I don't want to full screen it. Good enough, honestly. We're probably not going to get anything better. Do, 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 do. I'm just trying to make sure, see what's the best bet we can get, as close as we can, frame-wise. That's a bit better. Because uh, what we can see... There's the central bit that curves in, then we go up. It goes up and then becomes effectively like a little... Out, out. Out, out, forward, up for the back. Yeah. Where if we were from the side to look, we would see first arms, fuck off. But here we would see like this bad boy probably needs to come back forward. So does that. Who knows though? Um, because we look here, because that's gonna be different. They've added like heaps. They've added. Maybe we need to add other stuff for that geometry. Um, that we haven't added. That they've had added for like the breasts and stuff. But we probably still have to add them, even if we don't have them. Just so there's no pressure on some areas. Well, you don't know, we'll figure it out. But, at the very least, I'm thinking here for now. Ah, we leave that. But what we got to balance is this is where we got that loop, make a ring, whatever you want to call it. And then from the loop, make ring. We got where it starts going up. And then that's fine. We can do that bad boy there. Then we come back down and we got not only this back bit here. Because they added this ring recently, so we've got to consider probably that might even be... We got the arms, the ring... No, because it goes arms and ring, so it couldn't be. Yeah. Because arms and then that ring. That ring... Being... My asshole. This one needs to come back this way, I think. And then further down. We'll see how that impacts everything else in a bit. But that's okay. Maybe that's just part of it. So who the fuck knows? On an immediate basis, not me. Uh, back across. Ew, bitch. Back. Uh, from there, cry a bit. Here, maybe we. Because what angle are they at? Because they're like there. Yeah. It's like they're slightly touching that. It's like that sort of area in this example. And they're like. Wow, but the torso is different as well. But I think we got to consider that these might be further back this way. Um, maybe that's impacting it. So do you think that could be impacting it? It's hard to say. All I know is that I'm confused. So hell yeah. That's right there. We being chilling. I 
Because if we said, say it's like that, we have, turn this back on. Um, here, this bad boy, say if he went back out again. Come back to the side reference. Alt Z. Alt Z, Alt Z. This is obviously still too far out, and that's okay. Come back here. Because it's from here, we probably can, like, Alt Z, maybe. Get an idea. Hopefully. Um, because this is, like, a little bit more morphed. So maybe we need to... Oh, uh, grab these bad boys here. Yeah. And then if we did this, what if we did Alt S in a tiny bit? Um, maybe we did R along the R on the Y axis, R on the X axis, R on the X axis, maybe. Uh, I do think Alt Z. This bit here, like maybe this bad boy needs to come up a bit more, a bit sooner, and then because so we got this side bit here. <laughs> We can do this and that and a little bit of that. That's fine. Move you back across as well. But what we can also see is that maybe while this is coming through here, this needs to be up a bit more and so does this one. Maybe. So this one... Maybe there, a little bit of that tinkering. Bring him back a bit more. So we can bring maybe this whole thing a bit further back. It's hard to say though. Can you stop doing that, lad? Thank you. So it could be that's too far forward. I need to go further back. Uh, a bit more like that, maybe. And then I think that actually makes a bit more sense. Yeah, because getting a little little grounding in here. We can do that. It means that we can then come back with this bad boy a bit more. Uh, uh, let me go G Y back in this way a bit more. Then Alt Z because we're around here again. And probably G Z down this way a little bit better. Because what we got to consider is if this is where that thing might be. Hello, Brent. How you going? Maybe uh, let me get. Out. Uh huh. Have you been well though? Kabam. I'm gonna try and fix that. Um, shoulder blade, armpit oh, region. It's a lot of tinkering and figuring it out, yeah. Good. Now I'm thinking, yeah. Come back up here. Let's see how much we fuck things up again in this region, so we can cry and toy with it as we need. Uh, we can do that one. Compromise here for now. Now, in here, that's the bit that I'm like, what the hell? Shift E. Let's not do that for now, because I want to G uh, that. 
Do this a bit more. Maybe this needs to come in here a bit. It's hard to say. Uh, because... I don't make fucking no. Uh, <laughs> it's just... It's just how it is, mate. But, what have I been? What you been up to recently there, Brent? What's the hamps? Let me just quickly rotate along the Y. Maybe a bit like that. Uh, here, that's like that. We'll need to look back at what they've done. So that we can be like, oh. Probably. To be fair. But, hey, that's alright. That's half of it. Now here, that's like that. What I need to consider is maybe if I went down like that. Uh, I don't know. We, we had it fine, and then I wanted to adjust the shoulders. And just like anything, um, things get... Everything changes when the Fire Nation attacks. And that includes here. So we got to figure out what else gets confused and needs adjusting, yeah? Now I'm thinking around here makes some sense. Hey, T, how you going? Working gaming? Woo! What you gaming on? Arms, arms, where are the arms? Rats, rats, we are the rats. Now, what we know is we were at a decent spot earlier. But that's okay. So we wanted to destroy it all, definitely. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll be alright. We'll figure it out. That's probably more like that, though. Now, will we figure it out? Yeah. We'll toy around with it again in a bit. For now, we got to at least figure out where these bad boys are coming from. Can you all stop that right now? Uh, you go back across and stop going in when I try to fix you up, mate. Can you do that instead? Thank you, because we need to try to indicate that as well. Come back there. Let's go back to sit here, see how much is fucked up. Uh, I mean, there's stuff to work on, as always. That's probably how I'd word it. But hey, you know what? To be fair, it's not as fucked as it could have been. Um, I know that that's technically like more like here and there. That's more like here and there. And then it's, I think, this stuff that I like lower if I want them stronger or lift them if I want them higher. I don't remember. I'm going to be absolutely fucking honest. Um, unless I don't really care. Because we'll figure that out later. Because right now we want to at least figure out Fixing these armpits and arms regions as best as we can. And then we can figure out how we're tinkering with the stuff we've tinkered with before better later. For example, like, you know, here. Uh, and how's D&D &D been going, T? Hope it's going well for you. Here, here, here. What if I did that? Um, I don't know, chaps. Let's get this bad boy, like that. I'm getting distracted on trying to fix this area when that's not meant to be the focus right now. Because I know I'll change it again later. So I'll we'll need to stop. Stop it. Uh, temporarily good enough. Alright, back to here. Because... We've lost some definition. Little creature getting up to mischief. mischief. This, this is no good. good. Oh. 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 The beast, the beast is, is demonic, demonic in, in nature. nature. Very icky. icky no, no good. good. Oh. Very icky. No good. 
Mm. Alas. Hollow Knight and Elden are good shit. There are so many dots now. Oh, yeah. And there's still not enough. What I do know is that... Yo! Hey, you going, Miley? I hope you're well. And it's public holiday today. Holy shit, it is, isn't it? <laughs> I fucking forgot. Now, let me... You're finally resting? Good shit, team. Hope you're well, Miley. So, let me stretch me wee little legs out for a second. My model will go wangle dangus, but that's fine. Oh, my knees are sore. Good. Uh, I'm alright. Uh, my body woke me up at 5am for no damn reason, so we're cooked. But we're vibing. Uh, we yapped quite a bit earlier in stream, to be fair. Um, we made some nice adjustments to like the hip placement and then the pectoral range. Then we went to fix up the arm and shoulder. Went alright. Realised I wasn't a fan of where the el the armpit was. And everything's gone fucky. But that's alright. That's fine. That's part of the experience. I also had spare bubble wrap earlier. So I popped that for stream. And everyone likes a nice little bit of bubble wrap. But it'll be well though. Uh, I'm thinking. From here. I'll probably drag those in a bit more. Due to the fact that... Uh -uh. That's my answer. The reason is... Uh -uh. I'm going to turn subdivision back off again. Because side reference is different from... like All of it's going to be slightly different. So, it's just a suggestion now. That's what, that's what I'm saying. And look at all how the arms are like... Brr. I'm lost and confused in this vast world of fucking bullshit. That's where I am. I'll do that for now. But, Alt-Z, come back here. Whoop, whoop. Now, that, maybe, Alt-Z. If we're sticking to this completely... It would be off. Because that's right. The model is different than all of the references. Boop, bitty, boop. But it's at least to give me... No, I wanted to go here. Stop it. It's at least to give me a good idea of how it progresses, I think. Because we probably need to do this. Maybe that's fine. Shut up, Windows Security. How about you secure my bollocks? Uh, back here, we're just triple checking before we add the elbow to the arms. So what started this tangent was we went to add the elbow to the arms. And then we realized we want to make sure it's put in the right spot. Then we realized, okay, let's just check on how they've done things. And my brain then starts going, oh, I need to touch up things. And alas, my own hubris. So it goes, I'll put one, uh, one that goes slightly... Kind of middle, kind of not. Does that make sense? Nope. Do I care? Nope. That's okay. But what I do know is that we got the bits we opened up like that, yeah. And it's like one, two, three, and then we're in. One, two, three, and then we're in. That makes sense. Now from here. I think they probably used this part as that's why I need to see what they what part they're saying is the shoulder and what part they aren't. Cause we've gone on a whole thing trying to figure out the arms. But at the very least we can keep this central three here. Return it back to being more like an arm, because we have our arms separate that we made as like ideas, for those who aren't aware. So these arms here are more just so we can keep track of what they're doing, what we might need to change or edit and then we'll figure it out a little bit better later. So this doesn't matter too much. Uh, it'd be S wiser. Yeah. Shrunk him down like that one. Bring him along. Loop tool, circle. S way zero. S. Because we want to make sure that we're sticking. If we're following the tutorial as best we can, we want to stick to you know, the ways that they do things as close as we can 
so that if there is an issue, we can actually refer to adjusting it. So we've got those, we've got the, from there, the one, two, three. That third one here is probably needs to be a bit closer again. GY, back in here, sort of thing. And then we need to adjust how they do the shoulders. I don't know, uh, you learned about butt fangs, though? <clears throat> butt fangs! Good stuff. Oh, yeah, for, like, models and stuff where, like, um, the little two pieces of, the little bit of the butt that hangs out beneath in between the legs from the front view. Yeah, 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 I know about butt fangs. Took me a second. I hadn't heard that word in a while. But now I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, good old butt fangs. Everyone loves a nice old butt fang. Now here, from the front, it's like, what, one, two, uh, it's like, if we did from here, one, two, three... I think we probably need to make sure these are out, because also, they're doing a feminine model, we're not yet. We will want to make it so it can switch between the two. Um, but alas, for our first model, um, we'll just do it as almost semi-androgynous in a weird way to figure it out, just the general concept and how the fuck to blend. But... Um, now maybe that needs to come back up here, back here, and then back there, and then back there a tad, maybe. That's okay. Don't entirely care. Just need to make sure I do it. And then, once we're back to around here, we'll realize, oh no, everything will be weird again. We'll have to adjust it according to the subdivision mode. And thus, welcome to Blender. And all of its horrors. Let me turn the music back on, please. Thank you. Um, I'm thinking, yeah. If we... That's probably correct there to whatever extent is necessary that's probably pretty like all right before we adjust otherwise then that ring that creates this sort of bit we might need to go back to the face mode i think if we roll it on this edge a bit more um Uh, we're going to grab this line instead, because I think this one... I don't know, that feels a bit off there. But we can even just move that, do that, and then scale that down, bring that across. Yeah. Then we come back here, go up a bit. But then back across like that, I think. Here even bring that there you can come back across maybe and you and you no 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 we'll make that a, for the dot spot here going back down and that way that way because we've got to consider the shoulder yeah your shoulder comes in a bit more than like the actual bit but there's that dip as well there are many aspects to this Many of them that I'm still quite new to. And so we got to at least do some level of wangling around. So it makes a little bit more sense. You know, and so it feels at least a little bit more hospitable. I don't know if that's even the right word for this situation. Uh, I don't like that. Go back. <laughs> back you go. That, I know, is probably down there. You're probably down there to an extent. You're probably back up here. Then in there. Yeah, we're probably down. GG, back here. Maybe back up. No, I don't like that at all. Now, I also got to be careful of how this turns out. Because I know, I've already heard this. I keep forgetting I've got two of that me bloody playlist. Get out of here now. As may I say, I can keep track of all the points. Fair play to you. I 
Appreciate it. Um, I can't. <laughs> that's that's the best answer you're gonna get. That's why a lot of the time I end up going back to. That's why the tutorial is helpful because then I have to check like the points where they are. So that's why it's paused here so I can reference it. Um, because I knew that when I was fixing up these arms that I actually may have been mis uh, remembering where some points were. Um, and also then it's just like what points are actually still there and what aren't. It's a little naughty, not gonna lie. And this is still like, when I look at people who actually do models, when they're like doing proper like models for games and stuff, and they're like, oh, it's like only like 10,000 and stuff like that. Now I know exactly what they're referring to. And it's like squares. When they're talking about how many like, like this is the low, 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 low poly. And I'm like, I'm terrified now. Now, I'm thinking from here, yeah, we did this and that. Maybe that's going to be okay. Let's triple check over here. We can sort of see we got the the bottom bits that becomes sort of like a a down and out fang. Yeah, sort of like that. Not exactly, but good enough, you know. The, which, in a way, sort of become a way that these guys are on the Z, no, R on the Y. Is it R on the Y? No, R on the X. And out a bit more. Probably. I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. Something like that. Mayhaps. Now, we know, I know that the second I do all of this, I'll lose a lot of the detail because the more similar they are to each other, being squares, the more that detail's lost. Which is okay. I'm just trying to make it until, you know, it's that compromise of, I don't know when they start adding more polygon-like detail and shit. So who knows? Uh, I think that one... Go! Random vertice. I choose you! Pikachu, mate. Fucking Pikachu. Uh, now, I've got a few options for once Blender does me head in for the day. We could do some Infinite Fusion. We could go back to Terraria, which we haven't done in a long time. Uh, just to see if we can, uh, like if we really want to suffer on Master Mode after... Well, I mean, Legendary Mode after... You know, quite a while. Took a break from it while me and Magma's brains were dead. Could do some more Seven Days to Die. I don't know. Might not be feeling that today. Uh, but what have you been up to, uh, Mally? Hope you've been alright. Cruising along, hopefully. It's been a hot minute. How long has it been? It's been quite a few months, actually, hasn't it? Hope your health's treating you okay. Um... So at least I remember that. Um, now, if I did that, now we turn, so this seems like maybe it's okay. So we turn this back on and it goes, shloom. Now I just gotta make sure it doesn't look horrendous. And then we go, I don't know, because we don't know arms well enough. We just figure out if it's good enough to compromise. <laughs> uh, to get to, like, another point. Because um, I think it's at that point where it's probably best to just sort of, like, call some things, like, temporary losses. Yes, we lost some of the um, pronunciation in some areas we built, but they were potentially not good because, from what I know, is you want things to be close to squares as best you can. Doing a lot better than I could ever... Way too many dots and lines. Yeah, it feels like that. Uh, you get used to it. I think one thing. This is my first time learning Blender, and I've been doing it since February, um, beginning of February. And I would say, I'm like, look, this is the second hour long tutorial, and we've been going since February. It's more just I've been doing it for multiple, like a long, long while of just being very. Um, continuously methodical i guess um but i'm enjoying the process i think that helps a lot um and it's something that well it's been it's been really good learning that stuff i think 
if I said down, come back here. Now, but hopefully it at least encourages people that if they want to try it, they can do it, I think. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know. Well, that's probably around there. This is probably back there, along with that one. That's, a, you know, that's, what are we thinking? I think that maybe this point up here is a little off. So we probably need Alt-S for, like, expanding that region. And that's okay. It's not like, woo, we fixed it. But it's, like, enough for me to consider it as human. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's enough. Um... Feels like there's an armpit. It, this stuff will work that out eventually, I think. Um, the back is like, it's okay. The butt's okay. Like, there are things where it's like, uh, some, I just need to switch up what I'm doing slightly so it doesn't become like a tedious. And uh, switching up what I'm doing slightly is very useful so that I don't just like um, get used to you know, when you're doing art, if you do the same thing over and over, you start just, like, not seeing what it actually looks like. I know. Been surviving. It's been a while, yeah. Back and forth with hospital stuff, but can finally manage my pain levels better. A lot better than I could. I'm really glad for you. I hope that you continue that trajectory, and I'm uh, glad things are going well. So, yeah. Um, it's definitely not easy, but you're doing well. Now... But, there you go. So, at the very least, hey, the legs are okay. There's still more to go. But I'm kind of happy with the knees. Uh, the calves are, need work. They don't look right. And the waistline's okay. It's better than it was before. The butt's alright. It's not too bad. Um, we... It's okay, I think. We're... At a spot where I think, I think, I think, I think, that I keep saying I think, that we can at least reasonably, reasonably come back to here and go back to here and see that they're going, it's like one, two, three, four, in between this new area we made, which is the, the fourth line, is where they start making these elbows. One, two, three. Yeah, in here. Which should be, in theory, uh, these ones here. Yep. Now, looking at angles and stuff. Um, probably a bit more like that. And then rotating on the Z axis is... I don't know. Rotate on the X. Beep, boop. Maybe. Rotate on the Y. Okay. Now, I want to show y'all, in case you hadn't seen, this is the arms we're working on. Before we added these cuts as like ideas uh, based off what we knew and we sort of were like going based off like maximum amount to try and make something roughly uh, then instead of finishing off we went to halve the poly count to here which is probably my favorite we did and then we halved it again so that we had effectively like the amount of loop cuts it had at the time um, to see if that was alright, like if it would, uh, to try and figure out from a different angle. Uh, I was happy with this one, but we'll see what they keep adding here. Um, because from the looks of it, it's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, which one, one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this is nine. This is still like one more because that's like connecting in here. So even this is still like too long. So it's like, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't work as well as I'd love. Um, but we'll just see what they're doing. Keep an eye on it. Maybe we'll turn that into one of them, or maybe we just grab one of these and turn it on. It's, I'm not too sure, so we're just 
Uh, that's why I had them separate to try and figure it out, because um, I was getting pretty rusty on the um anatomy. But I think that's all right. But alas, from here, I think what they did was they probably did E, uh, S, and then they probably went out like this, a bit like how they did the uh, a bit like how they did the adding the knees. So it's probably like this. So let's see what they do there. Beep, beep, beep. One, two, three, four. Out, in. And then, I oh guess they need to loop, cut, circle it. So, loop tool, circle, bitch. Uh, and then that's where it's like, what the hell? Come back out like that. This bad boy out like that. This bad boy out like that. Now this is where, you know, we got a little, a little circly boy. Little circly do. Now we're not trying to hyper detail that stuff right now. We've done some touching up and now we want to sort of see where they add. So they go to the front. Bing, bang, bong. Now the tutorial is up there if you ever want to learn Blender along with me. Um more than encourage it i'm technically only tutorials in so don't worry it's not like you know we're not in a spot where we can we can pick it up but at the moment there's just sound off because i'm just sort of checking things out so we go they do that circle thing or oh, they go up all of it and then they do what i saw that what did they do bing bang bong yeah bang grab it all Make sure it's on dots, and then they smooth the vertices. Aha, I caught you, you fucker. Trying to do something. Obviously, they probably said it if I was paying attention, but I didn't. That's because I'm just sort of geezing through it at the moment. We go to the dots. We go smooth the vertices. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Come back to here. Then it's like, what dot are they doing there? Pfft, I don't know, but it's two of them. And it looks like, okay, there we go. So this is why I pause it. So this is the what you're saying, Mally, with like the dots. We can see up to that top. I'll zoom in in so it's a little easier for you all to see. Also, if you want to do stuff while you're watching and lurking, you can fish, get some shit, vibe. I think it's cute. Um... That way, if you want to just goofy uh, uh in the meantime, there you go. But yes, yeah, so let me get this up briefly. Here, we can see the very top. Uh, when I say top, I mean like, you know, north side. Those lines are where the elbow connects. Then we can see three lines. You know, it's almost like four. We see the dots. We see four squares. And then we can see where they're tinkering with. And this is sort of like how I'm trying to keep track. Um, and so it's like three line. It's like the three the elbow at the edge of the elbow. They got the four squares. So we got elbow, four squares, edge. So that's this one is one of the corners they're dealing with. So we look at the video now, and once they come down to here, we know that that's one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. You know, that's where that is. You feel? That should be okay there. Can even even do that one a bit, maybe. Uh, we can even do uh, a little bit of that one. Where this beard boy? Now it looks like what they do is they grab all of that shit and all of that shit, and they start scaling it probably. So let's check. Beep 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 beep. They grab that shit and they sort of scale drag it somewhere at the bottom left. You won't see it clearly, but they pretty much just say they go GG, which is the grab and align a vertice. 
So it looks like that's what they're doing. So we come back up here, zoom out a bit, and we go GG. And that'll scale sort of along there a bit. Uh, GG, 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 alright, GG, GG, GG. Uh, you got S, G, 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 G. Probably can do this. It's hard to say, I don't know anyway. This is gonna be one of those things that I'm just like, I don't know. We know that these are those sort of key bits there. Let's just do this just to make sure there's nothing in a weird spot. Face orientation, go. Nothing's on the red, we are good. Um, because if anything was, then it would be, it fucks things up, pretty much. So here, what are they doing? Obviously they've done their arms to the point where they're sort of happy with it. What are they doing here? They're adding a belly button now? Okay. Now, we can do this. There's, will be areas we'll need to actually, like, change that detail. Because now it just looks like a tube. With a little bongy wongly. Uh, but, you know. That's where we'll figure that out. Let's see. This is where we've got extra vertices for, like, in case we want to add more, like, muscle definition or changing. Um, so this will be harder to track. I'm going to be honest. Let's, and we've also got... Oh, yeah, this one's going to suck. What are they doing? They're adjusting the hip. That's fine. Just adjustments. I want to see if they add anything new. Oh, they did. They just add another loop cut without telling me. You bitch. Now, uh, to be fair, it doesn't matter. Because, in theory, we already have... Duh, 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 another loop cut. Um, Because we just have a lot in that central area. But let's just check here what they've done. So they've gone... Bleh. Okay, so they have gone and pretty much where that central bit that's curving in, because they got the groin, uh, sort of like the groin to hip. There's those triangle bits. If we were to check along here too, uh, we definitely have. We don't have anything there yet. That's just precaution for Twitch if we do start adding stuff there. Um, but here it's definitely you got those squares you got the bits where this probably needs to be like uh, we probably need to angle a few of these a bit better um we'll have to adjust that but that's all right um that probably comes in there actually Maybe there, but we can sort of see uh, on a base level when we come back to the subdividing bit as well. Things are a little bit uh, funky. And you're like, wow, that's fucking weird. And then I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we need to, we probably need to adjust some of these. But I also am like, I can't be bothered, mate. I'm sort of, they finally, it worked. It's all right. It's not the end of the world. If it looks weird, that might just simply be we need to add more loops or something later on. I don't know, eh? And here, where these guys cross over, we do need to sort of, like, uh, uh, Z, G, Y. Is this where these guys are, like, in the wrong spot? Uh, okay, so what I need to do here is I need to turn the mirror off. Uh, S, no, G, Y, 0. Is that where that should be? Uh, 0. Thank you, because I don't want that, like, pushing into that, because that's when that'll cause, like, issues, I think. So we can turn that back on. Hopefully that'll be okay. 
I can even do that a tad, then hopefully, once I do that, they should be separate. Marvellous. Like, maybe it'll lose some definition, but we don't want them becoming goofy or ass stuck together for five years, you know what I mean? Who knows? Maybe we do. Oh, yes, stop that right now. But for now, um... I know that there are some things we need to change, but uh, you got to do deal with it as we got to deal with it. For example, uh, here, that makes sense. Um, this is one that technically comes down a bit further along like that, at least for them. Because I'm trying to figure out the different, like, make sure we got the difference between, hey, this is different because of different style, or uh, whether it's more masculine, we want them differently, compared to, okay, we can try and learn something from it. And that's okay. It's, like, part of it, I think. And also where we've got, like, extra, extra loops that we wouldn't normally have. Um, but for now, we know at the very least where that sort of why is. To an extent, uh, those ones down the bottom there, we need to go back in there, back further back, I think, for now. It'll just be easier to do with. I can just do that. I can do that for now. Now that's lost a lot of in there. I don't I don't mind too much. Now they've obviously as you can see it sort of like goes out quite a bit to just even slightly indicate something like that. Um maybe we need to go out on other parts a little bit earlier, you know, like up here. But also maybe not. For now what I'm looking at is we got the line here. That bit that comes down there is there. That's fine. Then we have the bit that their next one that goes up, which we would still have consistent. Which for them is that. Yeah, that's sort of like in there. Uh, I think that's probably more like that. And then that then comes up to their halfway point where they are cutting things off. But that's like here for me. Uh, because we got this to this, here to here. We probably don't want as much of a press because they're going to change things now. Uh, come back here. This looks like they're going to be adding stuff. Shift E. Uh, forward a little bit and up, I think. Now, this is technically going to have a... Still needs to be around, like, this area, I think. So that's probably still following this line and coming in. Who knows? Not me. This is where there's that extra muscle slash fat that goes, that uh, is above that hip range. That's why we've differentiated that there, whereas they've just done one for their simplified art style, maybe. I don't know. Um, these are things we'll learn to... I don't know. I've classified some things as just learning and we'll come to it later. So I won't learn until I see why or why not I should do something, I think. That's okay. I'm not afraid of learning, just don't want to waste effort needlessly. Because if effort was put towards learning, that's not wasting. Shift E. Let's just do that. So what we know is this line here. Seems like they've almost got like the four at the front. Which means we might need to realign how we've done some of these. Which is okay. Mm, maybe we should save before it. 
save as I'll say temp uh, armpit uh, slash shoulder fix underscore pre belly button. I think that saves properly. All right. Because then that's three in the center. Um, they, I think we're grabbing the five instead. It should be these ones as well. Which means we probably got to come back to here. Temporarily remove all these tighteners because we don't know what they're doing with it. Because we got that bad boy from up here and there, from uptown. Remove you down a tad, like that. You can go up a bit. And like that. And like that. So that's like one, two, three, four. That's the five plus the additional. Similar for them. And then they show like almost like this bit's further out than that. So maybe that's something we need to consider changing. Because maybe. When it comes to the basics of it, maybe that's better. Um, cause I don't know. Cause simplified representation of this stuff. I definitely don't know. Like I know how it should end up looking, but hey, who knows? It's a new step every day. You stop that, you rat. Now that one, maybe that's better up there. Maybe you're better there, and then back out. Who the fuck knows? Uh, in here. Maybe more like that. Who knows? Not me. Um, I do know that these two are meant to bring as close as together as we can from memory. Um... That might need to be up more. But I don't know. That's a mystery to me. In here, I think. Is that so? That's. There's no. Nothing in there. It just makes it look weird. Yeah? That's just because it's dark, not a second layer. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, back to here. What they start doing is they grab. They had a loop cut above, which is fine, and they open up the belly. Which I guess is where you would add all the other belly bits. The loop cut above, we already had, assuming we would need something like that. So, uh, that's a... That's a W for us, I think. Plus one to save. But... <laughs> Aside some those memes, uh, it makes sense, I guess. Seems like G. Eh, and we go, ah, uh, was it like? Seemed like that way, but then once we grab those, I want to hear exactly what they said they did. Because otherwise, I'm going to be like, what? You know? So you add the loop cut, and what the fuck are they saying? Pick these. V. Like this. V for I don't know. For I don't know, like chainsaw sounds or something. V for uh, I don't know. <laughs> v snip. What the fuck does V? I, I want. I'm curious what the why the, it's called V. So I can remember it a bit yeah. better. V, yep. V, put this. And they go down. Okay, so we need almost like that that ring still up in this top half, which is fine. I'm going to do, actually, see this top area here and this up here. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to do that. I'm going to loop tools, circle. 
and go ah like that do that now i know so say when we got that thing it goes neck goes there comes in um that i don't think it needs to be as uh, s on the is it x yeah, yeah yeah and then we can sort of go back a bit more like that a bit more like that as well a bit more like that because i don't think it needs to be like that much now we can even shift e these as well until we know exactly shift e back across back across like that bring them back in Now this, remembering wherever they do this sort of hip to, like, I don't know what you'd call it, the little, the dent, the grip spot for the waistline um, is different from masculine to feminine form due to bone structure. Um, hip lower to hips area um, on a masculine form, it comes down and those, they sort of come down to like, um, uh, quite a bit lower. Honestly. Whereas for feminine, it's probably more like up here. For masculine, it makes sense. It's more like here. Or here. just come and do this stuff we can do that bit of this bit of that and a little bit of this and that i think which leaves that to be like you know in this awkward mix spot which is fine probably we can figure that shit out probably pretty simply um it's here that they started going like down there and down there i think right here here mm -hmm. like these v, v like they go all the right way here. down and then what do they fucking do ah uh, okay so they probably just like rotated on a certain angle for the sake of ease let's grab these yeah there okay there we go yeah that worked i see i see now this is where if you're looking at a form before we look at the subdividing positioning in theory it should be around one two one two three four five six is around the armpits which we've got fine now actually Come in, hip bones are more of a butterfly shape, whales more fan shape. Yeah, 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 exactly. You're on it. Um, but it's also like the height and width um, compared to torso, shoulder, and stuff like that. But yeah, you're 100% right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, around there. Then we want one, two, three, four, five, six. It's around this line here. Um, Around here is where it's the bottom of the elbow slash navel point. Which that navel point, it's probably fine here, but I want to see what they do first. But that's just so we remember, bottom of that elbow. We'll see what they do. Do E again, go right there. Put these, and I'm at center. I'm at center. And uh... Four more squares, they chuck them at center, and then they make triangle. Don't you dare say you're making a triangle now. Triangles are hard. Uh, this is these four here. We go beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. beep. Uh, let's turn this off for the sake of ease, I suspect. Do, 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 do. Uh, Phil? Yeah. Uh, Phil, if I did this, that should be okay. That's one, two, three, four, I think. 
Um, because they just went it to the at center anyway, didn't they? Um, yeah, because they just went there. They added four. Um, but instead, you can just fill that area, to be fair. I think. Same concept. Um, it's probably just slight angling that's different innately that I can toy around with anyway. Because that's the one, two, three, four, which just leaves these little triangles of hell. Yeah. Center and click these and F. All right. Y triangles. Maybe something later. So we got to, I don't know. F for fill. Make sure everything is still oriented okay. We went inside ourselves. <laughs> is everything okay? No major issues. Um, maybe one in there. Uh, what we need to consider is why is that considered? Is that just because of where it's positioned? I think it probably is. It's just probably simply something like that. But when we subdivide, it's visible again, so it doesn't matter. So that's okay. So we've now added this tom tom area. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna keep it blue for a little bit because I like it. I wonder if we can color code squares. That'll be sick. But who knows? Maybe it's uh, that's just something we have to do with like the actual art face mapping later. Because uh, I think once we've done a few tutorials, made a few models, we'll start understanding how we like our workflow, and so we know how to do it a bit better. G that's ages from now. this thing going on? Not yet. Up here is going to be the rib cage. Up here is going to be the rib cage. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So bring up rib cage. We it's good we have that extra one because masculine form. Though we might need to note that when we uh, pun included gender fluid switch to the feminine form, whether we remove that or just like hide those loops. How on earth we're going to do that too is going to be wild. Right, this is a fun old journey. Because we've got to consider the, in that masculine form um... Or is it? It's like hip bone. It's a hip. It's the weight that's above it. Maybe up to, say, uh, there. We'll have to see how it looks subdivided, I suspect. Right, come up here. I suspect this point here we've just made is the one that is meant to be here maybe depends on what they're doing uh i'm gonna say that is just for ease because some of these bits are already sort of coming down like this and probably make it a little bit easier just mentally i guess uh coming in here coming in here Coming in here, no issues. And we can probably say, maybe in here, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, in here, um, this mean with our additional thing, this here that comes down, maybe. This could be interesting. <laughs> Because uh, that could be, what, it's around here, that line there, maybe, there's something about it. But I think this is definitely good, because we got rib line probably to here, I'm thinking. And then maybe that to here. This line here, 
Obviously, this isn't going to show up when we subdivide anywhere near the same, so we're going to have to check that out. We have to do that. Then we have to just have a look. Let's give it a sniff chat. What are we thinking? So, if I was to do this, uh, then we look at it again. So, here, if I was to go from the back, um, a little bit better. From the front, uh, that rib cage is a little bit more obvious. Uh, we can also tell that maybe, maybe this needs a little bit more clarity in just in there. Um, and then this area needs a little bit t more touching up now that we've done that. I can tell some things are a little bit, uh, might need to be adjusted. But that's okay, we can figure out as needed. I'll have to see what each part moves when we do that. But I do think, like, say if it's like that, you got a little bit more of the tumbus, probably. If I did that, brings that out. That makes that more skinny. So if you did that, it makes more sense for, like, more muscular or something, probably. And then you bring that bad boy back in. Now here, uh, having that come out might be alright. We just gotta make sure that that's probably more like, um, because uh, if we're thinking like a fan, it's probably right. Well, let me know what y'all think as well, because you know. Sometimes when you get used to staring at it, you don't notice some of the immediate glaring issues. Um, that may be presented. I think maybe the angle, if we go to lines like this, yeah. I think some of the angles of some of the things are a little off, like say that one. Uh, that one needs changing a tad. I did ah. Uh, what do you think ah? Uh, because that's more open, that's more closed. I'm gonna leave that one for now. It's not too sure. Cause that's more like in like that. That's more. If I did that, I uh, might leave that, and we might come back to it. Uh, when we're more aware, like when we haven't looked at it for a little bit. So let's see what they do. I'm gonna jump to hyperspeed right again. Uh, yes, yeah, so they lower those a lot lower. Makes sense. We're gonna go hyperspeed it again. Right here. And once we know, so you add right there. Oh, they added another thing. Aha! Button to be right here. Yeah. So you add another loop cut here. So that way the triangle is no longer a triangle. Aha! Jonathan, I'm banging your daughter. Uh, get out of subdivider briefly. So where we would be doing this, yeah. These bad boys going down right now, 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 now. And these bad boys going down, down right now, but it little, it little. And then with that coming in here. Right here, uh, right there, right up here, and then I think it was loop cut here. Seems like it was accurate, and right it should there. leave. Just depends on what. Uh, it should be cutting between those four, but not necessarily where they those are. Yep, correct. You want circle? He screwed. Oh, what did you fucking just do there? So you got him right there. Ah, uh, so now they're making the belly button. Okay, so here they do something or other. <laughs> Fucking something. Uh, is it the which two are they grabbing? Just depends on what you want. It's Double the bottom e two. 
Back we go, play back one times. It's the bottom two squares, so this one and this one. Yep, I know what they do. See the add-on right there. Mm-hmm. Just depends on what One, two. Want. Circle. Aha! Best get off to bed. Uh, it's going 4 a.m. for me. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you popping by, and you take care, right? Have a good sleep. All the best. We did this. What about that one? I can even bring this one in here. Uh, that one, these ones, we a little bit more like that. Uh, we can go out like that, maybe. Do that one. Now here. We can do that one. Come back to the faces. Wham, wham. And circle. Holy hell. So we've circled it. Theirs worked out fine. But ours may be a little bit wonky right now due to some factors. That's all right. Is more than fine. We've got to consider is this rib cage area here stops a little bit above there. So I'm thinking. Bring this bad boy up there because that's where that comes up. That's going to be like what? That sort of size. Maybe. Come back to here, bing bong. Uh, circle, was that correct? No, no, what are you doing, lad? Uh, orientation, let's just triple check that. That's all fine. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, da, 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 boom, boom, boom. Base orientation is fine. Turn that off again. That's all right. It's fine. Come back to here. If I did that. Do, 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 do. We can go schmirkle. That's fine. So here we got to consider belly button probably. He extrude about right there. Each okay. Let's just shrink this bad boy. Uh a little bit up here, I think. Uh back in here. No, I think that's uh probably need to consider. Could maybe move this stuff up a tiny bit. Um you back down a tiny bit. Hmm, now, here, when we think about it, what if we went to this mode, uh, just to see, that's what that is, what if these lines, we just brought them in a bit more, just to see how that would look. Yeah. And then from there, you just sort of consider that anything above this line, just a little bit further out, maybe. We can do that one. A little bit more of this, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit of this. Schmoovin', some schmoothy smooth. Now what that leads is in this spot there, where 
knees are like slightly in. Uh, then we got this bottom bit where it's like effectively it's starting to curve a little bit more in than what we're giving it credit. And that's okay. Maybe we got to consider it a little bit differently, wrangle it, think about it. Uh, S, Z, zero. Uh, no, no, that's not what I want. S, X, zero. No, S, Y, zero. All right. And then when we rotate them, they're sort of like, you know, linked a bit better. Those middle bits. Um, I don't know if they they should have that strong of an angle. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe a bit more like that. Maybe. Now I do think we can probably bring these bad boys in a bit. A bit more like that. Cause we gotta consider what they're doing with it. Now, I think what they were doing is they grabbed these two. Or this one. Depends on what you want. What did they do? Yeah, they did circle. E extrude about. E extrude. Okay. E. E extrude around there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. Right there. Let me circle it again. Can this thing? Um, because I think then that means what was it? They did it more like more like that. I think. Uh, let's see. S Y. Now we could maybe grab this whole area. If I said circle, what would happen? You know, nothing too bad. Size the area though, I gotta consider. Outer area is probably okay. I can probably even make it a bit bigger, you know? A bit more like that. I do need to shrink these two though. Bring them in a bit, I think. Let's see what they're doing. And before we add more details, let's start to add. I drag stuff. the lines out. What are they doing? Drag line, drag line, twist this line. Again. Okay. Uh, we can sort of drag the line out like this, I think. More out. I sort of like made sure that at that angle, it seems to be more like this. More like that, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's more like that. Then maybe these ones go like that a bit more. I can even maybe even do like this. What what's happening here? <laughs> now we can even check like Now here, even like that could be okay. A little bit of that, a little bit of this. A little bit of this bad boy in here. So we gotta consider probably this central circle stops I think it's likely that this area here 
can grab it like that. Yeah. Grab these bad boys like that, that and that. And that one. We can probably go S. Uh, and then we can probably even change the angle a tad like that. Add a bit more, I think. Angle a tad. But I also think a little bit higher. Because we've got to consider where it comes from. And then S, Y. A little bit more. We can even do that one, I think. Uh, that one's okay. We can grab that. Move these fuckers down a tad. Oh, I don't know about this one. What if we grabbed that in there? We did this. Beep, 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 That's all right there, S Z, S Y. Now, what if I change the angle of that a tad? What if then these bed go, wait, 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 went in here a little bit? Let's see how this looks. Come in here. Subdivide that ass. That's okay, honestly. Might be a bit big, but it's a start. Um, grab these bad boys here. And this area up here, I think. Move it up a tad. Move that, and then like that, I think. And Grab these bear boys, make them move them up a bit like that. Now, does the naval region guarantee... What is the belly button in comparison? <coughs> comparison. That's what I need to remember. <coughs> um, eight head scale male. Because what I need to consider from there is where the mick fucking... Belly button is, yeah? Because that I suffer with greatly. So I'm thinking. Because it goes chin, armpit, that sort of elbow, and then like maybe belly button's like below that line. It's like the start of the belly button, I think. Um. And I think the next one's like halfway point of the thigh or something. I don't know. So if this is that line here, that line along here, this is where that should start. Which means when we come in here, Grab these bad boys there, Alt Z. Bam, bing, boom. Z, tiny bit lower. And these bad boys here, S, Y. Uh, loop tools, circle still would be lovely. G, Z. That would be nice. Scale. Uh, make sure it's still considered a circle. That's all right. So if I was here, I'll see this line. Do, 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 do. There we go, we can do that one. Uh, from there... Hey, the bloody boots! Agni, what's up?
How are you going? Welcome in, welcome in. Hello. I'm Sev. Local Strand Volcanic Seal. Um, today, uh, we're doing some more blender work. I'll show y'all what we've been up to in a second, but how was stream? How are you going? Don't worry, there's no dangly dongleses. It's Twitch, I can't really make them anyway. So we're, you're safe, it's fine. But, obviously, I hope stream went well. Let me shout you out. So for anyone watching, if you don't know, Agni is not only a goaded artist, but another 5 VTuber. So please do check them out. Um, now, 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 now. What I'm thinking, yeah, let me just do this first. Bing bong. <laughs> Thanks for the photo, ah, Val. Hope you're well. Perfect time. Now, fuck you. Where this is my first ever Blender project, and we've been working on it since the. <laughs> That's an old clip. <laughs> I've been working on this since the beginning of February, I'd say. I'm slowly chipping through the tutorials, and it's breaking me brain, but I'm liking it. But what did you do for the stream? How'd you go? Tell me some more. And obviously, yes. Any of you that need a rest or take care, don't feel obliged to. Stick around, please. Just, like, look after yourself. Especially you agony finish stream. But, for anyone that does want to lurk, normally I just do roguelikes, chaotic games with friends or art. Minecraft Dungeons. Ooh. And how was that? And also, if anyone is bored lurking while they're listening on vibing, feel free to fish. We died at the end. Rip. Darkest timeline, I guess. Now, what we've been working on today... You bullied Agni into oblivion? <laughs> That's the way to do it. Hell yeah. So. So, 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 so. The plan is I'm going to munch a mandarin. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. No, no, no. But what I'm thinking of, yeah. Brr! Yeah. So, what we've been doing is trying to fix that armpit, pectoral, and shoulder range. Because... Oh, I'm dumb, and uh, it hurts, and now we're sort of adding, we added like some elbows, started them, not finished them, and then we've gone down and like adding some more planes to that waist, belly button, stomach area, to at least make some progress on the tutorial, because we haven't in a while, because we've just been tinkering, you know, um, but we're vibing, and we might just like add, we'll just get this tutorial, the basics of it finished off, I think, it's probably the best plan, yes, yes, yes. I do hope you're all schmoovin'. Ah. But, what? What? What, what? But, so, uh, obviously not too much detail yet, but as you can see, we have here the start of a belly button region. Um, nothing there, so don't worry, but for the sake of decency of explanation, if you're curious, bing, bang, bing, bang. Oh, 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 that one there, in case you're like, oh boy, oh no. Yeah. Um, but, so, we have some basics of some arms, that one was just like most plans, didn't finish it off, halve the plans, halve them again, uh, still, it's still a work in process, uh, progress until we know a bit more of what we want to do, we'll leave them until they start adding their hands, because that's when we know definitely how many plans they're planning for their tutorial, because I want to stick as close to the tutorial as I can, so I know if there's an issue, how to fix it. Um, but we've at least fixed a little bit more of that shoulder range. It's still a bit muffed, so, um, if any of you are used to Blender or know really how to be goaded with that, always feel free to let me know areas to fix. Uh, there's going to be many. Now, I need to fix that collarbone area a bit more later, but I don't know if it's an issue with knitting more planes or just, I don't know, where we're at. Can you draw me being better than Xanister sometime? Yeah, I don't know what Xanister looks like. <laughs> but it is a good request. Cope, damn. Um, that's a good idea. <laughs> ah, stop! I could have done... Yeah, yeah, DM a reference. That'd be grand. Um, uh, can't guarantee if I'll get ran to it this stream, but I can try tomorrow. Um, or at the very least, it'll be there. I've got the thing. I look like I'm insane, don't we all, though? Right, my body woke me up at 5am this morning. I'm like, what are you doing? Stop it. Right now. Um... <laughs> There's a video that look at a male blender body. You want the name? Hey, any of them are great. Always appreciate it. If you want to join along in the tutorial process learning, it was in the pinned, but as we all know, Twitch unpins things sometimes, even if you told it not to. So I'm going to repin it. 
So at the moment we're doing Val Clarity's tutorial series. To be fair, we're like what um we're at the second video um and it's taken us what like three four months <laughs> because I, I'm learning it takes a while. But also we're just I don't know it's a it's a it's a heft. But I appreciate. It. I mean just like do that just so it doesn't fucking disappear manually end of stream don't do that yet but yeah so if you ever want to join along on the journey of trying to learn blender and hurting your head feel free to um i'm moving at a snail's pace so you will catch up pretty quickly um uh ni uh huang or huang i'm not too sure exactly the phonetics of that one so sorry if i butcher the pronunciation my australian accent does not do me justice uh, I'm doing my own model on Blender. It's hard. Oh, awesome. Hell yeah. Well, I'm very curious to see how it's going for you. But feel free to let me know areas that are, need work. So, we're just sort of, we're still early days. We're still early days. I think we will figure out more of the arms a bit later, I think. We've added some more plans to the start of that stomach region. The one thing that I'm finding a bit like sort of hard to gauge is to know when to add more planes because I don't know the timing or how they're doing certain processes because I don't know enough about it as a whole. So it's like, hmm, am I to put it like, for example, um, when I was doing these arms, that was before I knew they add the elbows as like a separate like little circular thing like that. But this is all things we'll learn, and I guess probably comes with time. But that's oh, it's how it is, I think. So we're going to see if we can just plow through these last, like, what, 10 minutes of the video, which is insane. Uh, at the very least, adding some bitch and bulbs. Boba, what's up? Barry the bloody bus. Welcome in. Hello, Boba, hello. How are y'all going? I'm Sev, local Australian volcanic self. Um, today we're doing some more blender at the moment, making some more, adding some more planes to the old stomach and fixing the arms and stuff. Yeah. But our stream, what did you do? Raise galore, raise galore. Yeah. I'm, I'm baffled. But I hope, I hope stream went well. What did you do, Boba? Sorry I couldn't catch it earlier. Um. But obviously, as I was saying to Agni not too long ago, um, please do take care of yourselves. So if post-stream you're knackered, you need a rest, just take care of yourselves. That's prior. Um, just get comfy. Uh, we've got fish for chat in case you you want it to feel extra comfy. Microsoft! I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah, so... I hope stream went well. What we're going to do is see if we can chip through the rest of this video to at least make some more progress. We've started adding a belly button range medium thingo. And like elbow and started that shit. Now, so let's see how yeah, fucking smoothly we can go. Now, if I ever, uh, it's going good but I can't model the ass. Uh, it looks so flat. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, the mental assignment is only correct one. Okay, okay, okay. And you're from Chile, so I'm not better. Oh, okay, okay. That's fair. It's cool. It's always good to see, like, it's always interesting to see people come from different regions and stuff, especially when I'm in Australia. So, like, we're so isolated um, culturally in a lot of ways. So it's interesting. But it's looking nice. I appreciate it. Um, we're getting there. Yes. But, yeah, there's some... I guess mandatory ass. At the moment, this is okay. We've made some progress and lost some progress fixing this area. I hate the armpit, the shoulder region. It makes me cry. Uh, but alas, this is looking alright. We'll just see what they're doing. Get this round. Yes, yes. Area. Move that stuff. Makes sense. So, for example, it's supposed to be more like that. Yeah, oh yeah. So they're gonna be just some basic stuff. So we're gonna chip it at two times, cause. Uh, until we start seeing them add new things, because we're not trying to fully, like, detail step by step right now. We're trying to, like, add those basic bits in and see what we can figure out and what we can do. 
Ah, so now they're starting to do the sculpting, which, for reference for me, the sculpting tool was just wildly weird, so I might need to adjust some of the settings in it. Um, because sensitivity of it just, it just didn't work. But that was on my old PC, and it recently got fixed, so who knows. But I... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know enough about how that affects the polygons and shit, eh? So I... I'm going to leave the sculpting. So anytime they add sculpting, I'm sort of leaving it. Even though I love sculpting in real life, I don't know enough about why they're doing it or how it impacts it to know when it when it's bad i don't know if you, you know what i mean but we're getting there but i'm 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 naked but i'm vibing so did they just add another thing i think they did yeah look at that another e another circle another zoom makes sense it's not a very active tum at the moment i'm gonna be honest we can go e Oops, hold on. Uh, subdivision, can you rack off? Mm-hmm. We go E. We go S. Uh, circle. I love the loop tool mod of a uh, modifier like add-on that they've got. It's so convenient just to be like, haha, circle. So if any of you do modeling, that's one of the additional things they added on, which is loop tools. Fucking beautiful. I'm gonna do that. Now, I'm a bit rusty on some of the perspective stuff, but I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, chat. But, um, the... When we're doing a the head scale, I'm doing an 8 head scale for reference. Um, the line for where the elbow is, it goes elbow up, which is here. That's like the bottom of the navel region, which is the start down for the belly button, I think, on a masculine form. I could be wrong, but I also know uh, Agni, irrigated artist, you know enough to be able to be like, that's bad, bad, Sav. And then I'd be like, okay. Um, and same with anyone, like, you know, I appreciate any things y'all notice and stuff, but what did you do for the stream, though, Berba? Tell me how it went. Tell me more. It's a little belly button. It's... It was a little too wongly, but I guess they haven't sculpted more tum or anything. You can try. I don't worry about trying. Do what you want. It's more just the fact that uh, I know I'm more new to art and that I have a lot of amazing art friends and appreciate any and all times they're like, oh, shit. Can't loop cut that part um, one down from what I see. Oh, you can loop cut. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So loop, yeah, because it's one of those things where I'm like trying to figure out when loop cuts are safe, but also when they're adding too much because I don't know enough about how blended models then get animated later for bones and stuff. Uh, we were lethal then, Vela. Ooh, how's lethal going? Uh, I was speaking to Jano earlier, actually, because she was thinking of doing lethal uh, sometime like y US Thursday, I think, if that's right. Yeah, because that's my Friday. So if you're keen, let me know. But you happy how the results of your Valley Tournament went? Now, one thing y'all did miss is earlier I found some bubble wrap, so I got to pop that for stream. But I'll see if I can find more later. I love bubble wrap. That shit's so good. Well, let's chip through some more of this before I keep you yapping. No. Uh, oh, they fucking was they. Did they loop cut that really quickly, or did they just think about it? This rib cage build up right here. We have this natural curve. It's awesome. Did they? I'm the dumb. So I'm just trying to see right if they did. They they've got the okay. One two three four one two. We have this natural curve. It's awesome. They didn't add it. They just looked like they did for a second. It gave me a panic attack. And yeah, <laughs> not actually, but it made me go ho oh, oh. ho. We, we want some. The rear needs to be fixed. Put that right there. It's gonna make it better. This. Yeah, adding it's more, weird. which makes sense. Alt N, reset vectors. Alt then. N, reset vectors. What the fuck? Okay, okay. We couldn't get through the first day. 
Rough, how? What mods did you have on? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? If the part don't move too much, you can take some freedom, like, uh, of the abs. Okay, okay, I appreciate that. So it's like, more. the more the joint moves, the more you want more cuts or less cuts? I don't know. Uh, what video is that one? So this one I'm on is, I'll give the link in chat, but for reference, this is uh, Val Clarity's tutorial series. So this is the tutorial series I was recommended first. So we're working through this. Then by the end of it, uh, we'll do some other series and just see, hopefully eventually, by the time we've done a few people's uh, workflows and uh, model series, we will have an idea of how we want to do our workflow and stuff. So I'm going to send this. So for reference though, uh, the name's pinned, but the actual playlist for anyone, um, I more than encourage anyone that would be keen to join along. Uh, that's amazing. That's awesome. Uh, we're gonna, it should probably be that. So I'm gonna grab that. Yep, yep, yep. Because, yeah, it's a, I think this, it's been helpful in some areas. Um, some areas, as a heads up, I find they can suddenly like rely a lot on showing what the hotkeys are at the bottom left. So for me, who never done Blender before, sometimes I've just had to go back through one minute of the video so many times. But maybe that's just like part of it. But... So that's the playlist. I'm on video two, nearing the end of it. Um, but... <laughs> Bum. So they, what are they? I don't even remember where I was at. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, McFrazzled. Yeah, yeah so they're just adjusting okay. things. Alt N, reset Alt N reset vectors. What? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save as, this is, cause I've done a separate save for each progress. Um, so I can go back, but also so I can look back on it later. What I might do is barely added pre, Reset vector save. So what we could do, chat, would you guys be keen to see every save like that I've done just to see the progress over time? It may be a bit slow, but if you guys are keen to just see how it's went, well, let me know and I'll happily do that because I don't know, it could be cool. Uh, but a few saves I just saved over obviously because I don't know, sometimes I forget. But for the most part, I've tried to keep them some of them separate. You're down? Okay, okay. People are down. I'm just gonna... Let's do that so you guys can see. Let's open up. Uh, when did we start? No, we didn't start February. We started um, end, near the end of January, actually. So, let's see. Let's go back through it. Okay. So, this was the first one, I think. Ball. Yeah, this is my first one I opened where I was just like, do I sculpt it? And then I realized, no, you have to make topography first. And I'm like, no. Um, I was hoping it was just easy like clay. It isn't. Uh, so then part one was just adding, I guess, a cube in a difference in that way. Um, so that's where we first started. We, throughout the whole thing, we realized a lot of the references were off because I don't have a proper... Um, so I don't have a proper, what is it, uh, reference sheet. So there was a lot of issues back and forth with that, but that's part of the process. You can't uh, sculpt and then on, uh, you can sculpt. Yeah, that's what I heard and I saw them in the video we were just watching where they were sculpting a bit more on the stomach, uh, which is good and that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm just trying to be cautious of doing stuff that they don't um, say in the tutorial until I know... Um, why something's done so I can like figure out whether it's a good idea or not, but I'm very keen for that. So that was that one. Then we got to here when we realized, okay, let's try it differently. So this is where we were doing a lot of back and forth of just trying to figure out stuff. Uh, then this is where we first started trying to attempt to sculpt the head. Uh, this was done a different way from, I think this is a before a tutorial or before we decided on a tutorial, I think. Um, is it this one? Then we wanted to just see what it would be like if we tried sculpting just on top of it, weirdly, because we just, we thought it'd be hilarious. So that's what we did briefly. 
it was hard, uh, <laughs> but it was kind of funny, not going to lie. Um, so this is before we started settling on exactly the tutorial we wanted to do. Uh, then, oh yeah, we started just seeing if we would add like little parts and stuff. We were, like earlier on, that's like, yeah, so January was us just making sure the program ran. Then we just randomly sculpt who I like to call James. Um, if things crash, um, I will restart the stream. Just an, a reference. Because I don't know if this is too rendered for stream. So if it dies, <laughs> give me a second. I do have a new PC, but not new graphics card. So I don't know what whether this will kill. Oh, there we go. So this is me toying around with sculpting because I'm like, hee hee. So this was James, um, and I thought that was hilarious as shit, some, like, weird crystalline booger. Um, then, don't save James. Get out of here, James. So this is where we first started. So, and the, James. Yeah, exactly. So this is, this is the first start of our Clarity series. So we were, let's go by Material Preview. Let's go... Rendered Italy. No, that's not that's material preview. So we started around here in the schnoz front of the facial range. Then we sort of kept going. So here we went to around there. Don't mind the nipply doos. It's for art. Shut up, Twitch. Um, and then this is where it becomes like opening that horrifying. This is where things started looking like an SCP because of how they made the front of the mouth. It was very was different from a lot of other tutorials I was seeing, but I was interested in it, I think. Then, where was it? Uh, here. Um, where it was like, we were just trying a different spot, I think. I don't remember what this is. I'm going to be honest. Um, where were we next? Because it went... Then, I think, what's this one? Oh yeah, this was us trying to adjust some of the features at the front of the face. Do the we made a clip studio side reference just so we had something. Uh that it was yeah, that's horrifying. It looks like the mask from Lethal Company at this point. Uh nipples. Don't worry, I remember what <laughs> I don't remember what I ate yesterday. Hell yeah, that's the spirit. Um, where were we next? Cause that was I think we're at here. Yeah. Look at this. This looks like some horrifying my ass. Ad time? Okie dokie. Beep boop. Let me know when the ads are done. Ah, ba ba boop ba boop beep beep da ba do ba do. What am I feeling like listening to? Ah, yeah, because it's at the hour. Yeah, yeah. Now, just making sure. So this is the horrifying where we started off. Yeah, we're around there. But yeah, we're around there. And then back. Hell yeah. So yeah, we were around this horrifying mask thing that is horrid and shouldn't exist. Roar. Then, where were we? I think eye adjusting. Yes, yeah, so we. The next save was like here, where we're still just adjusting that eye socket. Still hard. Still cursed. Um, then, post eye socketing, I will call it. We were. Mm, oh, then we were memeing um, some. Then we went head sculptor just as around here. Yeah, so the next save. We kept saving over it for a while, so the jump is actually insane. And I'm sorry, because I just kept saving over the same save. But this is then where we got up to. Still, it's a jump. But it's not the worst jump. It's still, like, in the horrified beak mouth stage. Looks like those uncanny latex masks. Yeah, like, this was still, like, I don't know. It's, um, it's interesting seeing how it's grown, <laughs> because it's definitely not there anymore. Uh, is it this one next? Uh, yeah, so then we're here. I think we've adjusted a tiny bit, but it's hard to tell. Uh, then, where was it? I think it's around here. So, yeah, the next one was when we post-adjusting that sort of face a bit. 
And you can see it's starting to have a little bit more, and we start adding those eyelashes. I haven't had the eyelids yet. The reason we did it, we're doing it separately, was because uh, the model they're referencing in the tutorial doesn't have the eyelids in the same way, or at least we didn't think so, and they still kind of don't. Uh, we wanted both eyelids, whereas they had the stereotypical top-down anime one. Um, but it's at least more progress, yeah? You know what I mean? Then, where were we next? Where were we next? I think we were at, like, Eyelash, perhaps, was the next save. So this was, like, oh, yeah. Slightly more progress on, like, the eyelashes and eyelids. But that's fairly similar. It's less uncanny. Yeah, yeah. I think so. <laughs> it's still uncanny. We were still... This was, like, still... We were still in the uncanny stage for, like, um... It pretty much like one to two weeks. Um, obviously, we weren't doing it every day, but you know what I mean. Now, I think this is when we started doing the teeth and tongue. Yeah. Yeah, we started doing teeth and tongue, and then we found the horrors of trying to realize when we fit the teeth and the tongue in the mouth, oh no, our jaw's wrong. How the fuck do we fit this in here? So this took me a while. Um, so there was, this was the pre-attempted lip fix. Um, it's halved so that it's easy to see. Because when, that's where you need to put the, the mouth shit. Then, we went from there to post lip fix here. That was sort of like, okay, the lips were, they still feel a little too beak-like, but they fixed a bit better so you could fit the mouth in there. Which is good. Then we were, this is what I saved as a fixing mouth hole. And you can see we were like, you know, fixing the mouth hole. It's getting there. It looks more like someone's like, I don't know, looking at it now, the it looks horrid. Um, but it's very interesting, like coming, going backwards to see how bad it looks. But when I was still learning it, because I knew, I didn't know how much I would progress. I was just happy we were getting somewhere. So this lip stuff happens for a while. So I might just adjust to, not the next save, but maybe the one after. Yes, yeah, so this is why I'd started writing a lot of notes and I had just started the torso as well. And we'd fixed the lips, but now they look more like slay. The lips were a little, little too slay in the sense where they're like, damn, if you had Botox or something, they were like, Mwah. you know what I mean? These were some big kissers. Uh, then from the big kisser save, at least we had the teeth and stuff in the thing. It's never too slay. So true, girl boss. Go off. As they all say, Shrek is slay. Uh, and that is why we have Shrek slay. Um, now, it could, we could toggle this. We could have a slay toggle. That would be hilarious. I would love that. Okay, okay. Now, we're thinking, from there, it was, like, some ratio. I think, yeah, we started forming the body a bit more. It was still, like, conceptual spots, and the legs just felt like you just, like, and just dragged them out of hell. Like, rah. The ass was starting to become an ass, though. And I think, honestly, in this earlier stage before we had to consider hips and stuff, this was some of my, like, this is when the ass was actually... I think pretty decent, like, and then we lost it all when we made the legs, and we just couldn't get it back. Then, this is where, there's a jump scare, because we thought this was hilarious, because we were sculpting ass. We went, it's time, and I'm sorry, chat, but it became a necessary evil, or necessary good, up to you. First, we wanted to see, okay, what if we were Pixar mum? But we also wanted to see what is it like trying to add bones, and we realized bones are terrifying triangles, and I never wanted to touch them yet. But in the meantime, I decided maybe it would be funny if we just potentially pick our mum to ourselves, and that was a good day. We just went, how much could we gabonk? Then we de picks our mums because we're like, okay, that's hilarious, maybe a toggle. This is like roughly where we were at. Uh, in the model, if we were to look at, like, for example, 
the subdivision, I would have to be like, where's that? And it would be like, I don't remember, bitch. Uh, there. There we go. We had little pointy, twingly, dingly doos. Yeah, we got big butt. Big booty lass. We got a big old big, big, big boy. Big boy lass. Big, um. But, so he picks our mum them, then D picks our mum them. But at this point, the legs were still horrid, yeah? Then, so at around this point was Mar like early March, beginning of March. And then we did some more like, we started doing like leg and arm was the next like major save. So legs started, but they still looked like they had a massive gap. Still had, we didn't know, I didn't know for ages why these arms were fucking pinched. It, I, I was fucking baffled, yo. And then I found out that um, it thought they were outside. Oh, they, that was the inside and that was the outside. So these were like flipped. So I had to like fix their orientation. Um, so I'm glad I figured that out. Then from there, we did some like... Uh, not, we did, what was it, there, so we limb fixed a little bit, and since then, it's been a lot of tinkering with that stuff, so, to be fair, because it has been tinkering, from this point on, it really was just, like, we've been tinkering with, effectively, this, and what's it, that's, like, mm, that's, like, uh, April 10th, maybe, to today, is more like we're around here, I think, and looking at it now, what do y'all think? The lips are still pretty slow, girl boss. Um, we have the uh, the slay lashes. They're nice. I don't mind them. They may be a bit wonky donk. We still didn't like fix like all those horns. That just looks like a leech. We haven't fixed all of their like horns and hair because we'll get back to it later. So slay, hell yes. Mm -hmm. I'm so zesty. That reminds I love the fucking TikTok where it's like. Uh, the beans are a little zesty, and they're like, mm, let me check, mm, so zesty. <laughs> I fucking love that. Uh, this is the, like, where we're figuring out arms, and we've adjusted a little bit, but arms are still, that's still wild, man. But, hey, we've got the nice little, slight little handlebars, little, a little McBelly button. Yeah. The legs feel like legs. The knees are a bit off, the calves are horrid. Um, I will be honest, we should probably fix those before we do anything else. I hate these calves with a passion. Um, I'm thinking, what if we said, maybe try this, uh, a little bit of that one. Uh, Alt S maybe, a little bit of that. Now here we got our Alt S, gonna go out. Now here I'm thinking Alt S. I think DG that one. Now what I think is that I hate this. Um, <laughs> so I no I I hate. I'll come back to that another day. Today is not that day. You're wearing lipstick. Yes, cherry flavored. Want some? Mm. It's coral blue number five. So I'm thinking, yeah. This is okay. This is McSlay. Those the calves at the back, hardly know her. <laughs> that no. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what you're talking about. They don't exist. I'm gonna wobble my way out because it's late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate Volk. You take care of yourself. I eh? appreciate you. you. Have a have a good snooze. I'm thinking from here. If we did that, maybe. Yeah. Now we've got a bit more kabumpus rumpus than before. That's okay. What if we um, did this? Yeah. Come back to alt here. What if we just sort of like a little bit more like that? And then we could add this, maybe. What if we did that one? Come back here. Ah! Grab these bad boys. That one. That one. Not them, maybe. 
That'd be nice. Uh, that one. Be sure. No, Alt Z. Ding dang. Alt Z. Come back to the side here now. And then we just say, Ooh, that's lovely, isn't it? That one. That one. Uh, that stuff in there. These bad boys. A little bit more like that. A little bit more like that. And this up here, we can... Oh, tell it's a rack off. I don't care. <laughs> Doesn't matter too much. Like, we can tell, like, there's a few things that are real fucky, but... They don't make fucking care anymore. You know, I don't make fucking care. We can grab these bad boys. Grab them up like that. Up like that. In you go. In you go, lads. Uh, do you have any DS as uh, in Discord? Well, I've got Discord. If you want Discord, we got links if you want links. Yeah. Make a dip, Billy. We'll drop by next time. I appreciate it. Uh, normally, like, 7 p.m. CDT or 5 p.m. CST. Depends on, like, it depends on daylight savings time. So I tend to have some, like, it's around the consistent same time. Generally speaking, to be fair. Uh, I'm thinking we leave the ass. Uh, we come back here. Now, if we do this from in here. Do that one. We've got to come back to here and go, oh, lovely, in it? Hello, kids. How oh, lovely. Old Z. I think these bad boys here. Really what we got old Z. You know. Try and help make sure that we, once we do that, it makes sense. Go out a bit and cut. Then, what about this stuff here? Can do that, and then that. Ooh. Do that one. Come in here. SZ. Uh, from there, maybe. Alt Z. Mm -hmm. Alt Z. Let's just grab that bad boy from around there. Uh, then, come up in here. What if we did that one? Come back a bit with you. Yes, yes. Uh, you. Put that on. Alt Z. Grab these bad boys. Ah, uh, uh, for a little bit of that, hopefully. Not that I really know. Uh, uh Y. I have to say, uh, X. Whoop. Uh, maybe. We can at least do that. I can alt S it. Turn this back off. Mainly because I don't fucking know. What I'm doing here is that should be this back bit in here. Which I think makes more sense to be like that. And then, you know, up here a bit more. And then S Z. Add a bit more. Uh, and then we go up here a bit more, I think. S. Like that. And come here. And Alt Z. So that might be a bit better, but who the fuck knows? So yeah. Now you're in Australia, right? What time is it right now? Uh, 2.15 p.m. Yeah. It's not too bad. But later than I thought it was, I might be real. Damn. I mean, I guess so, yeah. Uh, so normally, because once we both have daylight savings at the same time as, like, the US, um, then it starts being a bit, like, harder to time things uh, for those particular reasons. Uh, because it is uh, annoying like that. But when... Like, it's generally fine until, like, say, for example, 
now when you guys are at daylight savings and we are too, that's when it gets a little bit like difficult to like schedule or know when things are happening. But it is generally the same concept, like generally like around the 5 p.m. CST to 7 p.m. CST. It's fairly consistent. Discord pings, uh, Discord pings automated, so that's fine. But then you got like, uh, yeah, so, uh, like sometimes I forget my schedule with my health because it's like, I don't know if it's sporadic anyway. Same concept generally. Somewhere around at least like most days. Oh, I think right here. This one here is sort of going like that. This guy needs to come out like that. Maybe out like this. You. What if you were like that here? Like that. What if they were like that? I am gonna mick hate this mick fucking leg. <laughs> mick end it all. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Uh, now let me just triple check. That should be right there. Now I'm thinking that's probably out like that. You know what I mean? Now that, out a bit more. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, we're so far apart. Your GMT minus eight. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I don't stream at Australian hours in the sense where, like, an Australian normally would be working around this time. But that's because of my health. So technically, I'm, like, my time is generally, like, towards, like, night, sort of, like, uh, late afternoon to night to, like, insomniac hours for, like, most US people, I guess. Which tends to work for some people. Um, now, while I know that this shit here, it's not really going to be good. I mean, like, I gotta, um, I don't like this. No, I don't. Why is that? I don't know, but it sucks. <laughs> Calf muscles, kind of us. Do, 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 I don't know, eh? We'll turn on the subdivision. Something will look a little off, and then we'll ignore it for a little bit. Because... That's a... That's something that I might need to get a friend who knows what they're doing, or I'll need to get, like, a reference up or something and just work off the reference. Because uh, I definitely know I'm... This is a weak point for sure, and so I need to study it a bit better. But at the very least, uh, subdivision back on, motherfucker. Now, at the very least, they're still legs, and it's not as bad as it was before. Is it ideal? No. Is it okay? Eh, maybe. <laughs> Fucked if I know. Um, ah, I'm doing great. I appreciate it. I can't tell. Uh, oh, S. Oh, no, that one. Oh, S. Chip, 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 chip. Uh, where does the little weird empty bit in your knee? Uh, bottom out, isn't it? Oh! It's like in here, isn't it? Shift E. It's like in there somewhere, isn't it? That it shows up. Uh, so what I'm doing is those purple lines, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, pretty much just create a sort of tension or like a sh more of a point. It's like to that spot. So that's why it's creating that like bit more of that bump. So maybe that'll be okay. Give it that knee bump to give it more life. Not the most knowledgeable person when it comes up. It looks great. 
I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's the main thing, as long as it looks good. My tired ass is just like, I don't know, something. <laughs> the war. GZ, up a little bit. Uh, it's a bit better, I think, a little bit higher. And then, honestly, um, I think what we need to do is grab these two. Change the angle of them, maybe. Uh, so we more like that. We grab these, uh, this one. No, and that one. We go rotate along the Z axis. And then what if we just did rotate along the Z to go back out a bit? Uh, so that uh, these bad boys, those ones and these ones, and them. No, yeah, don't do that. Them. What if we rotate in the z-axis so they're slightly more out? Like that. Ah, uh, Z, they should still go in, I think, but like, not as much. Mm, maybe. Oh, maybe, I guess that's as hard to say. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess. Good enough, honestly. Good track enough for now. Uh, so, I'm going to save this. Save as... Barely added preset vector. Barely added slash knee fix. Uh, pre reset vector. Save it as that. So, what they said is we do this. We grab all... Yeah, yeah. This is where the horror begins. And they said something. Then click on it now. Look better. Like this. Looks weird. A, Alt, N, reset vector. A, Alt, N, reset vector. A, Alt, N. Oh, I'm scared. Reset vector. Ah, I did nothing. I don't know what the fuck it does, but go off, I guess. Slay. Um, why? Mick fucking what? That's an ass. Ah, whatever. <laughs> we'll figure it out, I guess. Then click on it. Now it looks a lot better like I did before. You can click on this, click on this. Kind of move it down to the desire that you want. Mm. You just unfortunately can't really see what's going on. Because you don't have reference for it. Uh, ass adjusting and stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's just them tinkering with ass, however. Need some more meat right here, for example. This adjusting. I also need some more with this. Some final changes really is all that I'm doing. Adjusting. Go up a little bit. Adjusting. Oh, your arms, maybe, please help me. Here's vortex. What the fuck can do? They grab the shoulder, bitch. Here's vortex. Fucking what vortex? Hold on. Aha! I could slow it down to one time speed, but I'm lazy. Smooth vortex. Aha! Jonathan, I'm banging your daughter. Sure, if I can figure it out, mate. Oh, I figured that out. Good stuff. It's technically, it's being, being, oh, this one, please. Beep, 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 pop. Oh, yeah, look at this horrid monstrosity. Let's see what happens then. Go up a little bit. Like this whole thing. Yeah, okay, that's, uh, that's moving it in the vortex hole. Uh, you gotta subdivide and then smooth the vortex, I guess. Move the vertices, vertices nuts. <laughs> uh, I don't know, champ. Uh, the arms and noodles. I'm gonna be. We'll figure them out one day. So, move vortex. S Z. S Z. Large. Uh, tab. No. Tab you whore. What? Tab. Hey, beep, boop, buddy, bop, boop. 
Um, and then it's like, what? It was like, it's. Do, 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 do. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't make fucking know what I make fucking doing. Cause even if I make fucking did, I wouldn't make fucking say it. Cause I don't know. Um, I mean, for now, hey, I'm eating arm. It's a noodly doodly do, and that's fine with me. All we need to do is. All right. They're adjusting shoulder stuff. We have reference art all along, but we do not. All right. Mm -hmm. Zoom out. Click this in. Click that. Just see if it looks good to you, because that's the most important thing. Go if it looks good. So, this is, so we're at the point of, like, from this tutorial, if it looks good to us, we could, um, we could, in theory. Oh, do we toy with this part? Do it now. Because the issue is, the reason where I'm hesitant on the arms is... I, I don't know. I just couldn't vibe with them yet, and I think I'm not too sure. The I think I'm happy with some of it, but it's like, for example, they're like, if we're happy with it yet, it's like they haven't added the horn, so I don't know. We can come back to it. Bronies hit the gym exactly, exactly. Like the R, uh, I because we haven't defined where the muscles are yet, and they haven't exactly like gone through that. It's like, uh, because I guess in the model they're referencing, it doesn't have it yet. You can see those arms are fucking Mick noodles. So I'm like, are they Mick noodles because they just haven't done it yet? Are they Mick noodles because that's the drawing? Or are they like, uh, I'm trying to figure out if this is when I figure it out or if it's later. That's a common little thing. I guess I come across. It happens. Um, we can deal with it later, to be fair. It's not the end of the world. Um, because I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save as um pre feet. Cause I think the next stage is the feet. Pre feet uh need adjust maybe. <laughs> because I think just starting something new is fun. Trust my heart. My heart says I'm confused, mate. <laughs> my heart says I don't know. My heart is like my heart says we'll do the feat for now, and then maybe we'll have inspiration come to us as we are more familiar with the program. Fish. Aki, what's up? How you going? Kabam. Well, trust my heart then. Make bro hit the gym. Exactly. Hi, chicken. I know that the muscles and the arms aren't done yet. And I also don't know when or how we'll develop, like, other muscles yet. Or if that's part of the sculpting process later where you add uh, drawn details. So, I don't know. Uh, I think you're right, and right in the sense that we can try to adjust some of the arm now. But do I know where and how? No. No, no, I don't. But we'll see what we can do. How you going, Arky? Yeah, people, please, uh, do check out Arky. Era Legend. Um, they are a good a good egg, that's for sure. Uh, I'm thinking here. Alt S. No, I'm gonna go. Alt S out a bit more. Yeah. And then coming through here. Through here. What are you thinking, Aki? How do you how do you think it looks? Obviously, aside from you know the lack of muscle in the arms or anything, due to my lack of you know, knowledge of how to do that yet, I hope you're going alright. You can see we've got some arms there that are like some. We'll figure them out. Um. I might ask one of my friends who has done Blender as well how they'd recommend doing it. Or there's a few spots I can look into. But I know at the very least that we're probably a Schumann. Because if that's like that, 
Ooh. These ones would be going back like that. Probably in like this a bit more. Uh, these bad boys here. You can probably say uh, out like that. This one like that maybe. Then a heart of the cards. We go in there. And then that's going to lead into that there. So that's where that comes. This is that middle spot here. And then from that middle spot, these bad boys, uh, we need to go out a bit, uh, out a bit. Maybe it's here. Uh, we can Alt S this one a bit. And then we need to do the inverted side, which is over here, and go Alt S and go uh, out a bit. Let's check the subdivided mode. I mean, again, somewhere. Okay. Uh, just got five studying for finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, I feel like I need shaving now. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's still a lot more. So technically, Zanister, if you're unaware, we're at tutorial two of 24. Um, we're still early days. Looks cool as fuck. Appreciate it. How long does this take you? Well, it's my first time learning Blender, and I've been going since mid-January. Obviously, not every day. You can check through my VODs and streams to see when I did it. Um, we looked through the progress earlier. But, like, mid to end of January we started, and we've been chipping through it. So we're... Since then, we've gone through, like, two hours of tutorial. Two out of 24 is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, technically, we can look at how long I've had... I've run Blender, in theory, because the only other thing outside of that was when I was, like, sculpting and learning the program, and you could consider that as part of the process. So technically, like, around the 90-hour mark. Um... So 90 hours for two hours of tutorial. <laughs> um, but obviously some of that, it may have been running. So we could say maybe like 60 hours. Um, closer, uh, closer to maybe 70 to 80. Because I would chop, chop off like 15 hours for like other stuff. And fucking around and stuff. Or having the program run. Or like when I was testing some sculpting earlier. But... Yeah, so the if we're looking at tutorial wise, uh, it go then we're doing the feet, then the hands, then I think it's like your own like I think it's from then I think it's like um probably like what looks like let's see uh, tail wings horns so this is like horns and stuff like that so like next video is feet then it's hands so if, uh, then it's wings horns so then it's hair. Then it's shoes and leg items. Then it's um, generalized clothing. Then I think it's accessories. Then it starts getting into the actual armature and stuff. So technically there are um, nine for sculpting. So technically we're two out of nine for sculpting, but then it becomes like armature and the rest of what makes a model actually become a model. I can see the improvement in progress. I appreciate it. Yeah, it looks less uncanny. Uh, it looks less horrifying. Uh, the bell button's getting cool. So, in theory, it doesn't look like they'll do much more for the rest of the body, so, but they would probably, I'm assuming, there's likely more things they'll adjust and fix throughout their process of making, is what I'm assuming. So, what I'll likely do is we'll do the feet and hands to get them just done and out of the way for fun. And then we can overall have a look and see okay, before they add other stuff, maybe the horns and stuff, then we can really have a look and see what we want to sculpt and change, even if we look at another tutorial for that. So I'm thinking that's like, what, in three videos' time, hopefully I'm a lot quicker, but shh, the rate I'm doing them at, I don't know. I I don't think I'm getting this done by my next by my next uh, stream anniversary. I'm going to be real. But uh, it's a progress. It is there. Uh, but who knows? We can maybe we'll start getting goaded and smash it out. But um, in case the pin's not there anymore, that's Val Clarity. If you ever want to join in the tutorials, you have the tutorials. They're there. You search them up. I can send the link as well. Well, let's just save it for now. I think. Uh, can't wait for the finished model. 
Same. I'm scared of once we start getting to like armature and rigging and shit. And it's like, oh, if you did this, you're fucked. Your arm won't move and I'll be like, no. I don't know, fam. Like I have like dumb ideas. Like I want to be able to be good enough to just like sculpt like a VTuber Mario Kart. You're too impatient to this. I mean, I felt the same way too, but luckily there's so many bits you're always like learning and adjusting. It's not too bad. Like, I figured I may, that's why I actually went straight into model rather than, this is why if you're ADHD and you want to learn something like this, never do the recommended beginning thing, in my opinion. I don't know, I'm not an expert. Because things like maybe stitching or blender, they recommend making a donut or something that's like a repeated monotonous task to get the basics. But that becomes a monotonous task. And for ADHD, that becomes too tedious you don't have motivation it burns off here i've got the motivation of i'm using it for something for the stream and it's i'm continuously learning and doing new parts or adjusting it if one part starts becoming annoying i work on another part of it uh it has private parts not yet but eventually hey i want to learn how to model all of it and that's a part of it like art's art there's nothing there yet but i gotta i preemptively have added that on the off chance we start doing that i also want to be able to make them switch um between fem and mask I want to do a lot of things. They're lava. I want to be able to make them turn into just full-on lava. Like, so many ideas. But imagine I can just, like, chibi sculpt all my friends and just make, like, a VTuber Mario Kart game. That would be so cute. But yeah, nothing there yet. But that's yet. Maybe eventually. So, that's the yappin'. It's feet time. The horrors of the world. I'm actually just going to let Twitch and uh, Twitter know. Because you y'all fuckers um is uh I don't care. I y'all are we people are fucking the amount of people that want to sniff those grippers, you're like, what the hell am I? But I respect and understand that some people do. <laughs> you're excited? Yeah. I knew it. All of the NSC. Uh, newly sniffed feet, I guess the NSF. Uh, let me do a do a do a nice little check. Uh, and let Mick Twitter know the horrors. Um, boop 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 boop. I'm just gonna take a picture of my fucking screen. Sorry about this. Cause I know, I know there'll be at least one person who'll be like, "Oh, hello, I've popped in," cause you're doing feet, and I'll be like, "Ugh." Well, I mean, I gotta let them know, because some people, maybe someone's learning to model and they're doing feet too at the moment. It's time to learn to make grippers. Uh, dog construction time. There we go. People know now. That's the main thing. Uh, can't be a bam, boom, bam. Lots of ideas, not the grippers. Yes, the grippers. It's a part of it. It's a part of life. Uh, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll do community streams when I start doing the genitals. The arms are not good yet. But that's, I'll ask, uh, like, Jinx or, um, I'll, I'll ask a few friends. Or I'll find, like, a free model of just, like, examples to sort of, like, so I can rotate it in space and really grasp it. Uh, cause like, we can see like the arms below here, they're okay. Still a bit of work, but like, I don't know, we, I'll figure it out. That's why I've kept those options there. Wish me luck. So, let's... Ah, the feet, deal. <laughs> Immediately, ah, the feet. Uh, makes sense. Actually, I'll turn on subtitles in case y'all are curious, but who knows. I wish you could change where the subtitles were, like, bruh. Like, bro. Fosh, fish, <laughs> hashed, uh, exclamation point, feet. Look too complicated. No, they're not. You're boom. Whoa. Make this blocky thing. Follow along with your reference. And yeah. Follow along with your reference. Maybe I don't have a reference. The amount of I'm wearing boots. Follow along with your reference. Is that so? What reference? Mm? Fucking hell, mate. 
I mean, I've got a. Uh, you can catch my nose in the fishing game. To be fair. Oh, follow along with the reference now. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, my neck. Yeah, hey, gotta catch some fish. Oh, yeah. Music, please. It's time. You have good looking feet. I mean, those feet are okay. You want. I like big nails. Zoom out. We're gonna do the feet right now. Go on and clicking down left. Let's go to add. Now, do we want music and tutorial or just tutorial? Uh, because now it being the new tutorial, I'm gonna have to concentrate a little bit and hear them. You know. Y'all, let me know if you ever want to change any of the volumes for either. Just so you know, because normally I don't have both sounds, so hard to tell. Mesh cylinder. You click that. Mesh cylinder. Yep, yep, makes sense. We could do hands. Anything is fine. Hey, I mean, like, whatever means you guys can enjoy it the best is generally like you know, where it's uh, where it's at. Now, if I went, where is it? Here. Uh, shift A. Mesh cylinder. Is that what they want? Boop. Where is this being added? Where are you? Uh, this better not be in somewhere it's not meant to be. Get out of there, you wanker. Now, I'm going to say this is feet. We've labeled it. We know what it is. Um, It's too even for the feet. Just make triangles. That's what I do. I know how to draw feet. Hey, valid. That's fair. I mean, I've got a few references that I've sent to my one of my friends, Jinx, like, when they were doing feet. Feet are like... There are two types of people that draw... Uh, three types of people, probably, that draw feet. One, they don't, and so do triangles, and it works. Or, they do, and they're alright, or they're bad, and it's just like, they're feet, it makes sense. Or there's the people who know how to draw feet, and then you're like, you know how to draw feet a little too well. Why do you know how to draw feet that well? Mm -hmm. But alas, I keep yapping, because... Let's do an eight. You're an... Object eight vertices, out. eight. Ooh. I want to know if you can reopen the properties uh, menu. Because if you can, lovely. If you can't, you can't. I don't think you can. But it might be cool to know if it's something you could do, you know what I mean? Because there's so many parts of this that there's likely a way to do it. I just don't know. Uh, let's see, mesh treads, form, scale, rotate, feet, blah, 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 blah. Uh, delete. Uh, shift A. Mesh. Cylinder. And make sure, they were saying 8. So, let me, here it is. Vertices 8, please. And checking in here. 8, 1 by 2, that's fine. And let's just put you back here for now. Location X, Y. And then what if I said for you? Zero. Don't mind if I do. Uh, or I just put you at one. There we go. That's nice. Hey, bye. There you go. A little too good as us? Exactly. You know what's up. Like, that's just how it is. What you been up to, Val? You been vibing? Is this that, is this the obscure uh, once a few months pop in and then all of a sudden, I'm surprised you're awake. It's 2 p.m. I'm always awake at this time. This is like the most common time I'm awake. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, you forget that I'm Australian, I think. Uh, normally like 5, 7 p.m. CST-ish and then onwards. I go up like late into like the early past midnight generally for like, when I'm alive and vibing. But yeah. You've been to myself? Hell yeah. But like, uh, yeah, no, unironically. Now, we're about to go into the feet, so I'll show you what we're at first. Um, we will go back to some of the other areas, but I wanted to just start doing a newer thing before I went, like, you know, back into more of the detailing, I think, of the body. Because I'll need to ask, like, some friends or, like, really just, like, 
look into it. So, but I'll show you what we're at so far before we continue to feed. Um, we have, so we have some of the arms, like we need, still need to do a lot more work in the arms. Uh, but I can tell space off your accent that it is silly. <laughs> do I think I'm in the UK? Yeah, I mean, that's the unfortunate, that's, that's the curse, I guess. We are prison British. But we did the belly button a bit better stomach today. Needs a bit more work. Uh, the legs to knees are okay. Uh, still hate the calves. Horrid calves, to be fair. Um, we also have the noodle arms that I hate. Everything else I think is going okay. We'll need to adjust a lot more, but I think they're in later parts of the tutorial. Prison British? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, if you're thinking in D&D &D terms, Australians are drought, because if British people are elves, they're like the pompous, ooh, 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 then from the down under, the underdark elves, that's Australian. So we're just fucking prison British. But yeah, now, the UK people I find are the hardest to be able to, here you go, uh, the hardest people to line up my time zone with because of how whack the time zone is. Uh, also, I need to fix up the shoulder blades a bit more. It's generally like shoulder blades, bit more work on the bum. Um, heaps more work on the calves, which hopefully once we start the feet will be easier. And fix these horrid arms, but I'll, I'll deal with them once I start doing with the hands, I think. Uh, arms are just, I don't know. Snip bum, let's go, let's go! There you go. But... We're about to start the Cursed Feet Learning. Um, if you like or want to learn Blender, to be fair, you should start learning it. Because we're at, what, video three? Uh, most people will catch up faster than me. It takes me a while to think. Let's go into edit mode. But, All right. Let's see what's vibing. Middle mouse button, then alt to snap into different views. Where you want. Then we can do... S, then control. Let's, I'm gonna make about 1.5 until I don't understand something. Well, to do that, to do exact measurements, then dot on the numpad, then shift, then middle mouse button pan, then Z, wireframe, G, then control to do exact measurements, then S to scale with control, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah, normal stuff. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We're getting the hang of this now. So we come back to the, the feet. No. Uh, we go tab. Then what we can do is I want to make sure I think I did like align these correctly. Uh oh, app. There we go. Uh R Z. Because that like snaps on that rotation, so that should be fine anyway. Uh but we can go s, s down. You know what I mean? G Z. Uh, G. Now, this is where this is going to be a little bit difficult, yeah? Because they're like, attach your reference. I don't have a proper reference. I wanted to adjust and change this, let alone normal. We've got the side reference, though, which is slightly off. Um, But it's a start. It's a start, chat. Yes. What we need to realize is one, two, three, four, five, six, I think is where we want to be. Or we want to be... Because we need to see if that's six... One, two, three, four, five, six is the groin line to wrist line. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six is the half of leg line. One, two, three, four, five, six is the bottom of knee line. One, two, three, four, five, six is the bottom of like that calf sort of leg line before it goes into it. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six is sort of where it should be. Yeah. So we're thinking like here. Um to like G Y to like sort of what here? Uh Y is uh, uh G Y zero maybe? Nah. What if I said for Y we went zero? Uh the width of this bad boy. What is it? I haven't paid attention. G, Y, is it control? Yes. We can probably just stay here for now. We're back from the gym. We are back from the gym. How you going, Magma? How'd gym go? G, Z. 
But we can sort of see it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we can even make it a little bit longer. Well, that's like, we're thinking three women with legs and stuff. Yeah. So that's technically where this should be, because uh, this it's, the scaling's off for any reference whatsoever. So we might need to make a new one. That's a race, to be fair. To be fair, to be fair. Now, uh, body references. Do I have one here? So that one maybe. Three, four, five. Yeah. So it's probably this one. And you're like, that's a bit wonky. And I'm like, yes, because. I don't have a proper reference, and the model is off as well. Your schedule's messed up, PR, uh, pers uh, personal record. Uh, yeah, yeah. Normally I would have thought it's PB, but maybe I guess different areas use different. Uh, but I'm thinking from here we go GX control. And we can sort of stick it to around here. We're not going to worry about any other part of it, because that's effort. Uh, S... Shrink it, G control, there. Now we can think the one, two, three. That first three is probably like before the ankle, um, and then other ways. It's like I don't know with something. Uh, G control to there. G. Uh, maybe to here, I would say, and then that's like what zero seven. That one is zero nine. Uh, G control. All right, zero two. What's this one? Zero four. Negative zero point. Negative zero point five. I think. Yeah, that's a bit better. Uh, da, 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 da. I know. S on the X, we want to shrink this bad boy in, I think. Uh, S, X, a little bit more. That's okay, Alt, Z. Uh, G on the X. You can probably presume that. Um, maybe. It's hard to say. Then we're gonna go on assumptions here. They're probably gonna have like some loot cups. So what we might do is we'll go control R. What? That's probably like a fair loot cut amount there, maybe. It's a job scare. Oh, so true. Then maybe they had a box or something there. I'm not too make sure. We'll see what they say. But this is my my game theory. Yeah? Uh, Alt Z. We can grab these two. Quack, quack. Uh, S X. That one. Uh, S X. That one. Uh, S X. That's probably fine. And I think this one's probably S X. Probably similar. Um, but maybe here. We can go by this half line, maybe. S, X. Uh, S, X. Uh, G, X. In here, maybe. Yep. Uh, G, X. That one. G, X. Because I'm very curious to see maybe, like... This might be completely different from how they do it, or I don't know. It's a start. You gotta figure it out. Um, GX. Let's do that one. SX. <laughs> and then G's magma pumping. No, yeah, yeah. Magma's gone full gym, which I respect. Good shit. Here, what I'm thinking is, uh, Alt Z, Alt Z, uh. S on the Y. Yeah, uh, S on the Y. Probably in like this. It's hard to say without a reference. Hmm? Oh, bloody hell. We, we could go to clip. Uh, G, Y, and make one. 
honestly, before we keep grumbling about it. The side reference is alright, but we need to figure it out. You got a nice shoulder line now? Hell yeah, good shit, man. Now, maybe there's another one. If we just went straight off this reference, which might not be accurate, hard to tell. Um, what do we want to do, chat? Should we guess it and have a gander? Would that be more fun? Or should we get a clip, maybe, and just see how it turns out, yeah? Like, I don't know. Uh, because you don't leave the house? No, nah, no, nah, I'm the one who doesn't. <laughs> I used to. But I am too dead for that, yep. You leave house for gym? True. Magma is like gym or uh, league. <laughs> or art. And you're drawing like buff mushrooms or some, which to be fair, they good shit. Um, also Savas married and doesn't leave the house. True, but I mean, counterpoint, Megma. I didn't meet the person I was with, uh, you know, without helping out of the house. So that's a nice counterpoint. Uh, so to be fair, I don't think where magma is there are many people. I think it's just like dwarves and maybe tumbleweeds. <laughs> Sef. Hey, I'm not given any information. Don't worry. But to be fair, mate. But. Also, to try and be on both people's sides, there's also the fact that, like, you know, sometimes you got to consider, like, I mean, meeting someone via mutual interest is considered the best way. You don't, if you're looking for the sake of looking, you won't find. But if you're looking, but if you're, it's effectively, it's like, it's like a, if you're watching the kettle or you're watching, like, your toaster, it doesn't, Toast until you stop looking. And it's the same thing with, like, making a genuine connection. Uh, in the sense where, like, I find it's at its peak, it's at its best, when um, you are not aiming for it. You're finding a mutual connection, and then you end up just finding someone that you really get along with via that mutual connection. That is generally where I found it is most consistently good. I don't know. Romance too hard. That's why I'm aromantic. Hell yes, Slay. Most people come from Tasmania from there. Rough. You to like people to meet people. True. You also gotta learn to not hate yourself, which is a difficult thing for everyone, but being able to healthily work through your own shit. If you can't deal with you, who you spend the most time with, how can you deal with someone you want to spend the second most time with? You know what I mean? And yeah, there are times where, well, I mean, you like them and not you. Yeah, but it's like, it's healthy and it comes out. I don't know. I'm spouting random shit and I'm a fucking VTuber on the internet. Don't take a single word of what I say as like factual evidence or anything. I ain't no psych. This is my just yapping. This is how I make yap. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Bro, he put me in ads. Ha <laughs> ha. No, he doesn't... Uh, that doesn't put people in ads, Aki. That literally is just so that I notice. And so people aren't just spamming, oh, it's ads or something. It's like, that way people know. that. Like, And that way I can easily look at a redeem and be like, oh yeah, people are in ads. Ads for the shoulder rub. I think... We're gonna go by clip quickly. Um, I'm gonna go save as feet begin uh, inning. Yep, that's what I say. Then we're gonna come back to this, but we're gonna go over to clip, which I still need to get all of my settings back from when I got my PC fixed. I still don't have. I lost so many fucking settings. I need to find them. Uh, it's just timing, yeah. Uh, the reason why is because to prevent a lot of people from suffering from um, 
to prevent a lot of people from suffering from pre-roll ads when they join the stream or like consistent ones i have it set to hourly ones and so it just hit on the hour and that's why you're going to get some ads and that way most people um can predict it get a drink and then you know not but i keep forgetting to make it like a um thingy on it if you can lift weights you can hang with people to be fair you can like meet people at the gym i would say you like gym a lot magma meet people at the just get to know the people at your gym to be uh, like i dating apps are i don't know but I think the fa that when you're desperately trying to meet someone is when it's at its, uh, is least likely, is my unprofessional opinion. Uh, but that's if you're wanting, like, a genuine relationship. If you're looking for other stuff, then it depends on what you're looking for, but that's just in my opinion. If you're looking for, like, genuine, proper, like, long-term relationship, creating that connection and friendship first is, tends to work fairly reliably. Um, but, I don't know. We're gonna put a hold on this bad boy. Yeah. Um, uh, because we're gonna switch over to, like, a book for us something. Yeah, true. Like, do, yeah, stuff you like where you can meet people. It's not easy. Um, who knows? But, that's just my first thought. I'm gonna quickly go into my... Um, while we're here, just so I can quickly... Um, open up the thingy. Uh, Clip Studio. So we can make a reference. Meet people try to engage in convo. Think. Yeah. Meet people for people, and at the very least, you're making some genuine friendships. Um, and if not, then, and if otherwise, it just grows into, sometimes it grows into more. Because that's where you get the most, like, secure... Because trust is, and communication are the biggest things in a relationship. So if you've already been able to gain a friendship with someone first, you already have started working on uh, indicating whether someone can trust and communicate with you. And you're able to pick up more on, like, some of the thing, their habits, good or bad, and vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the, the key part of a relationship is trust and uh communication and so you gotta practice ma making trust and communication it's like it's like the fundamentals you gotta learn to see s and league you gotta learn to have a lot of the fundamentals you gotta understand shit <laughs> i don't know i'm just yapping though who knows uh 1080 let me just quickly go to here and go maybe here. Hmm. And yeah, like Magma, like how we met and uh, ended up forcing and convincing you to talk. <laughs> um, they're good. Let's just shoop. I need to set that up a bit better instead of just dragging it each time, but I'm so lazy. But let me look for... Do I remember where the material models are? No. Do I care? No. I'll figure it out. Armature. Armature. Armature balls. Bum, 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 bum. Now, I need to think foot, feet, male, man. Um... I don't know, man. I need to find a relaxed man, maybe. Hmm. Even attending his wedding? True. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. Mm-hmm. You did, Magnum. <laughs> I, yeah, I streamed it because I wanted people to catch it. Um, If y'all have been here for a while, you would know... Kiwi, uh, Kiwi and Fawn were almost able to make it, but they couldn't, so they... Ended up watching the stream as well. Um, yeah, yeah. Now let me... Let me do, uh... Uh, where? I am an old man. People forget I'm old. 
Um, let me make think. Mail. Mail. Like, I don't really care too much. Maybe if I did this. Let's see. Lying down, maybe not. Let's go. I could search. So we're trying to find a reference. Because we don't have the ones we used to. Why? Because my PC was dying and I had to get a new PC. So let's see if we can find one that's just, like, okay enough. Let's just do that. Yep. Okay. And then what we can do is uh, adjust body shape stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before your time? Yeah. I think, yeah, just because I it was the same year that I started streaming. Yeah, so before your time, uh, that was 2022 in March. And then I think the end of 2022, around, like, I was testing streaming around the sort of, like, maybe October, July for 2022. Yeah, yeah, so that's when I started streaming, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, started streaming around, like, October 2022, then started the VTubing, like, beginning of 2023. Uh, yeah. Where can we meet? Uh, well, technically you can go through my VODs, and if you uh, looked for any VODs where I played Mario Kart, uh, that's generally when, uh, because she likes Mario Kart and would definitely uh definitely vibes with it and then my pc was just too dead to even like try and like run stream mario kart because it was like lagging shit uh so it didn't really work and what works for me because i'm disabled with my health and stuff is when they're able to go to work i'm able to do my um streaming and stuff and then generally when they're back is when i like go and like cook dinner and stuff like that i'm effectively the male wife um, which is a vibe. I don't mind cooking and shit. But, uh, technically, if you remember my surgery-a-thon, uh, when I was trying to repair my PC and my body, one of the goal rewards and goals was, which we still haven't done because busy in life, um, was, uh, it said Liz stream, and some of my friends were like, what's a Liz stream? And I'm like, you'll find out. Um, so yes, if you ever hear someone mention a Liz, then that's Miss Serve, Mrs. Serve. Um, I do... Um, I want to make, like, uh, one thing that would be great about 3D modeling and blending and stuff is I'll hopefully be able to make, like, an OC for them or something so we can have them, if they ever, like, talking and shit, we can have their thing pop up. Um, to be fair, like, before I was even streamed, Magma knows, uh, them because we played D&D &D together for a while. Um, they would probably be either a vampire or an orc. I'm, I'm a big real. That's, or a tree. They would probably be a dryad. Lizard should do some art streams, true. Uh, or, they, or Lizard be sure, but who knows. They could do art streams. What I want to do is figure out how to do live art streams a bit better, because I also want to do live cooking streams, and then that'll be easier. The issue with, like, because she uses, does oil painting, so in a small studio space, we it, you would just end up high because of the fumes from oil painting, if people don't know. Um, am I doing your honeymoon? True. Um... Yeah, in person, true. So I'm, out of the friend group, I'm the only person, me and Liz are the only people who've ever met Magma in person. Um, it was fun, it was good. I still have, I think it's on my desk somewhere here. I need to find it. It's it, it's around, right around here. I still have the little metalworked tiki things you gave us. Because uh, they're important, so I still have them. It's just a matter of my clumsy ass knocking them down because it's there either here or they're with the D and D stuff. Uh, probably uh, going to their favorite memory line. Hell yeah! So like that's and like that's I think that's one of the benefits of like getting to meet like having friends. Like technically, hey, you can have positive things come from league because then I got to meet you and Kiwi and Fawn and a bunch of people. Um, so that's why like. Uh, for reference, people are new. That's why if you see Kiwi, NZ, and Magma, generally the main three who, if you see them that aren't VTubers but still hang around as, like, the main people, it's because, like, known them before. Um, when have I known you since Magma? Since, like, 2017 or 18? It was either early 2018 or late 2017, I think, was when I met you, Magma. Out of five online friends I ever met, three of them um, have screwed. I mean, I think that's just life. 
these days, especially with an online life and people being adulting. Um, I think the hardest thing about being an adult um, and growing up is you never know when your last conversation with someone is. And for me, who likes communicating when things are like, because if it's something that's bad, I'm more than able to communicate and fix it. But a lot of time you just don't get that bit. Like, that's just, you don't normally get that. Damn, you, you go way back. Yeah, yeah. T late 2016. It wouldn't have been late 2016. It would have been at the best beginning of 2017 because, or maybe, I don't think I started playing l League until I moved states. Um, if I did though, then maybe that'd be the, I, I could have, but it's, it's a while. I can't remember. That's a fucking while ago. If that's the case, it's been eight years. We've known each other. It was good loss. They sucked. <laughs> There's a few that have been good. Uh, we met uh, through a mutual friend that we've both lost since. I don't, um, uh, yeah, I can't remember exactly. We used to have a server that I made for Discord. Cause this was back when League was actually better in some ways it was more toxic people but there were more it was more of a community where people would want to meet people uh around that time period and this is when and i think that's because they had like the clans and stuff it is actually i think they should add them back i don't know why they got rid of them but the, when we had them i had a clan that i made for where i just like added my league friends that we met uh the festive nuns because I just thought the oxymoron or like the dichotomy of that was just funny as fuck. Just pa dancing, raving nuns. Um, and so that's where we met like Fawn and Kiwi and stuff. And then it was more closer to like 2022 when we met Clover and NZ. And NZ is the one that got me into streaming. Tencent hadn't bought League yet. It was during Fest and Nuns. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so we've, that was a bit of a yap, but hey, that was a vibe. Um, uh, here's her issue with height. Do, 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 uh, height. I don't remember the height. Fuck, now I gotta remember centimeters to, because this is the one thing where it's like, you get used to trying to remember feet for, um... Uh, you gotta, you, oh, my brain. I'm thinking that's, eight, it's not 175, because, uh, y'all Americans, ew. Now I have to think in gripper units before, so that we can learn to make grippers. Uh, so, what is it? It's probably around, because I'm a half elf, so I'm pretty fucking tall. It's around like the 213, I think. Um, in theory, of actual size. Yep. Um, pose. Let's just make the pose default for ease. Um, and then what I can think of is probably fine. Um, now here. Now here is where it's like. I went out like that. Um, uh, that's probably, you know, there. I uh, will figure out the actual. How do you figure out the? There is also a spot somewhere where we figure out how we want them. I think it's in here. Where it's probably close to like. I think it's close to like. Because an elf, they need to be lanky. But they're also like, because the volcanic, I wanted it to be more like rock like. So it could be more like that. To be fair, it is more anime, so it's like, you know, less uh, realistic for some of it. Let's just do that for now. Uh, good enough, I think. And then, do we keep. Re That's that. What if we said just 213 and that's probably fine to be fair how do we make this bad boy these ones a bit mick thicker because i think it's like the arms probably need to make them where is it? it's around like 
Because when you're thinking that, it's like the wrist is technically like there. I think it's, I'm trying to remember how we do this actually. But it's like, is it the navel? Where is the, where is it? Where is he? Where is he? It's like normally around here, maybe. I don't know. Let's say it's there for now. The arms are fine. Good enough. Get out of here. Um, sorry about that, chap. I was trying to, trying to think, and that's not easy. Americans and their weird news. So true. Do you guys like to be quirky? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Americans are all like, oh, feet, burgers. Um, but let me... If I was... How do I make rotate this again? So if I did this, um, I need to get rid of that one, I think. I think there's also a setting in here where I can change the... Oh, there's light source. That's fine. A bit light intensity. I don't care too much. It's probably outline. Yeah, I need a thin outline. Uh, or make it a bit thicker. I think a bit thicker is probably helpful compared to what we had last time. We can probably do that. Um, and then hopefully that's fine. Like at the end of the day, that's probably it probably is fine. We can do that. Now if I oh don't do that one. Uh rotation, I think. Camera would it be Y ninety? Z zero. Oh no. Uh said to object Yes. Yes. Um and then what I'm thinking is current Gaborra. Oh. Oh. Uh, that sort of shit's confusing, bro. Uh vertical Straighten, reset, adjustment. Sure. I just want this shit to be on the... Make sure it's actually, like, directly out the side. So I'm not, like, fucking around again for five years. Uh, model rotation, maybe. Pose scanner. How about you pose scan these? <laughs> Camera angle, I don't... I want the... Probably the object angle rather than the camera angle is my suspicion perspective is where it's like what so i probably need to make sure this perspective is one point perspective so that the camera is not being weird uh and then that's rolling so we just go zero for that why not a zero it's fine and what if we had z at let's click oh my gosh Let's see, four, five, zero, zero, zero. What if we had this as, uh, chat, chat, chat. What if we did 4,000? Okay, what if we did, yeah, 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 3,000. Ooh. One, and then we made eight. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. And why? Zero. Uh, one, nine, zero, zero. It's probably a bit better. Uh, then we got camera position, e X, Y, Z, focal point. We can change the focal point a bit, I think. 215. Uh, which one? We go up. up, 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 up. Uh, 230. Uh, 330. Uh, 370. Sold. Uh, 390. Uh, 420! Yes! Why? I don't fucking know. 97. Uh, yeah. Why? Yeah, it's 97. How about that one? Focal point? I don't fucking know. Zero. Eat my butt. Alright, we can do that for now. 
I'll show you pepperoni pizza or noodle soup. Ooh, what sort of noodles? I think is a good question. What sort of noodles? Yeah. I need to move this bitch again. Uh, 90? No, 96. That's better. So we come back here and we can go this. The reason being, if I did that, yeah, then hopefully, probably come out here for the arm width. I don't know how wide it's going to be, but it's probably not going to be like that wide, you know? Uh, no, 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 that one. Yep. And then, so we can do this one. We can go bonk. File, save as PNG. Maybe. Hopefully this works. We'll have to see. It's Poe. Uh, Poe. Uh, okay, his booty kind of flat. Yeah, that's not my booty though, to be fair. Uh, we're looking for more like the feet reference and to the right scaling and then probably arm reference of up because we didn't have an up arm reference. Um, I do love a good old Vietnamese fucking noodle dish. Yeah, honestly, it's probably because it's winter here, but I'm feeling, um, yeah, I think I have the noodle soup. 100%. And honestly, I don't remember kings never surrender like that. <laughs> I don't remember that. I just remember this. I don't know. It was what it was. So if I said save S, sorry, hold on. Let me go P and G. Um, serve side ref new. Um, and then hopefully that's okay. P and G at save. Save. Oh, that's a question mark. It won't like it. Uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Fail to save. What? But you fail to save my balls. Uh, export. PNG. Serve. New side ref for feet. Yep, 100%, please. Good. Noodle soup it is, hell yeah. And you remember? Oh, good on you, Magma. I can barely remember, remember anything at all. Now, if we come back here, yeah. Come back to, like, what? Probably this one. Here, we can say... Set model rotation, presumably, is the best option. Yeah. Fuck, I was drawing about the arm um, shit. This is cursed. Okay, um, I think what I need to do then. Uh change canvas size. Do 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 Yep. Let's go back to the ten eighty, I guess. Yeah, so that's probably better. Um, so we're going to go bing, bong, uh, edit, I'll say, where is it, canvas size, please, uh, back to here, file, edit, change canvas size, back to the 1080, please, 1080, so as much as I like the crop, I want to make sure the images are accurate, probably, edge, save as, uh, downloads, downloads, you little fucker. PNG. That one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Replace it. Now we come back here. And we reset the rotation. And then that means when we do this, we can go save as. New uh, front ref for feet. Oh. Because at least we've made sure the head ratio is fine. Um. Obviously, the waist and hip we have to is different because we're making it differently, and some of the other bits will change. But it's at least proportionately where we want to uh, have as a double check slash reference. 
That should be right there. Hopefully that's all right. Hopefully that won't come up. Uh, save as. Uh, front ref. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. So now what we could probably do, because we got damn damn feet, should we do some of the other angles for the feet as well? I don't know. Um, cause I tried to zoom in using Blender controls. I'm an idiot. Camera position. Uh, X. Zero again. Z. Uh, let's go nine eight hundred. Camera position. So we need to look at them their feet again. Uh, let's go seven hundred. And one twenty. Ah, uh, one fifty. There we go. Uh, five hundred. Two hundred. Sold one hundred. There we go. So we're gonna have a look at this reference here. Is what I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we can go. Save as. Feet closer front. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Uh, then when we come back here, we can check the probably camera. Uh, focal point camera position. How do we do the lens? 3D figure pose. Manga outline shadow. That's those four but in all my preferences. Allocate my ass. Full rotation. Rotate these. I think. Rotate on the 90 makes sense. Uh, that's fine. We can go outline. I think. Outline width. Make sure it's only like one. But the opacity we can make like pretty strong. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think maybe we make it like wise or something. Yeah, yeah. And then that's fine there. All right, cool. So we can do this, I think. And then we can go save as uh, feet closer side yep uh reset model rotation yep come back here uh save as uh feet close the front because we changed the outlines yep then we go save as in a clip format uh serve ref new six five 2024, so I know what date that was made in. Saved. Sorry for this tedium. So hopefully this will all be fine. Um, I can just, that should be good. If I hop out of there, yeah. Next plan is we go back to chatting briefly. Ah. Um, and then within this, I go back to Blender. Ooh. Now, if you want to play something today, Magma, let me know and I'll make this real quick. Excuse me. I'm curious, what are certain things that only happens in Australia? Um, well, I mean, I haven't been out of Australia, so I, it's like, I can assume via stereotypes. I'm not 100% certain. I know. I know that the likelihood is always checking your boots if you left them outside. That's probably one. Um, making a food around a hardware store a cultural sort of like phenomenon. Um, mutually, without any discussion, everyone in Australia tends to 
enjoy uh, funnily gaslighting people in other countries in the sense where if you come visit, like, drop bear, like, we we'll, we like chat and shit, and I think it's just, like, understanding as a culture, like, we're very, it's more about sort of, it's not like a familial hierarchical structure as some cultures are, and it's not around work as focused as like in America where it's like people can almost see like their work as their value. Whereas in Australia, it's very much mateship, friendship, uh, culture. I don't know. Um, but off the top of my head, I'm better at noticing something if it comes up, but off the top of my head, I'm not too sure. Sorry. It's not the best answer. If you give examples, I could probably figure it out. What you mean? We're also heavy on sarcasm. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. We are a lot stronger on sarcasm than a lot of countries for sure. Um, generally, and we're. I think we also, as a country, don't have much value in a public face. Do you know what I mean? Um, because I find from what I've like secondhand heard or seen or like from other people's experiences, like it seems like like say in America or Japan. There's a lot of like, hey, you have the face of niceness to people around you, but that's not you because you just you're adding an additional thing. Whereas in Australia, we're a lot more focused on blunt and honesty, and so having that additional face just seems dumb. Um, it's sort of very much like, I don't. It's, it's very much focused on just being like blunt and honest or sarcastic. Um, like, we still have a sporting culture that's fairly strong, but it is still within that very, like, um, blunt to your face. And so a lot of people, if they went to Australia, if they're not used to that, may just, like, I don't know, may not like or handle how in Australia it's just like, okay, cool. If so, like, I don't know, people will say hi, but, like, they're not going to change who they are because they're in a public setting. It's like, no, that's just who they are. Um, dangerous creatures, I mean, true, we have most of the dangerous, most dangerous snakes in the world, but there are, like, to be, like, people underestimate, for example, Canada, moose are dangerous as shit, we don't have bears, we don't have moose, we don't have cobras, uh, I don't think, we have a lot of things, but a lot of the dangerous creatures can be avoided with common sense, and we don't have large predatory-based creatures in the same way, closest we've got is, like, wild dogs or... Like, I don't know, if you're an arsehole to kangaroos. We have a snake island in Brazil. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we are a snake island. We're Australia. but <laughs> So technically we're a snake island. Uh, let me switch back to this one. No, no, not that one. No, or is it? Um, It is. I just need to change my overlay again. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There you go. Snake Island, bro. Yeah, yeah. Australia is devil's house when it comes to certain animals. <laughs> True. We have... It's well, like... One thing I do find hilarious is sometimes there'll just be a bird sound, and then if I'm in a call with, like, people that aren't Australian, they'll be like, what the fuck? And I'm like, I mean, yeah, it's just a bird. It's just vibing. Like, you'll be surprised about the amount of birds and sounds that you won't be used to in Australia. I think is probably one of the bigger ones. It's like the carefree... But to your face, culture, I think negatively, the drinking culture and the um, sporting culture can get bad, I think. Um, or being too carefree can sometimes, like, you know, not mean we don't have as much urgency potentially for issues that should have urgency. Because uh, it's good to look at where the issues are in your, no matter where you are. I don't know. But overall, any animal can be avoided. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know. Name an animal, and we I can explain generally how, like, to avoid it or whether it is actually an issue. But while I'm here, let me just quickly go Shift-A, and we want to go... No, we want to go Tab, Shift-A, go to... Um, go to Image, Reference, Downloads, because that's just the easiest spot for me to sort things. We want feet, 
We want save new side reference for feet. Yep. And then wherever the fuck that is, uh, we're going to move it. And you're like, where is it? And I'm like, I don't know where. I don't know where the fuck, where the fuck this is. Where the fuck has it gone? Boop, 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 ba -doop, ba -doop. Now, beep bop, it's not in there. Beep bop, it's clearly in the body somewhere. Does it go in the torso? No, you go in here. It is here. So this is new side ref test. We can fling that down into body refs. Pop out of the body briefly. So we can go into references. And we can go G uh, here to G. Control. Uh, here. And we can go G. Control. I don't know if this will be scaled to the right size. But it'll at least be, you know, something. I don't know if I can handle huge insects. True. Um, most of those huge ones are like, if you're really going bush or uh, in the northern and like, so imagine Australia is a giant island. Um, the top right corner of it. I I could even just do this. So this is roughly. Okay. Where is it? It it it. Oh, there you go. New thing. Sure, so this here, say that this is, um, we did this. So say that this is Australia, yeah? It's a dog shit example, but you know what I mean? Um, this area in here, desert. You don't need to go there. Here, uh, shithole, here, shithole, shithole. Uh, uh, so this whole area here, Western Australia is what it's referred to as. It's got some good, the best thing on there is the beaches. Uh, so there's good beaches there, but otherwise it's like fairly empty because it's like mining towns and stuff like that. Up here, there's a lot of, um, indigenous tourist stuff that's really nice, but there are a lot of like crocodiles and it is more closer to foresty so you, because it's closer to the equator. So think of, you know how South for America is like more Floridian, North for Australia is more Floridian. <coughs> so here in the Northern Territory, you're going to get like more crocodiles, um, big old crabs, but some fun indigenous stuff and things like that. Um, here in, so this is, all of this is Queensland, but this bit up here is like tropical sort of forest because it's the closest to the equator so that's where you get the big insects and shit and this middle bit here is where we get to have our like theme parks and more beaches and fruit so you get some good fruit there but you get like normal like cyclones i guess so you're not gonna get animal it's less animals are not as much of a worry but the weather's a bit grosser and so are the people <laughs> it's more rural it's more i don't know it's more country bumpkin -y. But it is good for theme parks. It's good for beaches. So it's good to visit. It's definitely a good tourist spot. Uh, here is like this middle area is New South Wales. That's like more bush because it's more like uh, cattle and sheep, cows, kangaroos. So you're going to have more of the stereotypical wildlife that isn't uh, tropical. So you're going to have like kangaroos and wombats and stuff like that. And it's more like rivers and mountains. So there's like a little... There's like a, a mountain range in here that's got like skiing and stuff. It's shit house because we don't have proper snow. It's a desert, but I mean it's something. Um, but I mean otherwise it's eh. New South Wales is eh, but that's where Sydney is. So that's like fairly like business capital, and it's like where our capital of our country. That's like it's more like business and resident focused. I think. Uh, there's a few like fishing sort of beach things there. Uh, mountain ranges and sort of wildlife is more what you're thinking of in New South Wales. Uh, don't worry about South Australia, it's shit. Um, Tasmania is the little island at the bottom here. That's got more, that's more like, because it's coastal and separated from every, everything, it's more like a lot of like um, seafood and stuff like that, and stuff like that. It's just nice and pretty, but it's very cold and weird. Uh, Victoria, which is this bottom bit here, that's cons that's more the acting and 
tourism people focused area of Australia. So that's going to have like wineries, uh, cafes, more like different cuisines and cultures and stuff. Um, that's like, you know what I mean? That's more where, uh, you're going to have more of that Australian, um, populated culture, but the other areas are more like Australian rural culture. Um, if I was to go hiking in Australia, where would you recommend? I mean, Australia is good for hiking generally everywhere. Like Australia is very walkable. Uh, America's not walkable it's more designed around like cars and stuff like that so you have to travel everywhere and america's pretty fucking big uh australia if you want to go between cities they have really far distances away it's like next bigger city is like an eight hour drive but on that same note everywhere has like good walking and bush and creek and stuff like that so you can pretty much just find anything wherever you're going so it's better to look for like what you want whether it's like beaches or amusement park, do you want more like rural country town Australian? Do you want more like um, touristy sort of like events and cafe and restaurant stuff? If you want more like city life, or, or like, if you want more like cultural city life where it's like cafe food, more pompous in a way, then you're thinking uh, at wineries, you're thinking here. If you're thinking more like skiing, rural city, but it's like not like cultural city, more just like city city, you're thinking here. If you're thinking like fruit and hot rural people, so there's not much, but there are um, beaches and amusement parks, you're thinking here. If you're thinking more like indigenous, uh, cool stuff to see, but it's more excited and a little bit more like... Uh, but still like warmer, but isolated, you're thinking up here, uh, in my opinion. That's generally like where you're thinking. South Australia near the coast. South Australia is hard. First country in the world? Yes. Like, we uh topographically fucking flat as fuck. Like, um, I don't know. So I'm down in this area, but I used to be up in this area. So in where I'm at, it's more like, okay, you're going to have a lot more like, um, restaurants, cafes, very strong coffee culture in Australia. People under, even if I, I say it all the time, but people underestimate how strong Australian coffee culture is. Like every fast food chain generally has a coffee thing attached to it. Like, for example, McDonald's Macca's has a espresso like cafe built into every single one of them. Like if we didn't have one, people would be shocked. Uh and that's just generally when you're not even in like Victoria. Like you uh it's assumed that like coffee culture is just like real like we've got some of the best coffee in the world, I think. And um yeah, we're very, like, I'd say, like, we got some decent fruit. We don't have as good as, like, a lot of, like, tropical island fruit, but our fruit's pretty good. Uh, we're known for having, uh, New Zealand and Australia are known for having really good lamb. Um, so, where in America, you're not as, like, likely to think of lamb as a meal that's, like, good or something you would think of as commonly. It's a lot more common in Australia. Um, kangaroo's good. It's generally when people don't like it, it's simply just because... People don't cook it properly because it's very gamey. I'm going to try your coffee someday. Yeah, 100%. If you're ever coming to Australia, um, I can always just recommend stuff. But if you and any of the NSA are coming down, I can always help show you all around. I'd say wineries are great. Uh, like, cheese factories, wineries, um, cafes, coffees is generally, like, some of the things in Australia. Uh, it's more like... Australia's more like beach and food. You know what I mean? Like you know that summer that summer chill vibe? But you're fucking around. That's sort of Australia's culture. Like wine, cheese, food, vibe. Kangaroo. Kangaroo meat. Yeah, yeah. Uh kangaroos sometimes we there's sometimes there's too many and we have to do a bit like think of uh kangaroo. We still have deer, but if think of kangaroo as like America's deer. Uh they get to the point of being pissed. But imagine if Dear, and you had a box, and there's more of them, and they're bigger. 
but just like deer, they're going to be friendly 90% of the time. You're fine. It's generally like uh, the things they're most likely to attack is uh, dogs or like if they're like running at them or if you're out in the country and you're walking up to the big fucking leader of the group and you have your arms above your waist uh, because imagine if, a, if boxes were wild animals and you lifted your arms up above your waist. It looks like you're going to fight, so they go to fight you. But generally, like, kangaroos are chill. The worst stuff comes from people fucking around in the bush without being just, like, uh, precautious of, like, snakes um, or spiders, generally. Or people in the oceans not... The worst thing is when you have tourists that go to the oceans and then you're like, hey, we have rips. And then they're like, what? And then they like, you like, don't know how to swim. And you're like, bro, we have... Australia's known for surfing beaches as well. Like, we're going to have things that just pull you out. Like, um, it's pretty much just like, I don't know, don't be an idiot. If you go on hiking and stuff, which is fun, or like bike riding or anything, it's pretty much just have people, like have someone with you, have a few like precautions. It's the general rule of like, um, st uh, step loudly so animals are aware, like where you are. Don't like peel bark off trees barehanded without at least being aware. Hey, maybe there's a spider under the bark. Like. It's fairly common sense. Um, I don't know. It's generally fine. But when you've lived there your entire life, it's hard to tell exactly what's completely off. So you could just see... I know there are, like, people who, like, Americans who, like, make content on, like, hey, ever since moving to Australia, things that are different. Oh, that reminds me. There is one thing that always blows my mind. You guys talk a lot about benefits when you go to jobs, and it didn't hit me until recently... That's because you guys don't have those as a right. And I didn't realize that. Um, we It is a right in Australia um, that wherever you work, you will have some of that income be put away into a retirement fund called a super uh, fund. I don't know if it's different in America. And just general sort of like considerations and stuff like that. That's just like general rights. Uh, you're going to swim off, you're going to go one of our famous beaches. Yeah, like, I would say also don't, like, if you're going on a rock beach, don't be barefoot. A, a lot of our venomous, poisonous stuff is, it's either, if you're going full bush, just consider your bush. You're wearing boots, you're wearing properly enclosed stuff and just being considerate. Like, uh, we, for example, in some of the rock beaches, you can have, like, the blue ring oct octopus. If you're a tourist and you're like, this is a pretty small octopus with blue rings, let me hold it. And then they die. And you're like, you just picked up a wild animal that clearly is having a vibrant color. As someone who grew up with animals, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, bro, animals have a vibrant color for a reason, generally. Uh, because it's poisonous or venomous or both. Blue ring octopus, there it, that's, that's bad. Like, if you see something, an animal... This is why it's generally good to have someone there because you can be like, is this fine? Uh, like, I love wombats. They're so cute. But they are a pain in the ass on the road because people don't understand. They have the biggest burrows in the world. Uh, and so the holes they dig are massive. How do they do that without the dirt caving in and hurting them? And how they protect their back from wild animals like giant lizards and stuff? Uh, their tailbone is almost like a metal plating. It's like fucking thick. It is a thick plating. And so... A wombat is just this giant guinea pig, effectively, that has an armor-plated ass. Uh, and so if a car runs into it, uh, that car stops. Uh, that is like you've run into like a bit of a brick wall. Uh, so you have this thing that just got pump. Uh, but generally, kangaroos are a bit stupid. You don't drive uh, on a country road at night wildly. You just be careful because kangaroo will act like deer and then just like go plomp. Don't be an idiot towards animals. It's, I think it's common sense, but it's also like, I don't know. Australia, it's like there is a lot of shit there, but unless you're stupid, you'll, it'll be fine. It's generally like Australians also like taking the piss, which is like Australians just like making, like, gaslight, get, like having fun banter to gaslight people. And then like, un, like not intending to be like harmful way, like drop bears. Drop bears aren't a thing. 
Like, I'm sorry, Australians, I broke the rule, but, like, I don't care. <laughs> it's a general vibe. Wombats also kill dingoes via facing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Brazil, we use a rule, if it's shiny and vibrant, your ass gonna die. Yeah, it's just general rules of the animal kingdom. There's just more of the animals that aren't as uh, common in the Northern Hemisphere. But it's like, in your area, you have common sense things about animals like, hey, maybe bear spray, or you have things like, okay, what to do with certain animals, like bears and coyotes and things like that. We don't have a lot of these large predators, so I wouldn't know what to do with that stuff. That's wild. We have a lot of more... Uh, the danger for us is more that sort of like... Uh, the toxicity of like reptiles or like uh, sea animals and stuff. Seven Magma going to be my tour guide? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I won't disclose where Magma is, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, Magma is at the very least... Uh, clearly, like, if we, ha like, you know, that should be head obvious that if Magma was located directly where I am, we would be hanging in person a bit more. Um, but, you know, yeah, probably. But then you got something like, say, um, but yeah, definitely, because I'm in Victoria, I'm always, like, like, anyone that wants to come down and vibe, always down. Um, it's generally the rule. You're near the Asian capital? Oh, I think Magma Victoria is like a lot, like taking a lot more of that, I think. Asian capital? Well, there are areas where it's more likely to have people that aren't just uh, Australians, I think. Uh, more, there's like cultural centers because rural, it's a bit like a lot of countries where the more rural you go, the less diverse a culture will be. We got a lot of foreigners. Yeah, yeah. Well, Australia has, uh, it's a lot of it. It doesn't have as distinguished as a culture as, say, like America or something. And that's why people. It's like hard to explain because it is an amalgamation of other of other cultures. It's is a its culture is that it's a cultural hot hotspot. Probably also because the British killed off the majority of the original culture. But you know that is generally how it went for a lot of things. Um, unfortunately. There are a lot of cool, like, cultural things, to be fair, that you can, um, come across, um, in, like, Australia. One thing, like, for example, I know I want to visit, um, America, well, I want to visit Mexico, to be fair, is more, and Canada. I want to go around, I want to outskirt America. <laughs> I want to go, like, slightly around, and then just be like, okay, people meet up here, because... I really love uh, the art culture of Mexico and a lot of the food and a lot of it. And I've got family there and I've got family in Canada too. So it's like, I could meet my Canadian friends. I could meet my Mexican friends. And then the American friends could just meet up. I, uh, I don't feel as confident in being like, oh yeah, let me just go to uh, Mick Shooter Shooterson town for America. I don't know. Doesn't need to be heavily convinced to go there, I think. Uh, but who knows? Well, I, I can't remember. Hold on, let me find also. I need to go back to here and figure out, did I have this? Oh, yeah, this might be the right one. Because if that's correct, that's like, maybe it's correct. I can't, I can't remember. Hey, caramba! Yeah, you know, government is still weirdly racist. Oh, yeah, it's it's a we'd be a mixture. It is weird. It's like effectively you've mixed uh, because we a lot of our heritage of culture comes from uh, British and American, so you get that unfortunate influence of the racist culture, uh, which is every cult every country has racist stuff. But yeah, Australia can be quite. Uh, racist at times i think definitely it is not racist in the same way um i think uh, but that's also i think both to a positive and negative we're not but it's it's like we're not as uh i don't know we don't it's very interesting it's hard to explain i think it'd be easy for me to explain once i'd visited america it'd be a lot easier 
Uh, I think generally the best of uh, Victoria, I would say is the best spot to go uh, for being the least racist in the sense, because it is more like culture and there's a lot more of other cultures there. Like literally where I am, I get, I'm more surprised if I see a white person than uh, any other spot in Australia, which is, uh, it's, I love, I hate white people food sucks. So I'm glad where I am. Like, I don't have to worry about that. Um, which is like, uh, so it's, it's sort of like, but it is weird. It is, I don't know. It's hard to explain it because it's not such a defined culture in the same way for both its detriment and, uh, benefit in weird ways. I don't know. There's probably people who can make a good analysis on it, but it's one of those things that you'd need someone from an, from the outside perspective to visit, to really give that, um, analysis i think i don't know now here i'm thinking where this is g z because if i'm here we need to think of it's going by the six one two three four five yes it's around here yeah which is this line. Got to remember that because that green line, one, two. Yes, yeah, so it's like two off the ground, which is which line? I don't know. I'm confused. Uh, GZ, I'm thinking like here, maybe. It's hard to say. Because uh, that's like what? Uh, here. Because let's go to the front reference for now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because we're thinking like here. Yep. And then which means here. Ah, should be right. A G Z. But maybe it's not. I don't know. It is slightly up, so I think that's okay. Where are we? In the Z, it's 2.5. I'll say 2.5. No. 2.51. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, I think parks are also kind of lame. I mean, yeah, but... They're nothing. But yeah, definitely. Uh, Australia, you don't go to Australia for the theme parks. To be fair. You go to see it for, like... Beaches, wildlife, and uh, food and culture, I think, and like nat uh, that sort of stuff. <coughs> I don't know. All the same issues with Disney World, but with a hottie sun. Gross. I hate. Yeah. Something if that's it. And then we go G onto the. Oh, eh. Is that correct? Oh, God. I did that one. Yeah. Then what if I said... One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's around here. Yeah, yeah. Then we go... Side ref. From here we go... Yeah, so this one we're going to go G... Oh, I moved the wrong one, didn't I? Because it's this one that I go go G, uh, Z. So it's like there. Uh, G, Y. Uh, G, X. Something like that, I think. Uh... Musculature might need to go there. If you come during the off season, though, less people. True. I guess I don't really care about theme parks. Yeah, yeah. I figured like generally, if people are coming to Australia, it's not for theme parks. It's generally more like visuals or like uh, culture or food and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. As someone who's from Australia. I can recommend things, but it's hard to say why people 
uh, like the what the best way to explain what the motivation is in my opinion but that's just me i am also just weird to be fair so uh i can't say that i'm exactly uh <laughs> The best reference if you want a normal person. Uh, this indicates I probably need this to be a little bit bigger. And then we come back here and we go G, Z, shift. So I'm thinking probably like that, yeah. We can come up here. And there's like G. Uh, X. Because then we can sort of see maybe where we went. Some areas we might need to change. GX. At the very least, we can use this for like a foot ref. Um, let's see how it goes. I don't know. Our beaches are okay since they've all made a quartz. Well, yeah, we are. Our beaches are generally the biggest, like. Uh, especially for like if you're from the UK, people like. I, it's, those aren't beaches. Rocks, those rocks are not beaches. If you think, like, proper yellow soft sand, that's what I've heard, like, people describe it as, like, a, a lot softer. It's a bit like how in Australia we have shitty snow, but if you go to, like, Japan, it has some of the best snow. Squeaky sand. Oh, yeah, look it up on YouTube. And sand squeaks. Yeah, I do other... I haven't been out of Australia, so I didn't know other sand. I guess... Yeah, our sand is, like, literally, like... It's real nice. Uh... <laughs> It isn't, like, I don't know. You, a shit beach to me is if there's a bunch of, like, I don't know. There's a bunch of, like, seaweed and plants and stuff. And it's, like, bit stuff. But the sand is still, like, fine. It's just overall. It's, like, eh, not as maybe uh, good in some aspects. Ah. Uh, so here, looking upon this referendum. The difference here, if I went back up here, we went to body, uh, old zip body, ooh, wah, 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 wah. you can sort of see that there's probably some, we can probably go back to here, I can say, uh, I'm just gonna put old deck because I don't want to delete it unless I have to. But hey, it's better than nothing. Uh, new side ref test. Because if I did this, that's okay. But like, we got that, yeah. Get rid of the old one temporarily. Oh, let's see. We can sort of see that we probably need to move the leg back a bit, maybe, or us forward. I don't know. Because if we went forward, because this is like, but we're also, I'm also trying to recognize that like, I didn't exactly have the same reference. And this is assuming I'm a human and there's no other changes. I'm not a human, so I don't know. We have 80% of the world's quartz sand beaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's bright white and squeaks when stepped on. Yeah, magma knows these rocks. So if you ever need a rock fact, that's magma. Magma is the rock. Or the rock rambler. So here, uh, G on the X. I'm considering this more for like the... Because maybe this needs to go out a bit more. Uh, I don't know. It's like... G. I'm at least just trying to consider this for like legs down probably. Uh, new reference, because I don't care about some of the other bits, but, uh, G, Z, there we go, this is, what is that, 2.7, uh, 2.51, is that it? No, it's not that one, G, Z, that's that, and then we go, which way we go? Uh, G on the X. Um, I don't fucking know. Eh? GX could go a bit more this way. 
it's MGX, because at least that's still like the middle. Maybe we do that. GX. We just gotta make sure they're still like slightly lines up. Is my thought. New side ref. I would say what? Uh, news, uh from from I would say uh, upper knee and below. Mainly because I don't fucking know. So interesting. It does quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can just find like references and shit. I don't know. Australia's weird, man. Yeah, here we can sort of see. I'm not worrying about that top half of the reference. Uh, because I just can't be bothered. GX. So that's where that would be, we're thinking, like, GX. Maybe more like that. Uh, GX. At the very least, it has some similarity. Um, so, now let's get back into doing shit. At the very least, the feet. Uh, let's see. But for now, what I'm thinking is, I'm going to go back to the maybe the torso slash body. Uh, turn off the sub division. And maybe... Uh, this one, SX, do that one, do GG, S, uh, S, uh, S, Alt Z, now here I'm thinking G on the X, along here, G on the X, I don't know, yeah, it'd be sick to um visit people in america but i don't know i haven't found how to feel comfortable about it yet you know what i mean it's x but maybe that's just me maybe it's like that's how much of it is like accurate is also the fact because you also got to consider like how much is a social slash visual perspective in another country you don't want to, like, assume one thing of a country without, like, being there. But who knows? Uh, S. Let's do that one. Let's do that. I'm thinking, like, if that's around there. Uh, loop tools. Circle's probably better. Now, the amount of times I've redone calves is... And on this model alone right now is kind of insane. I'm not going to lie. But hey, maybe that's just how it fucking is. <laughs> maybe that's a part of the experience. Maybe you just got to redo carves sometimes. Uh, so cool. And then here we can go. Um, but yeah, take care, Azan. Sorry, I, I zoned out. <laughs> I didn't see that. You have a good night, all right? Magma back enemies? Wow. We already have some interesting terrain in Queensland. That's true. The Glass Mountains. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. It's like, it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to say exactly what's different when you're only used to what's your normal. Like, for example, like... Um, probably, like, how you guys, like, I don't know, like, some of the drills and stuff you guys would have, like, for us, we've never had, like, a, a drill for, like, if there's a shooter, because we don't, we don't need to. Plus, we, we have, like, a lot of fire drills and stuff, and maybe, like, if someone breaks out for, like, generalize, like, what to do, if someone would attack, but it's, like, no one here is, like, uh, prevalent in... As a need, I guess. Um, we definitely have an unfortunate... Like, I'd say New South Wales is probably the most, like... Cl like, overtly sort of... Like, there's, like... 
I would say if you want more, like, indicator of, like, the bad stuff Australia, there's, like, um, Boy Boy and Friendly Geordie is pretty good for it. At the very least, like, uh, at the very least, like, uh, for the sake of um, uncovering some of the gross, corrupt stuff as a general rule, um, I don't know. That's weird. There's, like, a lot of cultural stuff that's, like, I am curious as to what is um, more different than I expect, and I won't really know until I uh, visit y'all in that sense. I don't know. Sorry, it's not the best answer, but it's, it's what you're getting. <laughs> uh, let's come back a bit. Come back a bit. I'm just going to have to redo these because uh, life is a wrap. Uh, you go back that way. Okay, I suppose there's also Christmas Island. I forgot about that. Rhode Island, if you want the quokkas, which is an animal that doesn't have a natural predator. Um, That's pretty cute. That's that's pretty good. I think that's, that's, a, that's a win, I would say. But unfortunately, tourists like you know forget that they're a wild, a wild animal, and then they end up biting them, and you're like, bro, they're still a wild animal. <laughs> Just because they haven't had a, any wild predator and they're nice doesn't mean they won't like if you're annoying them and being an arsehole. I don't know, but that's just general tourist stuff, which I suspect is like everywhere. Tourists being tourists. We we have weird things we put on our burger, I suspect, is a good one. Uh, you might... One thing that might be a shock, if you like bacon, is that our bacon's different. We we still have American bacon, bacon but we call that, like, uh, streaky bacon in that sense. Uh, the default bacon in Australia is a different part of pork, and so it becomes... Um, we don't have... Uh, we don't have like here let's do this crispy crunchy bacon as often uh, unless specified generally um, and then also we put beetroot on our burgers sometimes um, that's like a stereotype I guess um, ah. most uh, most southern states have guns but it doesn't affect me because I honestly aren't around that stuff yeah 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 no that's fair it's like that's one of the things where I'm like I it's like how rampant it is everywhere is like where it's like more interesting because that's not something we would because when you're not in a country you only really hear the extremes because the loud minority is always louder than the quiet majority it's a general rule for things Um, let's do that one. Now, this stuff here. Let's do that. Oh, S. Uh, S, X. Let's do that one. G. G. Go out a bit, I think. Uh, I'll probably have to redefine and figure these out as we go, because... I don't know. LZ, Alt, uh, Alt Z, Control Z. These bad boys. Let's bring them back in a bit. Back in a bit. Back in. Back in. Let's just grab these ones from right here. And they can go here. You two can go GZ. And this bad boy here. Uh, S, maybe. Because then it's like, if that's there, you know. Uh, G, G. 
Because I think these ones, GG, maybe go out here. I don't know. Where I live, the culture is more diverse. So we have more authentic restaurants. Awesome. Hell yeah. Like one thing I think we're definitely missing in Australia is we don't have, a, we won't have good, like anywhere near as good, like Mexican cuisine or like, because it's not like authentic to the area. Like we have an overall like good food standard and good like seafood and stuff. Now, overall standard for food's a bit higher, I think, but, like, it obviously won't be a individual culture's, like, where it's natively made for a lot of things. The, I think I saw someone who was, like, rating uh, some of the restaurants in Australia, comparing them for Americans, and one of them was, like, uh, we barely have any taco bowls because they just aren't popular or good here, I guess. But uh, so ours was was not as good as um the American one, which makes sense. But our Guzman Y Gomez, I think, was they were saying is better than an average Taco Bell because it's still like fast food in that sense. I don't know. These are things I'm like very assumative until I would actually like be there to know. So it's hard to actually say. Or I guess just... I'm one of those people who just... Family didn't have the money to travel, so I don't really know to the same extent as maybe some other people might. Z... Let's make that 0. Point. All right, makes sense. And uh, I can't live without Starbucks. To be fair, I think once you get here, if you get here, you will be able to in the sense where Starbucks pretty much was like, I don't think it did well. It wasn't doing well in Australia due to the simple fact that it, like, Australians just went, huh. So it's like, because American coffee is awful. That's all I hear. Uh, <laughs> it's like, overall, um, like that's why like we shit on Starbucks is because it's like, same reason as like why Taco Bell failed in Australia. It's like, um, fast food for us is more closer to like cafe than it being, um, I don't know, it's, it's weird. I can't say for certain. In the sense where, because I haven't been to America. But you could pretty much go almost anywhere and get a coffee. Because um, it's so ingrained into Australian culture these days. So you don't have to worry about not being able to get a decent coffee. Um, it would be more, like, <laughs> bewildering to be... Str I think struggled a little bit when I went to like like when you go super rural but you can still find it because it's like even McDonald's has proper espresso caf like coffee uh here and that's in that uh if that makes sense I didn't adapt to our coffee culture yeah yeah what is your big coffee chain there then we don't have a big coffee the closest thing is McCafe in the sense where because we value like we value coffee culture enough that it's more we have like almost every place has coffee and so it's less of a here's a chain for one thing but it's a okay wherever you go you almost definitely can get it uh it's like a staple in a restaurant and cafe rather than it being you just have to go to a specific spot for it uh otherwise like generally the best spot is just to go to local cafes like generally uh, otherwise, Magma's right in the sense where technically it is like McCafe in the sense where if you really need it to be a fast food chain that does coffee pretty, like, decently, that'd be Australian um, McCafe. Because we have, like, it's a proper actual, like, cafe. You could search up Australian McCafe and you'll, you'll see what I mean. Whereas, like, it's um, more prominent. Um, I don't know. 
But otherwise, technically there is Starbucks. I mean, some people probably go to it if they want more of a sugary drink with coffee in it rather than it being an actual coffee. So you can still go to a Starbucks. Um, most places. It's just like, if you want a coffee, that's not the first thought for most people. But if they want like a sugary drink that's, you know, still like a coffee, then Starbucks is still a thing. It's like not super popular, but it still like is a thing. It's not like I'm going to deny it, it exists. <laughs> like something like Starbucks, you would have to be in like a city for because it's not as ingrained. Whereas like even if you went to any country town, a country town would have proper coffee because it's just a part of uh, culture. And that's like one of the ways to like, I think a good way to define whether something is like how ingrained into a culture something is because like in this instance it is just there everywhere rather than it being like nowhere in that sense uh i'm just gonna add another one of these they're annoying as fuck uh let's just make sure if that circle space and then rotate z zero Rotate Z and S Y. I don't know, it's probably not the best answer, but that's the best I could think of, sorry. <laughs> I need the cream and sugar, that's fair. I mean no, like we I don't drink coffee straight black. Um it's more the fact that the overall quality of coffee is going to be a lot better. And because of that, it's not like Australian coffee is not very bitter. Like I hear about like people complain about the bitterness of coffee uh, in America. And it's like, I mean, it's not that, not that bitter. Um, and so it's sort of like, you can still get all that shit. Um, like I still love, like, um, I probably, I'd probably say like, uh, flat whites and lattes are what's common in Australia, generally. But it's more just like, um, you know, like, if you want it to be like a full on, like, like you can sort of, you know what I mean? It's like the overall, like the beans and the way it's like prepared, it's like a lot more, because when co the better coffee's prepared, the less bitter it's going to be, because you're not like grinding and killing it in a sense. From memory, yeah. Ah, I'm still just yapping though. To be fair, so how much of this is accurate? Oh, well, that's that's in my experience. Hmm. <laughs> But, like, uh, I don't know how often it is you have, like, a bittery burnt taste coffee because, like, we generally don't hear. Like, it's more... That would be more like, whoa, holy... What the fuck? I don't know. But... It's... It's... I don't know. It's hard to compare without being there. Different mindset, yeah. Okay, switch if you switch gaming servers, we play differently. Oh yeah, true. Well, that's why we talk about like playing on NA and stuff. Like, consider Australians' internet is horrid, generally speaking. Like, it, <laughs> you're not gonna get great Australian internet speed. That's probably one of the areas that you're gonna be, if you're used to like really good American like internet, then it's like you're not gonna get that. <laughs> <laughs> that's you're not gonna get that one that's for sure we're just more salty we can be I'd say like flat white or latte is generally your best bet if you want like you know general coffee with milk uh, I 
when I had like instant coffee, I used to have like sugar with it. But when you have like actual coffee, you don't end up needing it as much, I think. But it's still a thing. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to figure out if this is good enough for now. I might go to this spot like that. Grab this bad boy. Come here. Grab that one. Go out. A little bit of this one. That should be fine. Because it's like, what, we got that. That's coming in here. Now, if that's coming in like that, and then this bad boy is like this, from like Alt-Z, I don't know, like there or something. I think maybe, let's go whoop, with that one. Maybe it's this one. I hate, oh, I hate, oh, I hate this. Do, 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 do. Uh, that one probably is fine. And probably say that that's like that. Maybe. A little bit of this one. Now. Um, 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 um. I gotta look at back at how they did um, their legs and knees and stuff later. But now this is okay though. Do that. Play them. Definitely going to try a coffee when I come here. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. You won't get laughed at if you ask for a large coffee instead of a grande. Shit. Do you know, I hate that Starbucks shit. It's like, can I have a five foot mic a la balubububu? And I'm like, fucking what? Yeah. <laughs> Like, maybe they still do that at Starbucks, but I've literally never ordered from one in my life. Um, so I wouldn't know if they still do that at Starbucks there. Maybe they do. But I wouldn't know. Actually, it's wild to me. It's like, bro, why y'all need to say it's all like this and that and like all you've done is just put a bunch of different like sugars in a drink. If I do that, maybe that's a bit better around there. A uh, little bit of that one. Get these bad boys from in here. Bing, bang, bing, bang, bong, bing. Uh, these two. Move them forward a tad. Move you back a tad. Now, how do these look compared to what they looked like before? Probably a tiny bit better. But I can't really tell, to be frank. I'm not often frank. Now let's do that. If I can move these bad boys from here back, if I can move this back there a little bit, you, I can move you back a tad. Lovely. Now I grab these two, move them back a bit. Yep, yep. If I curved you around like a little curveball, moved you back, and you're good. At venti, oh venti these. Oh. My jaw is being an asshole, but that's a common occurrence. Uh, let's just do that. Uh, that would 
it wouldn't. I like how I said I'm starting fit. I'm like more just adjusting the legs. But that that's probably fair. And probably quite expected. And this is where this McKnee um, is probably needs adjusting a tad. But maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Do, 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 do. I did that. Yep. I gotta consider the knee. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is where the bottom of it is, I think. Um, roughly. Uh, oh, S, a little bit less. Hopefully that's okay. These knees are probably a tiny bit better like that. I'll Z. A little bit of that. Um. Hmm. Who knows? That's what I'm thinking. Who knows? Dead the American. Now, honestly, that's probably okay enough. I don't know. Maybe a little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of this, maybe. I don't know. I think we need to move this bad boy back a tad. Yep. And more about the rest of that later. Um, this bad boy in here. Move it back a bit. That one. S Z. I come back here. Grab these bad boys, come back up here, and I don't know what it is. gone. That's good. Okay, do. Oh, there you go. You heard her. She exists. Um. Now, if I rotated these bad boys to, like, here, yeah, then maybe I need to, like, uh, go back to the face bit here. That one. And then probably... Ah, could do that. And then... SZ... A little bit of that one, maybe. Hard to say. Alt Z. Alt S. Wait, Alt Z and Alt S. So I can. S Z. A little bit. Uh, An amount. Uh, maybe it's the angle. Come back here. Grab that one. And grab that line and this one. Bring it in a tad. SZ. Shorten up. Uh, you there. Over there now. I think. A little bit of that one. A little bit more up like that, I think. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, what is care package reading? But that's like hydrate and just generalized stuff because uh, sometimes that sort of stuff used to break a bit on Twitch. So I sort of like got tired of it sometimes not working. And so it just like considers I stretch, hydrate, all that sort of shit. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. Um, oh, see. Um, now if I will 
little 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 dude over here, yeah? That's okay. Uh, S, Z, uh, zero. Come up. Like that should be around there. Then we can probably say you go out a bit more this way. This one, that one, this one, that one, that one. Come back to here. We can come back to you and probably you and you. How about that one? R on the Z, maybe. Well, S. I think more like that. I mean, I can do that. A little bit more like this. Grab these bad boys, bring them out a tad. Oh, yeah. We should come out and hang if I have a visit. Hell yeah. Deaths would be great. I don't believe, you don't believe the lizard does? The lizard who what? Sorry, give me a second. I am, because I'm getting a bit tired. I, I miss a few things. Um, uh, I think, well, that's been a long time. Um, generally not. I think whenever, I don't know, a few times. Um, you know, and yeah, true. We're definitely nowhere near each other. Uh, we are a f flight distance, generally. <laughs> So, it's probably one or the other in that sense. Boom. I did that and that, then went out. Maybe that's okay. Now I'm thinking like this is okay, but I don't really know. Because <laughs> I haven't checked the generalized topography in a while, because we're looking at subdivided, we're looking at the smooth. And so I don't know what it's going to look like otherwise. Okay, in theory... If there was like a bunch of you coming, one of us could probably like, we could all find like a medium, like middle ground for like a flight or something, but um, definitely not near enough. That would be like easy without it being like a multiple day visit sort of thing. But I mean, to be fair, Magma, you can always just stay in the studio room to be fair, which is where I'm, I am right now. It's always free to anyone who needs it is generally how we do it. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, let's, oh, let's do that one. Let's do that one. Chuck you back out here. Uh, oh, S. Back a bit more. So I think, if we look at it now, these knees are a little wonglier. Uh, shift E. But, Maybe they're a bit better. It's hard to say. Uh, the more like the knees feel not as. They look more generalized because we've been working on those, like that carve area. So we'll probably have to fix that. Uh, which is just how it is, I guess. And we'll look at a front reference later to fix that back up. But I'm thinking like. Uh, this bad boy can go, G, um, where are we, bing bong bong, G, sort of like in, I guess, yeah, because it's this one, that should be more in like that, I think, isn't it, yeah, it's like the outer part of your knee there, 
Boop. GZ. GX. So I'll look at the front reference that we made in a second. Uh, is part of the current community... Oh, Steph. Yeah, yeah. it will be good to see Steph again, yeah. Um... So yeah, they were, it's been a while. Hope they're going alright. So whenever you see like Lucy or myself, the same sort of group. Sorry, just cracking my jaw, relieving it of its pressure. Where were we? So what we need is besides from you know just being aware of what's happening up here i can come back up here oh this no oh s i think yeah if we grab these two and they're up here and then they went out and then alt s or at least uh sx That might be a bit better. There we go. Uh, let's save this file as leg adjust for uh, for feet pre front ref change. There we go. That should be good. Do you use Blender a lot? I'm new to it, but yes and no. So Little Legend, um, I guess the best way to describe it is like, I started learning Blender uh, mid-January. Uh, so this is my first project. But obviously I I've used Blender for now, what is over 80 hours. So it's like, yes, but it's still my first project. But uh, that's why a lot of my movements will be less like here's a big hotkey that makes sense It's more I might just move heaps of individual points when I'm unsure um, What I'm doing and all that sort of stuff But so the if the pin comments still up that's the name of the channel whose tutorials we're going through so we're about to start tutorial three or four uh, But I needed to adjust the legs to change the reference in the hopes that it was uh, scaled a bit better if that makes sense Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I appreciate that. Yeah, the ah, I hate how sometimes stream elements and Twitch don't like show it in chat, and it does sometimes. I'm like, Bruh, why not? And the ah scream for no damn reason. It's weird. Can't say no why, but I mean it doesn't. So here, this is the new side ref. When we're looking at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's roughly where the bottom of that is. But we gotta consider. Oh, get a, more music, please. Let's just go back to the beginning. What I'm thinking generally, uh, GZ. Because I need to go back to here, yeah? G. GZ, what the, not alt Z. Row reference, G. Why isn't this working? Uh, it's probably accidentally. I know, how about I edit probably? That'd be why. Uh, Z, go to solid. We come back to here, and then we go back to here. This might be better. GZ. So I need to lower this actually a little bit further down. I didn't look at it before. Which means I have to change everything again. Ah, that's alright. It's not too bad. That should change that. And it's not like we're using the top reference in the same way. Um, because obviously it's mis the way it scales a little differently. I don't really care. My HP real. But I mean, it's enough for me to want to just toy with it a tiny bit. Yeah, yeah. Like right here, we can sort of see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I think it's probably right here. It's so right if those two are over, because that's like, you know, additional. Uh, 
There's that. I'm just going to make sure most of it. I think that's fair and reasonable there. Um, now, did that change the scaling again? I don't think it did, but... Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, what I could do is go... Where that one? And then we come back here and back down again. Sorry, chat. We're changing some of the side references because it wasn't, I didn't have a clear like foot one that I want linked up to the front ref because I don't have a proper reference in general, but you know. I'm thinking there and G, Z. I think that's probably fine. And then we can probably move this bad boy. Uh, Alt Z, like, probably back across. A G X maybe. So just sort of make sure it's like close as we can to where we were. Even if it's like a different reference in some areas, like that's fine. Because the original reference before I had to make a new PC, I'd customized a lot of the bits, but some bits I found later were a little off. How'd you turn how did you do that neat topology? Guess what? Probably not well. Um I'm very new to it so not well is probably what i would say uh it was better earlier but now that we're readjusting the leg for um we're readjusting the legs for the feet we've lost a lot of that detail but not well to be fair but we'll get there we'll get there and also pardon me if i don't notice things a little bit as quickly as it was earlier i am getting near the time where i'm a little a little knackered. Um, mum, 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 mum. I hope you will. Now, if we're thinking about all of this as all, which we probably are, we've probably got that as well. We can probably just a G on the X, adjust that. GX back across this way. Um, so it's that fine line between when are we changing the reference and when's that actually changing too much? Which in theory we shouldn't have to, but alas, um, it is just a part of it until we're a bit better at it and until we actually have like proper references and stuff. That should be enough there. We can do that. Um, now I'm going to go back to face instead of dots. That way we can choose these two here. Grab them forward. Actually turn on dynamic topography again. Because then when we bring them forward, hopefully they're a little bit more assisting to some of the other stuff we're moving like that. Yeah, it's a bit better. Now we have to redo the knees. Oh, whoa, the darkest timeline it is. Uh, eh, eh, eh. But if you ever want to follow along with what I'm doing, um, we're doing the vowel clarity uh, tutorial. I can re put it in chat if we all want as well. <laughs> Let me just do -do -do -do. move the chat. It's been a little weird. Is it? It's probably that one that is it we're about to start the foot tutorial i think um but we wanted to just readjust some things that were bugging me beforehand but that's just for reference this part here should be fine you can do that one uh these ones you can probably do that move you back in a bit can do that one. Upon coming through here, we can also see these. We gotta remember where they should be. Uh, a little bit bigger, a bit further down, a bit further back. Um, we can re-grab these four, eight from there. And this is before we even look at the what is it? Um the D's like the uh, not subdivided shit. 
So that's going to be a pain in the ass. But it's going to be a vibe, to be fair, because I've been enjoying learning Blender quite a bit. Uh, that's okay there, maybe. Um, this one and that one. Is it? Yeah, these two. Alt Z. Maybe a little bit further back. Uh, probably need to change these in reality. Uh, S along the Y, I think. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Let's just do this for a second. And grab these two. Come back along. Bit of a nice little tasty rotation. And bow. It's like, okay, it's not as good as it was before, but now that we've learned how to do it, it shouldn't be too bad to, like, get it back to where we want it. In theory. Um, like, this all should be fine in here. That'll be fine from there. We're not going up higher for the topography, because this is more just for the legs for this reference. I think. Did you also do the head? I mean, I've done all of this. Um, you can probably check through all the VODs so you can see all the progress, but I wanted to learn how to make my own 3D model uh, as my first project instead of going straight up, like, doing the normal route of maybe, like, donuts and trying to learn the, the tedious things first. Which has made it quite challenging. Um, actually, earlier, if anything, earlier in the stream, I was running through all the previous saves, so... You can probably check through that and see um, later. But it is one of these things where it's like, I've done, I'll show you where we're at. The knees are pretty bad right now. But let's turn off the notes. We've been doing this since like January 20-ish. Technically more towards near the end of it because that was just toying with Blender for January and then February we started uh, doing the model. But... So we started with the head, and then it was more towards, like, March-ish. We started doing more of this. Today, we did this sort of, like, stomach region. And we adjusted some of the shoulder area, but it still needs a bit more work. The arms are unfinished, and I'm still trying to decide and figure out exactly what we need to do. Now, the upper legs were fine. We've muffed up <laughs> the knees uh, in order to try and fix the lower leg in order to prepare for the feet. Um, and then they've got a whole... The next tutorial set is on feet. For some reason, I had more problems doing donuts in a face. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, I think I couldn't... I didn't want to do that because I figured it would... I would be... I wouldn't have the motivation to keep going if I just did, like, the donut thing because I would. it would just be learning rather than doing something that I want to use and really, like, take advantage of. So it's harder, but it's also been a lot more... But it's been a better method, I think, overall for me to have learnt this in this style. Uh, I don't know. Like, for some people, it may be better to learn the basic methodical stuff first. But that's definitely not the case for me, I found. Um, I think, yeah, for quite a while, the face was... Look like, I think a lot of the learning and the reason the face and head took so long is... I was also, like, trying to get used to even just the controls and any of the concepts, and it just looked like some uncanny SCP shit for quite a while. But, I mean, I've got quite a few art friends who are at least helpful and able to point out where things were a little wonky, and looking up references of, like, the planes and just humans in general is helpful. Um, and then sometimes uh, I take a few days or a week off where it's, like, so that I can come back and see what areas I may have missed when I was tired. Um, so like for this week, tomorrow I'm not, uh, I don't know what time it is for people, but, uh, <laughs> so the next 7 p.m. CST or, uh, is Pokemon Fusion, like my Nuzlocke again, uh, and then I'll do Blender again. So it's like giving me a day break to like really like, uh, try and make sure when I come and look at this again, it'll feel fresh so I can really have a proper look at what's wrong. Because I find I miss things when it's a little bit later. Um, 
Which makes sense. You get tired. I do longer streams, to be fair. But I mean, I've been enjoying it. I'm uh, like this. I wanted to do this series streamed and like from the start because I wanted people to feel like they could learn it as well. Like it's, um, so it's like you can see someone else that's also confused and struggling at fuck it, everything that's going on. So you don't feel like it's just like everyone knows it and then it's like difficult. Um, Ah, and so far people have been enjoying it, I think. But who knows at the end of the day? I can only assume, and I'm enjoying it, and that's the main thing. Like, hopefully eventually I can just make heaps of dumb shit. Um, and whatever comes of it, comes of it at the end of the day. And I think I'm most going to be dreading, like, when we start doing uh, the armature and topography to make it all move and stuff. But I, the amount of accomplishment like I'll feel from this actually working is going to be insane because most of my art projects, when I do digital art, I'm used to doing more like scribble and curse sketches. And so it's like immediately fun, but I don't have that same, I guess, um, longevity for the project. I find it boring and was learning better when I was watching other people do a 3D anime mode like you. Yeah, yeah. I think finding ways to make the tedious parts feel like it's part of the fun parts, I think, is really important. Um, so that's why, like, for example, when I was doing the head, a lot of the time was actually just learning to be able to not be overwhelmed and enjoy it a bit more. And I think I can... I'm not nowhere near... I don't get nowhere near as, like, overwhelmed by it as I may have used to. I wouldn't get, like, full and frustrated. I'd get, like, <laughs> headache level of, like, oh, I'm dying. Ugh. But, like, it wouldn't be in the world sort of shit, I think. Um, I'm going to figure out what we're doing here. But for now. Because uh, I don't have a, like, proper side reference originally, so I had to use a front ref that I've wanted to change. So it's really been testing my ability to compromise and uh, make my own calls on stuff, which earlier on broke my brain, but these points it's actually pretty decent. Um, I need to decide whether I'm changing that or not. Maybe the angle, it's okay. So the top reference is going to be a bit wonky. Um, that's okay. We'll, we'll have a look at that. I think that's one of the things we'll have to look at when we're less tired. But I do like how those stomachs count turned out, and that the shoulders aren't looking as bad. The arms still look like fucking <laughs> noodles, though. Absolute little pieces of ramen, little spaghettis. Um, that's right. I think that's reasonable. We now need to just find a reasonable front reference that we made to accompany it. Uh, save as... And also, I've been really happy that sometimes... For the most part, I've been doing, like, uh, separate saves whenever I save it. So that way um, I can look back on it, I guess. Uh, but sometimes I just fucking forgot to. But when I remembered, I think it's been good. And also I found, like, some people... I, I haven't done enough of it yet, but it seems like there will be different methods for starting it out that will be easier for some people than other others, I guess. Um, I don't know. Now here where this one is, to make sure it's at the right angle, I'm trying to make sure now, now the scaling of this will be the same as the scaling of this. Uh, new front ref, uh, knee down. Um, bop, 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 bop. Now I go blam there. Uh, G... Control Z, uh, uh, G, Z, Control. So we just sort of slam that bad boy down. Uh, now you are at Z, that. Uh, so I'm going to grab that and copy it for here. Yeah. Uh, then the X might not be as important, might be better for the Y. So here. 
because it's also like the scaling of it. So it's like, let me check the properties, maybe. How do I know what scaling it's at? Because that's 4.9 meters. This, if I said that's 4.9 meters, I don't know whether the scaling of that's uh, accurate or not. So I'm going to have to hope. Uh, do you know Shonzo? Uh, no. Are they YouTuber, VTuber, streamer? Do they do more like um, 3D, a 3D sort of blender and sculpting or something? here so this means they probably need to be opened but it's different now, I'm not gonna completely worry about this too much because everything's whack not having a proper reference just makes things go Whoa. but I can hopefully at least that's a GX uh, GX no GX Let's go there, yeah, and then chuck it on zero, probably. That's not GX zero, I think that's a lot of bollocks. Uh, shift, uh, GX, uh, control, shift. Boop, there we go. Uh, is that it? Well, I'll say zero. That seems like it's probably all right. There we go. Uh, he also does a lot of anime waifu modeling and it's pretty good at it. Oh, awesome. Uh, do they do video tutorials on it? Or is it more just generally like um, stream-based content? Because if they do tutorials, I'll definitely give them a, give them a sus, give them a lookout for when, um, when we finish through this tutorial series or if this one gets stomps me. Yeah. GY, if we're here, yeah, this is where we need to think, like if that's, maybe like that, I just care about the view of that probably, so yeah, it's the sides, those the thickness of that, yeah, so this model's obviously gotten a quite a bit more hip uh, than maybe something that's more masculine, but that's okay, We there's a lot that we've because we're not using this as a main reference. So in theory, uh, this front ref needs to have the normal front ref in front of it. Yeah. I just need to hope the sizing of it's correct. Because um, it's hard to say. I think it seems similar enough. Um, it might not be, though. That's where I'm, like, trying to figure it out. What I know is, scaling-wise, does that seem... Seems like it's probably a bit small. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe it's okay. It's hard to say. And... It's around here, that bottom, I guess. The arms are a bit... Different. Alright. Can't say no entirely. Ah, uh, jeez. Oi, 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 oi. So you think if that's like that. Jeezy. And think that, yeah, because I did think those shoulders, it's hard to say. We can look there. Because it probably is along here. Because um, we got to consider that it's probably around, where was it, here? That's roughly, it's one of these two, I always forget. So let's get these notes back on, probably. Yeah, there we go. So that's where the groin range and then the secondary part of the groin range is. Yeah, yeah. G, 
Z, because that should be like, uh, maybe like, it's like within this range here. I'm not worried too much about that stuff. What I'm worried about is using this for syncing these up. And it's hard to say when you're just making references. At the very least, I know that it's probably meant to be like around here. But I don't know if they're big enough. Uh, I think it's hard to say. I think it's hard to say. I should have checked the scaling of um, this bad boy originally, I think. Because he is... Um, he's what? Let me check. Because maybe if we go into some of these other things, we might know. But I don't know well enough, and that's all right. Because it's just what it is. But, I don't know, scaling, it's like, not something I n know whether or not it's, like, uh, been affected. Mm. I also remember asking him if he watched and brought any tutorial or whatever, and he got mad at me and told me, get the fuck off the stream. <laughs> uh, what? And start spending some time in Blender if I want to do what he does, which motivated the fuck I made it. Ah, oh, fair enough, I guess. I think it's already proportioned already. It might be. Um... I hope so. I don't want to have issues with it again. Let's just mark off roughly. Uh, if that ends around there, I think it's probably G. It looks like it's probably more linked around there. Because, like, back and top, if the top's around there, uh, then it is maybe, like, here from the looks of it. Which I think GZ is, yeah, I think that's okay. It hasn't like gotten rid of its proportions, which is what I was worried about. The rest is a little wonky, but I don't really care. It's more like knees down where I'm really trying to make sure because I don't have a proper foot. And then by the end of it, as long as I have something that looks okay, <laughs> it's a fierce project. Who knows? We just chilling. We being chilling. That's all that we are doing right now. Being chilling. So at the very least, that's gonna give us a start spot. Um, and should be good enough that if we were to lower that one, lower them. Lower them. Hopefully, Alt Z. We come back here. Um, we can adjust the positions of this, and hopefully, that'll be okay. So, um, body draft. We can worry about that a bit. Um, should we do it now or not? Probably need to. As much as I don't want to, it probably makes sense. To get it over and done with. But who knows? Uh, we've got it doing its own thing. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to say. Uh, alas, that is how it is. Uh, and then we go RZ, so rotate on the Z axis. Uh, come along here. Because these knees. For the bees needs to be. That should be all right. Now I'm thinking, as much as that's that, we've done how we want that side view. Uh, which means we don't want to toy with the x axis whenever we're doing with any of this, roughly speaking, unless we have to. But I don't know. It is what it is. Right, let's get rid of the old front one. So now, here, 
Because we... Because here it's like... I don't know. Whether or not... Are we keeping this kabumpy dumpy extra dumpy, you know what I mean? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, that's something we'll have to, I guess, figure out. Alt S. Because it is the proportional sort of like exaggeration. is okay. Ah! I just don't know. Ah, my croissant! I appreciate it. Hope you're going well. Um, sorry, the pop down doesn't exactly say much at the second. Why? Because switch speed is stinky today. Let me, let me pop that up. Because I want to actually properly thank you. Oh, there she. Uh, hi, oh, Bimble. Yeah, thanks for following, Bimble. Bimble, or oh, Bimble. I don't know. Whatever. We vibing. I think these ones. Bring them in a bit. I think we got. Now leave the stuff above for now. Um, because we have already done some work on it. I can adjust it later. I'm just tired. So, at the very least, we're going to grab all of this. Yep. All of this. Maybe. And go GY. Uh, RZ. Now, one thing is we need to consider probably this bit up here. My thinky thinks I was thinking. Because this is the top air of that knee plus the loop. When we come back here, it's sort of like here. Uh, which means we probably need to go rotate it on the Z axis. Rotate it on the X axis, maybe. Rotate it on the Y. Uh, I don't know about the Y. But we just bring it here for now. Gonna come back here. If we can. Uh, can I hop back here and bump that opacity again? I've changed me mind. I have, I have, I've changed me mind. Here is it, opacity. Beep. Good, back to the legs. And back. Alt Z, lovely. Now, yeah, adds hard, darkest timeline. No, no, no. What I'm considering, these knees are a little bit higher in the reference, and maybe they should be. That's okay. Um, as long as we probably get the rough idea. I can probably say ah, uh, because I think ah, uh, these are probably like meant to be slightly in a little bit, because they're just how knees are. But I don't know. Now, if we did that, we can probably still come back across to here. Yeah. Now, here, that is the right spot. We can bring this bad boy back here. Bring him in. Uh, bring him in. You will worry about the X later, to be fair. Um. Because here, do, 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 bring that bad boy down, bring it down. Here, I'm going to go GY out this way. Now, this bad boy, we're actually going to reverse that, methinks. Because I want to grab this ring here. And I want to move it out that way. And then probably grab these two, push them in a bit. Grab these two and do the same. But rotate it. Because uh, we've got to consider where the muscle is. I may be tired, but I can at least try to think. <laughs> it's not going to be the best, but it's going to be something. Now these bad boys, just bring them over like that. There we go, S, Y, a little bit more. Lovely. Good enough for now. Uh, R, Z, why not? You know what I mean? Now, we could turn the subdivision off. 
That probably makes sense. Uh, but, I mean, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm be bothered. It's just how it is, eh? We're reaching that point of the brain. Uh, there we go. Uh, S, Y. It's probably where it is. Now, you and you, let's move you out. You can stay there. Come out that way. Maybe. Now, these... Oh, S... No, uh, S, Y, I think. Because we did the other bits, yeah? yeah? You back in briefly, so that when I move you out, it makes more sense. Hopefully, a sure to see. Now, 8 back on air. Uh, back there. Now, you guys are Z. Raw T in across. Um, we go S on the Y a tiny bit. Uh, drag it across. Across? Yeah, that's one. <laughs> it is what it is, eh? It is what it is. S, Y. Shrink it. Drag it. Alt Z. What the fuck's happening here? Oh, that'd be why. Oh, it's supposed to be weird. That's alright. Um, we can, in theory, grab that one. Move it in a bit. Come back across. That should be, like, okay, you know what I mean? Uh, grab you. Out here. Zoom, turn these notes a uh, little bit lower on the old eyes. Lovely. Here, we can sort of... Uh, S, Y, a little bit less. You know what I mean? No, actually, I disagree with that, stupid. Um, I think you're fine, fine here. Uh, Z is probably more what we're looking for. And then we can just bring you in and you leave for now. Now, I think it's a start. Now, the upper legs are going to be more fucked. Every time we try and adjust things, it always does that. But that's all right. We're getting used to fixing them a little bit better every time. Go back to here, though. There we go. Hey, okay. you, oh, you rat bug. What is that? Oh, I accidentally turned that off. I don't know what button that was, but I did it. Uh, going back there for the subdivision, where the horrors are. Yeah, there we go. That makes sense. Now, front ref. Uh, G. No, no. I don't think so. Let's go back to here. Uh, yeah. Uh, coming this way, that way. Uh, in here. Just trying to make sure everything's, you know, still a, uh, Effectively as square-like as it can be. Except for once we get up here where it's like a horror. <laughs> it's just an absolute horror. We may even just need to reset it. It is a monstrosity. Because from what I know, which is not much, but it's still some. It's enough to realize that uh, they're meant to be as square-like as possible, I think. So, if that's how that is, may not be how we want it. Knees, the darkest fucking timeline of all. Knees make me sad. They do, they do. <laughs> I don't know. Knees are definitely an arch nemesis at this point. Get rid of that for now, because we effectively are just like redoing the lower legs for like the third time in a row. 
Which is wild, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And if this means overall it'll look better, hell yeah. And if not, that's alright as well, honestly. Then we just vibe. And we see how it goes. Uh, you can go there, but maybe more like there. How about you come back in a bit? Uh, up or whatever. In here, in there. Now, I think if I did that, we can come back here, maybe. Oh. Go back around here, maybe. Here about that one. Now in here. Back of that. Back in. Back again. Now, hopefully, this will all come to something that'll make a little bit more sense. Uh, in a minute. At least to the point where we can start considering um, doing the feet like we were, I guess, originally planning. But alas, things happen. And we end up... Well, it's better than not finding the issue and then we have a bigger issue at hand. Now, if we turn this back on, different proportions again. And you got to go. Best of luck. I appreciate that. You take care. It's nice being you. Now here, I'm thinking. J for you. G on the X. And you come back here. I mean, like, ooh, lovely. That's probably all right. Now this stuff here, maybe. Uh, now this stuff here, we go R. We go in. Maybe that's a key factor. Just gotta make sure it's more of like the knees more distinct, maybe. Oh. This is the best immediate ideas I'm getting. And it's okay. Boom. <laughs> But there are certain things like, for example, here, that, I don't know, it feels a little off if it's going to be like that. So we probably need to move these forward a bit more. Try and move these, like, out a bit more. And then back. Because they're more distinct as, like, what their purpose is. Is, like, for the knee. I don't know. And then GX, maybe. Like, that's knee-like. Kind of. The top area is a, a rough case. That's because we're sort of indecisive on exactly what we're trying to uh, do proportion-wise. And so that's just inexperienced uncertainty. Rather than a fault of anything else, I suspect. Uh, here, however. Let's see. Uh, R on the Y. Uh, S on the Z again. And then we go. There we go. Uh, GG. Up a tad. Here we can sort of go out like that. 
Now you specifically, probably okay there. Come out here, a little, a little bit of this, you know what I mean? A little bit of this one, a little bit of that one. I don't see why not. I suspect this one we need to go out a tiny bit more. Um, now here it's like I think we're okay. You know what I mean? It's like not too sure. And it just comes down to inexperience. And maybe we can do some sculpting stuff on it or something, and it'll compensate. But who knows? But what I know is we can come back here as well. And hopefully... It'll give us a, an idea. That one can go there. Hopefully, if we do this now, it won't make everything move too unrealistically. Hopefully, that should be all right. Move that bad boy out of Ted. Move them forward. You can come forward a bit. You maybe go in and up so that you can come out again. Go down. You can go down and that way in <laughs> now here these ones we can go down these bad boys here these boys here can do that a little bit of a twist a little bit of a wiggle well this and that uh Move them out a bit more again. Hopefully these two can come in a bit more safely there. A little bit of that one. Hard to say, hard to say. And then it's like, ooh, lovely. No, man. No, it's just like front view for the top side. Maybe needs work. Uh, subdivision. Maybe it doesn't know what we have to figure out, but I suspect it does. Um, but who knows? Boom, boom, bang, da, 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 da. Get in there, get in there. Get in there, and get, get in there. Oh, 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 oh. Boo, boo, ah, boo, boo. Alt Z, just to make sure everything's not too fucking weird. Uh, there. And then you can come out and down and across, yeah? Uh, same across. Uh, S, that way, turn this back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's alright there. That board, bad boy going in here. That's good. Alt Z. Uh, make sure you're probably that one. Or that one, that one. Uh, what about you there? Oh, no, no. Uh, Control Z. Alt Z. We're right there. Uh, what we need to worry about is probably that's like that. It's probably all right, but who knows? Not me. Uh, it's that which makes sense, I think. It's in the mirror for this bad boy. As per usual, um, fuck, I don't know. This is what it is. Get this bad boy in here. Oh, you know that. Uh, oh, S. 
drag him out in there you can do that move you across nice all, all flourish and if i said r on the z axis maybe that makes more sense r on the y uh r on the x axis maybe r on the z axis G on the Y. A little bit of this. A uh, little bit of this and this. A little bit of that. Oh, S. Puff that bad boy out again. Because uh, i got to fix it back to where we had it. Where we were like, ew, yay, I love it. Before we fucked it up. Um... To be fair, isn't it, it happens? <laughs> it's okay. Um, I just like bitching. To be fair, so I'm like this for now. Just for now, until we figure out what we want above there. Uh, BB, circle it. Wait not? Ah, uh, that bad boy there. Why not? You know, why not? Uh, oh, S, snoop, and do this one. Let's see these ones. Bring them in a bit. That one, GG. Uh, that one there, that's all right. So we'll figure out that up area again later. Because I can't be fucked right now. Um... Oh, this. Oh, this. Let's rebuild up that definition we spent forever building. That's just part of it, I think. Um, uh, I'm hoping, though, we can get to at least a little bit of the feet before we have to end stream. But who knows? That one feels like uh, this bad boy in here. It's gonna be more like that, and then out a bit more. Which means when I'm up here with these ones, uh, don't do that. Do an, an R, and then a little bit of a whoop. A little bit of that one. I think that's okay. I'll figure it out like when I go to look at it again and go, oh my gosh, what did I do? <laughs> uh, let's see, save as. Like adjust for feet. Um, new overhaul. Because who knows, I can compare the two and I might like one, might not. But, to be fair, I should probably have another look at the side reference, like that. With the body. Especially as we adjusted some of these upper areas. Uh, build that out a bit. So this bad boy, or this, bring you out like that again. Bring this bad boy back uh, along with you, I think. Yep. And then I can probably drag you out like this. Use, use, use. How about that one? Now we come back up here. I don't mind that one. 
That should be okay. We're worry about hip sort of stuff later, because that's, that's energy. <laughs> I want to just get the feet working on. Uh, S. Tab. Uh, feet. And from there, we can then go the make feet, tab again, A, G, Y, Alt, Z. Now, whether or not, um, let's go, this one, whether or not this is how we're going to do it, I don't know. A, G, there. Um. A G Y beep, and then R Z a little bit more this one. Boom boom boom. Ba da 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 da. That's okay. Then this one we go S Y S Y. Oh no, you don't do that one. Uh, S Y, thank you. I love that one. Out there, out there, maybe. Out you. Uh, S Y, swank it down, move it across again. S Y, swank. Let this and that. That should be fine. RZ, uh, Alt Z, RZ, Alt Z, uh, that should be right there, probably. Hard to say. Uh, RZ, a little bit more that way. Now these guys, SY, jump, squidge, RZ, I suspect a little bit more this way. No, Alt Z, uh, bring it this way, S Y. That's all right there. I can bring you out a bit more and you in a bit more. It's just my rough guesstimate. S Y schwunk. S Y less schwunk. S Y schwunk. Bring it across. Uh, R Z. Uh, RZ, let's see that one. I can do that one. SY, add a bit more, honestly. It'll be like that. Alt, no, Alt Z, um, I think. Alt Z. RZ, uh, a bit more like this, I think. That's okay, honestly. And that one can even be like that. And this one can be, you know, in if needed. Uh, GG, a little bit more like that. And you can come in a tad if needed as well. And same thing here. SY, a little bit more in. That's all right. Do 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 do. A little bit more out. Do 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 do. Especially, actually, yeah, they'll have to be out quite a bit. But eh. Here. S Y. Zoom. R Z. Move it across. Move it across. Uh, move it across. S Y. Now around here, before it reaches ankle stuff, I respect, so it should be fine. Now, I don't know if they're gonna be like, I don't know, Alt S, Y. Oh, doop, 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 ah, doop, 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 S, Y. That's a tiny bit more. Now from the side view, yeah. 
we can go in 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 and chuck that in there chuck that in there and chuck that in there is what i'm thinking we'll bring him back out now that we've seen how much the top one moved back in there but you're fine you're fine now here I'm thinking like G G schlump G G G I don't know like how useful it will be to have this middle line like here but uh, maybe it'll be useful uh, G, G sort of around here That's my suspicion. Hey, the bloody boss. Yo, what's up? Hello, mate. What's you doing? Welcome in. Oh, what's been doing? Oh, I'm Sev, uh, local Australian volcanic self. Today we've been doing a lot of blender work, um, which been a massive haul since uh, I haven't done it in a while. But mm, how was stream though? How are, you, how are you going? How are you going? Now, reference, I normally do like scuffed up, at the moment, blender, roguelikes, or just chaos with friends. And obviously, post stream, if you need a rest, if you need to do anything, please look after yourself. But, let me shit you out. So, if people don't know, Mint, absolute legend. Uh, my, I've only gotten to know them recently. But, um, one of my VTuber siblings coming up, you know? So, gotta support them. Gotta support the homie. Yeah? Um, Whim. thanks for the folks, right? Throwing at it. Slay. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, um. to get y'all updated where we're at, yeah? Before, we were doing work on, a little bit on the stomach, getting some planes, so that's getting some work done. We've also slightly adjusted and fixed the, fixed the shoulder range. Then we went to um, adjust the knee, but then we realized, hey, before we have to start making the feet, yeah, I know, we're making the dogs, the grippers. Um, we really wanted to try and, or at least I really wanted to adjust the reference we had there. Uh, so we went to clip, just got one to make sure, because we didn't have a proper, like, uh, front-facing foot reference, let alone a side one. So we wanted to make sure, even if we change it, it's at least mm, the same each way. And so we did that, which then changed, well, we then spent, like, Fucking while adjusting 500 years worth of stuff because it changed the legs, which changed the hips, hunky donkey, and then we died inside. But, I mean, it's fun. I'm enjoying the old, the cheeky little adventures learning it, but it does me it in. Um, that's for sure. Alas. How'd stream go? How you going? Please look after yourself and make sure you like stretching eat and drink here. Um, let me quickly skittle skedaddle my way back to where I was to the feet angle range here. Um, and what I'm thinking is let me make sure that these are at least somewhat in line. As best as they can be. So at least have uh, something functioning. Um, I don't know. Why. I'm gonna just gonna yoink these. We're gonna go out a tiny bit. You're gonna go back that way, and so will you. Yeah. Now we're thinking same thing for you. Well, bam, boom. Well, bam, boom. Top ten things that go well, boom, and well, bam. We want there. We have a side, we have a front. We don't really have a back, because I can't be fucked. Uh, so, alas, that's okay. We'll think about it if we need it. You know what I mean? I don't want to overwork myself more than I already am. Now, uh, that, we'll see. 
Just coming along. I think so. Favorite D&D moment that you've had with one of your games? Fuck, it's been a while. I haven't. It's been so long since I've D&D'd. I miss it. Um, favorite moments. I think there was a reoccurring joke with a primordial Goliath that I was playing called Trigrash, um, where originally when we finally got to the point where we had a, um, like a house and like, like an underground sort of like, um, dwarven, um, city that we'd sort of like been given to look after, um, finally it's sort of like after all the chaos on the road and stuff, uh, they were really looking forward to a fucking good old bath and what happened instead was someone else's another party members um the Furbolg cleric that uh likes getting around i think um that came back to bite them when it turned out that who they'd slept with was um had kids um and dragons and so that became a huge like a huge uh issue because you don't exactly want to piss off a dragon now i didn't know this i was getting ready to got the bubbles going got the towel was vibing for a bath yeah and this is a goliath that like the whole thing with the primordial uh bloodline they just kept growing so they were like 11 foot tall um and what had happened was they kind of didn't hear what was happening with the rest of the party um the party made a deal to go to, um, you know, they to go to Avernus um, to help them out with an issue. You know, it's, it's all, almost like an apology and a, a compensation for what had happened, and to, you know, show that they didn't mean and uh, harm and all the sort of shit that happened. This was a little bit more immediate than the party was expecting, and a lot more immediate than the person who was about to go into a bath. Uh, because we got teleported to Avernus. Everyone was, like, gearing up and ready. I had to deal with being in hell uh, in a towel. So I just stood there in a towel, realized I'm not in my bath. I'm now in hell, um, and just fucking died inside. And from then on, it became this reoccurring thing when whenever I would go to have a bath, something would happen, and I never got to have a bath, um, even if the party intentionally made sure that was the case, uh, which was hilarious. I fucking, That's probably, like, one of my favorite moments that I just always remember. There was heaps. I've done D&D for a long time, but that's, like, that's the main one I remember off the top of my head as, like, just a vibe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't D&D in a hot minute. Um, I think I used to run them, but I just don't have the health anymore, um, all the time. And if I, it's, I, I want to one day, maybe, um, but playing them has also just been, it's just been a while. Um, I don't know. It's a good question though. That shit was chaotic as fuck though. Um, but I eventually ended up just, like, having to get and, like, trade soul coins and, like, do deals to be able to just get some sort of, like, armor. I guess that, at the very least, would mean that <laughs> I wasn't going to die. I mean, I wasn't going to overheat, luckily, due to the fact that I was in the nude. But you're seeing this 11-foot-tall um goliath just sort of run around buck naked it was the embodiment of the clap of the ass cheeks have alerted the guards that's for sure um here now 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 now, now. What i'm thinking now if, ooh, hopefully this is all right i'm thinking there, grab all these. This is a zero for the sake of ease. Now, I don't know if this is exactly how they're going to be doing, like, the leg and stuff, but I wanted to figure it out for myself. You know what I mean? Uh, that's all right. Come out there. Come out there. Come out there. Come out there. I think one of my favorite campaigns that I ran was a sort of um, mage punk, sort of, like, Victorian-esque, um, 
murder mystery one. That one was sick. I loved that one. Um, sort of just having that mystery horror, um, sort of mafia vibe mixed in with D&D was really fun. But, uh, you know, stuff happens sometimes. Um, I mean, I probably still... Uh, that's why, I actually, like, when I had my... Uh, I like d d enough that when I did my live 2D... So, like, my debut is VTubing. Because um, I didn't really have the money for, like, here's a trailer or fucking whatever. I just did a time lapse of me making a map in some of my custom homebrew world where they would have been from. And I'm like, you know what? That'll do. <laughs> Because uh, I had been thinking about uh, the this VTuber model before I even knew what VTubing was, in a sense, where it was like, effectively the mash of two OCs, which I had ingrained in my brain for years. Um, there's a lot, it's like, there's a lot behind this, I think, uh, character. Which is also why it's like, I would fear to actually play them in the sense where I'm like, I don't know, it's one of those characters where I I couldn't, I don't know, justify playing them unless I was already with a group that's like consistently works. I think my favorite D&D game I played ever was, as in like, when it comes to roleplay aspects, was one that was actually streamed before I was VTuber, and were on one of my friend's channels. And the concept was, it's a person who'd never DM'd before, uh, and all the players were people who would normally always DMs. And so, it was actually really good, because the players, all the players knew how to respect the boundaries, and how to, like, help the other people, anyone else, like, uh, make sure their characters got time to shine, and just, like, it became a really nice back and forth, I think. And I really liked that. Yeah. Played in a campy villain one shot, and those are my favorite memories. Been crazy little kobold villain. Hell yeah, kobolds are fun. They're a vibe, honestly. Now I I have a like I because I normally would make I've got my own homebrew world that I like um making and have because like making the maps and the world maps and everything. I have had my own like pretty much like shitty quiz. For people that would be unsure what races they could play, because um, I focus more on the um, uh, as a DM and player, I tend to focus more on the um, the community communities uh, like group storytelling, where you both want to like create, everyone wants to create a cool like uh, story and that character sort of like depth and stuff. Um, and so like having my own world, or, like having the own world, and like. All that sort of like lore and character stuff and like different races was always a vibe because like I knew that if there's anyone that would have play, they won't be going to be like uh, sort of trying to be like, here's this meta build or like it wasn't solely combat focused because combat would have had like some sort of reason for the story. And so someone stronger than someone else that like uh, narratively, you could still like just have fun with it because that's not where people cared. I don't know, but. Everyone has their own style, and that's why it's like, you got to find a grip that works for you, and you should never feel bad if, like, you have friends that you don't like playing with that group f with D&D, &D, but you still would like being around with them, because uh, everyone's got their own preferences and play styles. It's like, it's group storytelling. I don't know. Uh, like, some people feel like they should feel really bad, because they can't, like, they're not enjoying a game with certain friends, even though they like being with friends. It's like, well... Not everyone you're with that's your friend you would take to a musical. Because not everyone, like, that's just not everyone's thing, and that's okay. And when you think of something that D&D, uh, &D, which is such an expression of uh, self and interest and, uh, I don't know, just so many different things that's very unique to people, while you all got to, like, work together, come price, everyone has fun, you got to find and communicate, I guess, as a group where, like, you want things and don't want things to go. There's a reason why some people have used D&D &D for psychology, because it really does, like, open up things. Water, glug, glug, go burr. Sorry, my voice is dying. But, 
sure something I'll want to see Gripperville, so. Uh, we do also need to fix, ever since we adjusted these legs so they're a bit smaller, as you can probably tell, because you were here earlier, um, man, the, now up here, these feel a lot smaller than up here, so we need to adjust that hip or something. There's something that we need to adjust, and I'm like, bro, I don't care. We might, I don't know, I'll ask some friends who knows a little bit more about it when I'm not dead tired after a, I don't know, eight hour stream. But let's get some basics, some Minecraft shoe ass fucking gripper going, just so it's out of the way. Yeah. But, right. GG. Uh, about right there. All right. Yeah. Then it's like this, this, X. I know, so yeah, this is longer than expected, but I just get caught up in it. It's a vibe. But I mean, to be fair, I was resting up a lot of last week because I was just sick. You can probably see it in my voice. Um, I can't guarantee I'll do another eight hour blender uh, this week, but I still will be vibing and doing stuff. But. Yeah, sometimes this just happens with Blender. You just, just like get F caught up in the process right to vibe. Yeehaw! Yeah, exactly. Let's see. Why do they just do? Right here. Moving now, if bit. anyone wants to join along in learning Blender with me, because it's my first Blender project, um, the name of the channel is above me, and you can just always join along, and hopefully you'll feel inspired to learn Blender as well. But yeah, we're about to start the third tutorial. Then, um, beneath, we should do an X. F right then it's like this this X vortex this this F control R right here move it out a little bit mm. and look from the beneath we should do a X to K right here see what they're doing and right here enter. Yeah. do it again K here and here enter uh -huh. all right and do face select up here and if you have mix of that select as well what then on earth are they doing? Hold on shift da, 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 four yeah. and e, right, what the and do control to do exact measurements. Oh my yes. gosh. Okay, so there's a right. few parts to this, this i got to consider. X, uh oh. Blender is above my brain, so I'm insane, right to be fair. It's been a slow process. I'm on video two. I mean, video three, which is like, you know, the third hour. But I've been trying to learn this since uh, end of January. So, to be fair, that's like, you know, <laughs> almost a month per, maybe a little bit more than a month per uh, hour of tutorial. Because Blender is me noggin. Here, then control R again. Right but it's here. good to be able to uh, do this. Will be a vibe. Alt, click this. Then shift, click this. We give you S Y Z zero. What on earth are they make right. fucking doing? Now we are going to S Z, all right here. So you just do. I just a, want to see a little bit more of what they're S, doing kind of before we go back and here. actually try and like retrace their steps. About right there. And just kind of move everything to place. S Z, move on this axis. All right, so they're doing like that's the and heel yeah. for that halfway point, and then they're doing the front. So, but they're going from like where they've done stuff. They're going by the ankles for the loops they've added, whereas what we did, um, we went not ankles. Uh, <laughs> we went sort of like to around here. So technically, where they're going is from here down. Uh, you can only think in two dimensions. Yeah, no, that's fair. I, because I struggle with, like, a strong visual image in my head sometimes, it's uh, sculpting and being able to move around the objects a lot easier for me. So it's less that I'm thinking. It's more that I'm caveman firing, go caveman fire, bonk, bonk, and able to turn it around so that I don't have to think. Uh, but I get you. It, don't worry. I'm Mick Cooked for sure. Um... But yeah, no, yeah, Blender is a, it's a doozy, and I'm, once we get to some of the other stages, I'm sure it'll fry my brain even more. <laughs> We're just not there yet. Because once it's like, how do you do bones? And then I'll be like, I want to die. End me, please. Um, now, what I'm thinking, Mick thinking, is we need to assess where they're actually doing this foot thing from which is like effectively what i think is it's coming down it's almost like at the ankle range and so if we're here now is when we should add what they uh adding i think is probably the best way to do it so now we need to add a tab another cylinder um no well, what we could do instead um, tab, uh, A, 
Now, shift D is it for duplicate? Uh, G, Z. Uh, G, Z. Beep. G, Z. Beep. Uh, now, these ones. Uh, X. Dissolve vertices? No. X edges? No. X vertices? No. Which in the fuck is it now? Uh, you know what? What we can do is go and go a one, a two, a three, X vertices. And we're here. We go a fill bitch. And now we have this where we go uh da, 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 circle. Uh circle. Uh and we go SZ zero. Boom. SZ zero. So now we have our weird cylinder thing back, I guess. Um Game Red Firebonk, yes. That's exactly how I feel. We go here. Uh, S Y low bonk. Uh, shrinks. I just shrink small. Shrink shrink. Uh, GZ lift high. High lift now. <laughs> See, it's it cave head thought. It go bong. Especially when we're uh, this later into it. Now, let's look at what they're doing. They did a whole bunch of shit that I can't remember. So we're looking at it again. Right, click let go. That goes well. Then here, right here. Move. It's like this. There we this, go. X vortex. Right there. Uh, fuck. Hold on. All right. Then it's like this. Yep. This, X, Thingy. One dot. Vortex. The dot this, disappears. This. What the fuck, mate? Uh, S Z zero. No. S Y zero. No. Ah, Z zero. Yes. Uh, and it looks like what they grab is that nigga X vertice. Uh, Z. I mean, I guess that's it. Ooh, I'll get so. F, control R, right here. Move it out a little bit. Then, look from the beneath. And then there you go. This, this, F, control R, right here. They go. Here. Motherfucker. Out here doing. Vortex. This, this. Too many things. Control R, right here. Move it out a little bit. Vortex. Dot to dot. F. Dot to dot. Control R, right here. Control R. Wow, what the fuck are you doing, mate? There to there, control R. No, F, control R. Ah, yeah. And then you go out and you're like, well. Ah, from there, let's see what we got going. A little bit. Then, look from the beneath, we should do an X to K. Right here. Then right, uh, right here. X to uh, yeah, they're like, and okay, go underneath. Underneath, we should do an X to K. Right, you go K, and then they start turning these into fucking Swiss cheese or whatever. Uh, so you go, like, what is it? it and then you go K. Now, I don't remember if they start doing something in the center. I'm going to be real. Uh, it, there we go. It, K, beep, doop, So in theory, that's okay. Is that, is that what we want? I will find out soon. Here, look from the beneath. Then snip, here, snip, snip, enter. snip. Do it again. K, here, yep. and here, yep. enter. Yep. All right, and do face select up here. Face select. And Yes, yes. Have, make sure that's selected as well. Then face select shift and do. So they yeah, face select four. the four. Then E. Yep. Right, they bring it the fuck up. No. Nope. Go. Then S and do control. Oh yeah. E. Let go. S. Control. Oh, okay. So what they do now is pretty much you grab the faces, you grab the bottom, and then you say what? Uh, then you go E. You let go. Then S, G, Z. I'm going to say that for the moment. Come back here. Control to do exact measurements. Oh, control to do exact measurements. Oh, I'm sorry. I was wrong. S, control, 
Is that it? Is that what we want, mate? Also, if people are, like, bored amongst my tide rambling, you could get a fish. Three, I guess. All right, click this. This X vortex. Front, ver front vertice. It's not a vortex, it's a vertice. Oh, damn. We go here, and we go X vertices. Yeah, bollocks. Um, and then, what do I feel like listening to? Sorry, chat. I'm in a, I'm in a mood. It's time to listen to some time. Why? Because I feel like it. Well, then after that, we're going to do control R right here. Loop cut. Control R again right here. Two loop cuts. After that, we're going to alt click this. Two loop cuts. Grab the front. All right. One. Two. Grab the front. Then shift, click this. We could do S, shift, click. Y, Z. And then you go S, Y, Z. Scale on the Y axis, zero. S, Y. Wait, no, it shouldn't be Y. Uh, S. I think it'll be X. I mean, X. Z. Uh, S. Y, Z? No. S, uh, oh, S, X, zero. Yes. 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 Well, thanks for following, Malby. Appreciate you. Might be going all right. Might be enjoying my confused, uh, deranged rambling. Zero. All right. All right. We got a thing. Woo. We are going to S Z. S Z. Right yep. Right here. Okay. So, so this is where they're starting to go to the side again. Woo! Ah, woo! Wee, woo! Uh, beep, 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 um, I think, up here, up there, every fucking where, I guess, beep, 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 and a U, a U, and a U, thank you, and, boop, cool, come back here, uh, S, Z, woo, G, Z, uh, G, X, but of a dunk, now, now I'm thinking, Look at that. They're sort of lowering it like what looks like below the ankle to the back of the foot. Is my suspicion? I could be very wrong. Uh, GZ. Because uh, how would I know? I've never done this you, before in my yeah. life. But it looks like it's also the bottom of the foot that they're aiming for. So maybe we went SZ. Uh, GZ. Uh, oh boy. We'll leave that for now. Why? Because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Come back here. And I think it was like S Z. That's what they did. Um and now let me have a little geese. And then S to kind of need a little bigger. Lower it down. Mm-hmm. About right there. And just kind of move everything to place. Yep. S Z move S -Z. on this axis. So moving it into place, but I don't know then where e they're again, aligning the here. the lines, the vertices. Yep. Yeah. Then so e I'm a little bit confused. Say S Z lower on one, axis. do one, and then and e again. do another and another. So it's like yeah. So it's one, two, three. What we need for now. Add one, G -G. two, three. Oh, they go back now. All right. It looks like they've made a little dice tower. But it looks like they went down for that bit. Yeah. Uh, sorta. Of. Uh, we can adjust it as we need. Uh, and then they went E and then another and then they're done. So we gotta consider they're probably doing uh Ew, hey, kill for the boogie. Uh S Z G Z. I'm thinking if this is here, yeah. Uh, RZ, oh no, uh, the reason I'm feeling like that is I have no idea exactly what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, they went E, and then that first one, they sort of just went down. I don't know what I meant, but for now I'm just going to say that. Um, 
And then, because they went one, they added one. We'll, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Yes, yeah, so they add one, Hell. they add another, and then they're like, no toes, thank you. So maybe another. Shrink it down. Uh, G back here, maybe. Uh, maybe even a little bit further forward. So now, assuming that this is where the fuck they're doing things, uh, then, oh. First step then, I guess, is beep, bap, Beepity boop bap boo. These fuckers. Hey, jeezy. Hey, woo. Let's jeezy. These bad boys up here. So, like here, maybe. Because I don't know exactly what they're doing. So, I'm going to, like, you know, keep myself reserved like that. So, we figure it out. Uh, jeezy. Up we go. Uh, Alt Z, so we can see through the thing. Uh, and then, I don't know. So originally, if that was lifting up, this is where it's like, as long as it's all consistent, I suspect it's fine. But it could be very wrong, lads and lasses and all those in between. I might not know at all. I might be make fucking stupid. Uh, it's part of the learning process, being stupid. Cavemen can't hit fire without knowing fire hot. Fire hot burn. And thus, we can sort of scooch along like this here. Now, originally, it's like, oh, you went down, did you? So I'm thinking, what if they're like this? Yeah. We went S, Z. We went S on the X, Y, because they fucking felt like it. So that way, we can at least be like this and that. They might add and change things, but because we don't really know yet, I have to sort of just take it as is. Um, sort of like that, you know what I mean? And then... Has I been doing that without grabbing these two this entire time? Oh, I'm stupid. Oh no, that's horrid. Grab these two. Fishing? Oh, it's time for fishing. Mm. There you go. S Z uh, S X I had. Uh, lower it down. Bring him out. S Z S X S Z. Now until I know exactly where the fuck they want this, this shall do. That'll be my it's the thing thing. Uh -huh. Now this line here, this is the weird one. This bad boy, I'm going to assume for now, it's probably in line with this. Um, SZ, and so I think I need a little bit more there. In theory. And we got this bad boy here, coming along here, and then, oh, stop it. We can assume that maybe it's along this middle ground line. Um, and then it's SZ, we don't actually need that as big, maybe, 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 I don't know. Do these ones, there we go, SZ up, because actually we do like having at least halfway into that sort of black zone there. Maybe this one, same here, thank you, a little bit up. Uh, but in this way, now I'm thinking amongst all of this McFuckery, this is probably where it's like before the McToes. And so I'm presuming it's probably safe for now. We just do this. Leave it, it is. Kiwi, it was you. How are you, mate? My voice is so fried. I knew it would be. Fuck today. But I just really wanted to do Blender. I'm going to be real. I was sick of being sick. I'll be well, homie. So, let's look at these front little things and see what they're right planning. Right click, smooth. Vortex. Right click, smooth. That makes sense. Uh, Alt Z. Grab all of these. Boop. Right click. And it should be smooth, I think. Boop. There we have it. Uh, save. Thanks, Brent. That I shall do.
And just do it again, smooth vortex. Two times this smooth. All right. Uh, let me. Ooh. Uh, we'll do it again. Oop. And then we'll save as foot begins double smooth. Oh, I remember what one it is. Perfect. Good stuff, isn't it? Yes. Uh, and then, because I just want to get the basics of this foot fucking going. Can I? Hopefully. I would come in this round. What are they doing? Break yeah. yeah. Well, what the it so what they're doing? They're grabbing it. They're grabbing it. And kind of move it. Well, when we need it, when it's about yeah. right here. They're doing the. F they're moving the foot. That's fine. All right. Because we can look more and in detail in this next. Uh, in like two days time or whatever it is. S. All right. S. And yep. And we're going to. This is going to be the toes. Is, ooh, big ooh, toes ooh. supposed to be right. Yeah, here. yeah, I was right. So they said this is going to be right the toes, which means I am correct. Right, so we can do they're lining it up right here. That one right here. And let's yeah. click these. Okay. So they line. I do a loop cut around before it, once I've lined it up. All right, so once we're here, let's see. Oh, no. Yeah, I think that's a... I don't know if that's a today thing. It's ay 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 Um, yeah, mate. I don't know, champ. Well, I'm thinking at the very least. Oh, Z, if I grab all of this... Hold Z, we come back here. I think SY is reasonable. Now, I think it's probably this one that I need to adjust to be uh, GZ. Probably right before that. We're checking in here. I'm not too sure. They don't know exactly what they want with it. At least it's these front ones that will make more sense. Here. Um, and that one, and that one, we can at least, uh, SY it out a bit more. Grab these two, SY it out a bit more. SY it out a bit more. You know what I mean? And this one here, we can probably say, ooh, GY, a little bit this way. GY. Uh huh. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a roughing in it. Hmm. S Z down. Maybe. I think there's enough confusion here for one day. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm. This is what I'm gauging. Um. Maybe we need to. Yeah. I don't know. I might vibe with this either on the discord or just like either way but we're gonna find someone to raid i suspect because i'm quite mick cooked um really appreciate you all today it's been it's been fun it's been great we've done a huge chunk we still need to refix up that sort of hip area ever since we adjusted the legs but we got a bit more work done on the stomach not all of it but that's sort of where, what we're expecting anyway um because we there's like that sculpting stage, which we've like just left for now. So we're a bit more confident in where we want things. We've started adjusting that shoulder range. I think it feels a bit better. Same with the armpit. But arms are still noodly as all fuck. Um, I think the knees are okay. We still need to work on that. The upper legs to hips area ever since we changed it. And these feet are going to be hell. But I'm vibing. We're good. Now... We will be around. I actually made a schedule for the first time in a fucking while. So I'll be around tomorrow, like 7 p.m. Uh, CDT uh, with Pokemon Nuzlocke. And then again, if you're only curious about the Blender, the day after will be Blender. But here's links if you ever need anything. Here's a Discord. Let's Discord uh, raid. Now, if y'all have any suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, give me two seconds What I source out someone to give a little bit of support to, eh? Um, but if I was, if I was going to read someone, who would I read? Uh, I don't know. Um, at the moment, I haven't I rated in a while might also be a good old question. Because I, I try to read people I haven't rated in a while. 
I've raided Tatsu recently. I haven't raided... I've raided Sethos fairly recently. I could raid Nariko. What are they doing? What's Nariko doing? Let me... Nariko is Minecraft. That's a vibe. That's that's worth snoo That's like that'll give me a good comfort snooze while I'm tired. Yeah, I'm down for that. So let me go plus program. How about you plus my balls? How about that one? Where is the thing? There it is. Good stuff. But yep, we ran tomorrow. Appreciate you all. Let's do a good old uh Nariko. Please send them, you know, some support, even if you just around for a little bit it'll be nice just you know it's always good to help people feel you know appreciated and they're playing pixelmon which slaps so give them some love eh? yeah, it'd be grand um but they're all amazing uh remember love yourselves eat food don't be a dickhead old tally ho